music and this is mine. Find the beat that shines, <laughs> renewed spirit and mind. How are you all doing? When I I'm sorry I'm late. Of sorry I'm late. I had that moment of like end of time. a minute this before music one. To and then calls, alternative yeah. futures. Retune to play on your onboard computer. A song to play in Batmobiles. Good. Good. Man's iPod. I mean, Satana backwards magic words. Or Marvel Man. My God. Fire up yes, the turbines. The game's a foot. Underwear over time. Come on in. Come on in. Now a good look. Come on in. If there's been monkey business, I head off on a mission. Hey, I'm from the you. How you doing? Tell me your tales. What a My favorite ninja in the house, Doom Ninja. Do you want next to O? Why is that the Ocean do? Did you just notice? I'm the best one. This is What a mess. How you all doing? It might take you some training before you know what it is. It's the bite of a spider that's radioactive. It's mutant synapses becoming finally active. When no one else could ever really walk in your shoes. Walking into exams oh, or out of job interviews. To deal with every evil ex or simple deficits. To enter the ring or ready and I don't want to say medicinal tea because that implies, uh, yeah, in that implies some uh, red and blue herbs right there. You know what I'm um, so who we got to the door? So, Doom Ninja, Fan of East, Jaralan, GC, Shackle, Cryo Sticks, Catross, what ho, friends? Final day of January, and I actually, um, I've got a real special game for you, so I've been looking forward to showing you this one since Pax last year. I got, Pax last year? Yeah, because me and Echo went to, um, behind closed doors. Uh, jumping back into chat. Uh, Geraldine says something in Latin that I couldn't pronounce yesterday, which were is uh, omnes uh, super elaxatel uh, together, which I believe I believe is meant to be Latin, but we all live together. Becking good. How are you all doing? Come on in. Come on in. Um, Alpha says, to my tales, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 2.5 because I don't have a current gen console to play 3 yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Alpha. It'll, 3 will still be there when you get back. Borrow Shades! How are you doing? Watto! Jumping back into chat? You've just started. I'm feeling very jumpy today, what can I say? Uh, Lord Lost Watto, indeed, friend! Nerdy is, is the same. Still makes me stupidly chip feck in my flap for flap. I wasn't gonna mention my flap for flap at all today. I just hope I was just gonna hope that joke just drifted off into the memosphere. I was wrong. I was exceptionally wrong. So, um Ball, how are you doing, Fred? How are you doing? Uh, Parishan says, doing well uh, for having poured uh, too much of my drink's main ingredient. I mean, if your drink's main ingredient is gin, my friend, I don't see a problem. I see a solution. Um, I've pre-cooked my tweets for a change. I'm actually, I'm actually surprisingly organized. Uh, I'm just late. I just got off stage, I might need a breather Give me a few feet, my little eager beaver Don't be rude, don't be that dude hey, don't be that, don't be that. Uh, It is nice to see that the games industry is not on fire for once That's been lovely <laughs> Captain Steph, House Valkyrie represent What ho friends, how you all doing? Takaroshi, how you doing? <laughs> Hello victim number one, how do you do? The more Resident Evil for you, Takarashi. Unless you do actually work for Umbrella, in which case, yo, you know, we're an independent channel. We're, we're fully funded by our viewership, so if the Umbrella Corporation is looking to uh, to sponsor the long ship, um, then I'm sure we can work something out. Um, it's not a cult! Bow's like, don't we the Maflaffa Flaff cult? It's not a cult! You're gonna get me in trouble one of these days. Uh, Crystix has continued Red Dead Redemption 2, and let me tell you, it is really quite a quintessential anti quality of life simulator. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a way to put it. Alpha's like, how is this not a cult? 
not not helping. Not helping. Shackle says, seriously, could the cop jokes actually be a problem? No, no. Uh, if it was a genuine, genuine problem, you know I'd have a sensible chat with you all. Um, I think it's because in the US, like, being a cult or religious organization means, like, weird tax changes. And I'm still trying to get my head around how the feck I'm going to pay taxes in the US. That's one of the few things I miss about working a corporate gig. They give you a paycheck, your company pays the taxes. No problems, no muss, no fuss. Uh, Takaroshi says, uh, the ones I represent are specifically not into bioengineering pathogens. Nice! I mean, Takaroshi, if we look at Mr. X, the, like the weaponized titan, someone had to make his clothes. There is a fashion department inside Umbrella Corp. Think about that. And there is one department whose job it is to come up with all the cool outfits, all the designs that go with, because you know that stuff's custom made. You know, um, the, the fancy... Uh, uh, long coat and hat for the Titan. All of Wesker's outfits. I mean, I assume Hunk got his in a feckin' bargain basement, so I'm not gonna give him any uh, credit there. So yeah, like, there is a fashion department in an umbrella call. Green Fire, how are you doing? Yo! Into cults. It's your best dance pseudo family this side of the internet with the best dance spearhead less than three. Catch us, you fucking legend. Catch us, slam dunk in 1500 bits like it ain't nothing. If, if I have, if I have helped create a a, a pseudo family of lovely numpties on the internet, then friendos, I I am honoured to be the fucking human flag of that. If that is a thing that I have helped create, then I'm fucking dead chuff, all right? Catros, thank you, thank you all. This wasn't the game I thought we could get feels on. Jumping back into chat, uh, Takarashi saying the fashion department and my corporation are absolutely lovely bunch. Uh, Cryostic says, what I mean is that Red Dead 2 goes into a mind-boggling detail in everything involved in the world, but it goes even out of its way to inconvenience the player, be it controls, inadequate fast travel, clunky and messy UI, uh, fishing gives actual carpal tunnel syndrome. Could go on. A masterpiece piece with baffling flaws. Uh, true. Um, at some point, Christ, I will be able to get stuck into it. So, yo. Uh, Jaraland says, oh, explain how your address is supposed to work. The UPS guy was confused as heck. So I hope the package gets to you. Uh, the number is my... Um, uh, the number is my box number. So, 226 is the uh, the UPS box that I have. Uh, Viking Blonde, just so we know it's coming to me. Um, and yeah, the rest is the, the physical location. So yeah, uh, I guess in case any of you missed it, we now have a PO box. So if you want to send things um, like, let's, what, okay, so one of the, some of the little stuff that I've received that has absolutely brightened my day. I don't know if this will come through on the camera. And let me show you this. So this is a little thing I got sent. And I don't know if the person who sent it wants to make themselves known, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name drop, but I got sent this. And this is sat underneath my computer all last year. Well, Ket's computer and now this computer all, it's just, it just sits there, just a little in the corner. Um, I got this from Soma Pills. Check it out, it's a little badge I can wear. Uh, the fact that I didn't break that while being drunk still surprises me. Uh, I got this, and again, I don't know if the person who made this wants to make themselves known, so... Uh... Oh, and... Okay, these don't count, but I just want to show you. I got this little guy. Uh, Fred gave me this. It's a statue of uh, destruction from uh, Neil Gaiman's Sandman. Uh, is in the fictitious pantheon of our friendo group. That's that's who I embody. Because uh, he's, he's a cheerful guy. He's a lot bigger than I am, that's for certain. And he has a dog, and his dog is lovely. He doesn't have a dog for the whole thing. And I don't, this is just because it makes me happy. Floydo got me a heavy bowgun pin, and, and, 
Oh, they got me. Little chunky devil pickle! Look at his little face! I'm <laughs> so happy! It's a shame Devil Pickle's armor isn't more my style. Oh, and uh, if you haven't seen this one, I got from Stooge and Stray here. That sits under my other monitor over here. So yeah. Oh, and I keep forgetting to show you this one. I, I popped this together finally. Jim gave me this last pack. I got one of the uh, slightly see-through uh, Gormagalas. Okay. Gormagala is like one of my favourite fights in all Monster Hunter. I think because it was the first monster I... Yeah, yeah, it was some good times. Sorry, here's me going off on some tiny stuff. Cap Steph with hashtag free cap. <laughs> uh, I mean, you had your shot, Cap. You took it, and then time travel. Time travel basically did you over on that one. Jaron is both a cat and dog person. Oh hell's yeah! They they are all lovely animals. Um, the the one that I know would be entirely unfair, both on both on them and on all of my neighbours because they scream like fuckers. But the, the mystical thing that I would get if I had inordinate amounts of money, I mean like, fictitiously finding the millions, I would get one of the uh, domesticated foxes, because they are so stupid. So stupid. Uh, so, who have I not said hello to? So, Greenfire, Night Valen, Meowki Sakura, I think I said hi to Lord Lost, Captain Steph, um, Shackle to Connors, maybe, Navala certainly. What ho, friends, and welcome. So, If you're wondering what we are going to be playing today, you are in for a treat. So, story time. Story time with Will. Everyone, come on in. Come on in. Look at that, Jeffrey. Have you got a seat? Is everyone day. sitting comfortable? All right, all right. You got your cushions and pillows. Okay. Everyone got a juice box? Are you all ready? So, uh, last year at PAX, uh, me and Echo were rolling around, doing our thing, being cool kids. And I met one of my friendos who used to be a journalist with Eurogamer. He was their American uh, liaison, who now works for a PR company. And dude's like, yo! And I'm like, yo! And he lets me know that there's a behind closed door going, hey! The man says, story time, waffling, on Will stream, never! Also, hang on, I don't want to shut this off. Noctus and his dad, little little 8-bit Noctus. This t-shirt makes me very happy. So, me and Echo are doing our thing. Me and Jeffrey, Jeffrey's like, yo, we're like, yo! And he lets us know that there's a, um, a game doing a behind closed doors demo called Arcturn Cthulhu Tactics. And they're looking for peeps who might be interested in giving it a go, and I'm like... So we go check it out, and the demo is being run by the PR company doing it. Um, uh, the, the last who was organising it, Holly, uh, I still chat to her on email. It's super cool people. Uh, also, Tenori Whale, thank you for the tiny little doggos. Um, so we check out Arcton Cthulhu Tactics, and it was really interesting. We are actually going to do a stream of that at some point. Um, it's not as uh, freeform as XCOM 2. It's more kind of like character to character with like a linear narrative, but it's a tactics based game. The problem is I couldn't play. I couldn't play it one handed. So when it came time for them to drop, even though we got the exclusive on that one, I had to apologise and go, I'm really sorry. I broke my hand. Yeah. Oh, get to the boat. Oh, you're in earlier than usual. How are you doing? How are you? How are you? Hello. So, while we're chatting with them, uh, the PR company that was showing us up to the tactics is like, oh yes, yeah, so we've got a couple of other games. So we've got this game about snooker, and I'm like, I'm very happy that you are representing a snooker game. I know nothing about snooker. It seems like pool with privilege and sobriety, which are the two things that I dislike about. Also, I've been playing pool most of my adult life. I've never improved, like not even slightly. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Uh, also, Beadora! What ho! How are you doing? So, the other thing they showed us was this game called The Spectrum Retreat, which I hadn't heard of. Turns out it dropped while I was uh, moving out to uh, New Zealand. Or was it when I had moved out? I forget. So, this is a lovely little... The story behind it is amazing. And considering yesterday we were talking about making your first game, like, this is something. So, 
Dan Smith, possibly the most generic name of all time, um, is a lad in the UK who started making his first game at 15. It took him five years to complete, um, you know, obviously off and on with school and things. And he actually managed to win a BAFTA Young Game Designer Award for this project. But he took this game, um, the Spectrum Retreat, right through to market and released it. And it's... I mean, I've been describing it as the Starship Titanic meets Portal. Um, so there's like... Uh, there's visualization puzzles. Uh, there's um, this slightly surreal uh, art deco hotel feel going on and it's oh hang on let me get to those in just a second oh yeah and so this game looks like something interesting i only found out about this because the lovely people at uh, ripstone pr pointed it out to us while we're hanging down and i was like scooby-doo what so yeah i've been sitting on this one for a while and I'm looking forward to tearing into it. I know, apart from the premise, that it is a puzzle game and that it was made by this one bloke, I know now about it. So, yo. Oh, did I just. Oh. We in a bin bag. So we're going to be doing story time for a little bit longer than usual. Oh, Lord Loss! Uh, I just got paid, and turned so have you, for the long ship! So thank you kindly. Um, <laughs> right. So we're going to be chatting for another 10 minutes because I told, I went to go get a cup of tea earlier and I told Steam, please install the Spectrum Retreat. Uh, Steam has been kindly installing a 9 gig update to player unknown Battlegrounds. Steam, why you do this? You have the functionality of an Adobe program. All right, well, so we've got uh, six minutes to chat. God bless. God bless Kent's internet. It's so good. It's so good. Right. So, Arden saying I'll be incredibly distracted today as I'm conducting a trade across sunless skies. Uh, I'm crossing trade across the sunless skies of reach. Good luck. Yes. Uh, the reason why we aren't careening into sunless skies today is I want to have Olivia come back on the show and talk about making it. So we're going to do first experience of Sons of Skies alongside chatting with the devs. That's a thing we're coming up. I mean, God, we've got so many dev things going down. It's amazing. Yeah, so we've got Flourish tomorrow. We've got uh, the thing that I can't yet talk about on the 10th. Maybe oh, the Wargroove, though. Was it Wargroove on the 6th, but no developers? God. It's great. It's great. We have too many friendos. Um, Takaroshi says, I'll tell you something absolutely diabolical. I'm currently making an attempt to make a uh, red braised pork as well as pork scratchings and barbecue ribs at the same time. My god, Umbrella Corp is out of control. Beardora says, Hi chat, hi Will. Mum will find you all weird, just FYI. Well, I mean, everyone's welcome here, Beardora. You know that, you know that. Uh, Jaralyn says, you forgot to install the game. Called it. I didn't forget to install it. I told it to install. Steam was like, okay. Okay, I know you said you want to install this game. But really, really, don't you want to update every other game first? I want to fight you. I want to fight you, Gaben. And I'll lose because have you seen that guy's knife collection? Catro uh, says, come on, Will. Let's <laughs> talk to Adobe. I don't know if you've all seen the, um, the tweet that was doing the rounds of of Chrome and Adobe consuming RAM like beasts. Uh, Shackle says, what I really want to know is why I can often get zero byte updates from Steam. Is it actually a subtle way of Steam to check how many computers actually have a game installed? I I doubt there is anything maniacal as that because that kind of maniacal planning would require cohesion, which is the one thing I am assured is not going down. But everyone's like, don't you bring Adobe into this. It's just gonna consume your RAM and crash. Yeah, um, I was joking with Ket the other day about um, how Premiere didn't used to like uh, variable frame rate videos for editing. Uh, the reason why I use what was Sony Vegas, now just Vegas, is because Vegas don't give a heck. 
you're like, Vegas, I've got this half-corrupted video that I got from a live stream from last Tuesday. Vegas is like, mate, mate, don't worry about it. Um, and Adobe would, Adobe would sulk hardcore. Uh, jumping back into chat, so, Beadora says, remember to please gif more VODs to YouTube. Oh, yes, uh, I can do that while we're, while we're nattering along now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this to you all, but one of the rules of being an affiliate on Twitch is that one has to wait 24 hours before uh, exporting them. So now I've got to remember what I've not exported. Uh, anyway, okay, I'll faff around with that one. Let it, let it. Um, so what else was... Javier Fed says, also Subnautica below zero early access yesterday. Yes, it is. And a lot of people have said they've been having a good, um, a good time on it. Uh, one of the things that we discussed yesterday was whether or not we were going to play that game as an early access game or wait. And the general consensus was wait for either version 1 or content complete. So, I am not for the will of the people. And, you know, I am not the dictator of the long ship, but merely the human megaphone. I am not lacking good games to play. And, hey, Baron Sheep! What a uh, Baron Sheep, how was Sunday? Uh, I didn't want to watch because that's next to my game. Baron, it's really good. It's exceptional. Um, the thing that I would say, Baron, is it's not hard to stream, but it's difficult because the gameplay is so good. The rhythm of it is intoxicating. Oh, of course, Steam Power's a bit loud. Thanks for the heads up there. Um, yeah, uh, Sundered is gorgeous. The combat is exceptional. The rhythm of it is brilliant. Um, I did just shy of five hours, and I found it was a little difficult to focus on all the lovely people in chat as well as play it towards the end. But it was good, though. It was really good. Um, so, what else? Oh, Catra says so. Vegas is the faithful dog and Adobe is the whimsical cat. Uh, I don't know. Vegas is your local craftsman and Adobe is your uh, maniacal uh, Amazon type uh, production line. Adobe can do some, like, some monstrous stuff. Like, if you've got the full Adobe package, there's nothing stopping you producing like top tier professional quality stuff. Like, no offense, Avid, you're, you're out, mate. Mate, you've been out for years. Um, Vegas, Vegas has limitations when you're trying to do more complex stuff, but Vegas will get it done. The the weird, the unconventional, and sometimes the exceptional, but Vegas got you. Baron Sheep says the people made uh, Jotun, right? Heck yeah, it is. And uh, Baron Sheep, their whole like gorgeous 2D art led style just carries through. Um, now, one of the things that Isocrid was um, alluding to is that yeah, um, Sundered is one of those games where there's more to it than meets the eye. So, we didn't get to any points that would be spoilerific. It was just gorgeous. Um, and I guess I had the same problems with Jordan streaming. Um, uh, if we ever had... I had the same problems with streaming Jordan that uh, Jordan with Sundered that I did with streaming things like Devil May Cry and stuff like that, where the combat requires like 110% focus. And after about four hours, like I was struggling to chat to everybody. And here's a shocker, chatting with you lot, actually one of the things I like doing with my day. I know, becking shocking. Mm. So Baron's saying, I'm debating that or Dishonored 2 next. Now do you mean, uh, Baron, do you mean games for you to play yourself? Uh, or do you mean games uh, to stream? It's numbers. I cannot believe that you would willingly talk to us. Shocking. I know numbers. I know. The man with gasp. One of my favorite ones is always saying, Le gasp. You made me gasp in French. That, that and screams in English is my other favorite. You waffle man to you. I'm guilty as charged, Pirate Shade. Guilty as charged. Okay, downloads done. So, to those of you who have just joined us, today we are going to be playing the Spectrum Retreat. This game is a lovely example of just make video games. 
Um, the guy who made this started making this game when he was 15. Now, he was making it spare time, so it took him five years to put together, but it is now a commercial product that you can buy on Steam. Now, I know I've, sp I've talked a lot about... I've talked a lot about um, Brendan Green, who made uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, as an individual who, you know, you know, in his 40s, put forth a game that took over the world. Um, there, there is this misconception that it is only these like standalone Das Wunderkinds that can make games by themselves, and that's entirely not true. I mean, to quote Dualcore, what I lack in talent I can make up for in work. There are, there is a sea of incredibly talented people out there who don't. What is only important is that one does. Make games. Even if your game isn't that great, the next one will be better, and you want after that better than that. And who knows? Who feckin' knows, yo? Beadora stares in cat. Catro stares in Swedish. Cap Step stares in Texan. <laughs> oh. Tal says, Will won't let me in the commands. For good reason. Mainly because we probably get all the uh, commands we've been asking for. So, without further ado, you lovely, lovely Mother Hubbards, uh, let's get this started. Uh, thank you all for waiting, and I do apologise for uh, not checking to see that Steam was doing its bloody job! Alright, tweets out. Oh, actually, uh, let me just quickly tell... Let me quickly tell Sober that I'm streaming and all of that. Boosh. Right, without further ado, let us... Thank you, Steam. Begin. Brown sheet judges an alcoholic. Um, so this game is going to be a non-combative puzzle game. With I don't actually quick show of hands. How many of you uh, have heard of the Starship Titanic, and how many of you have played it? Because that's another one that I think would be fucking painful to uh, to watch. But at some point, I am going to go back and play because that game that game's got history, yo. Uh, and jumping back to Baron Sheep's, um, if you don't mind my saying, Sir Baron Sheep, um, in terms of uh, games, if you were thinking of which game to stream next over uh, Sundered and Dishonored 2, I'd recommend Dishonored 2 because of um, its, uh, its... Wait. I'd recommend um, a Dishonored 2 because it suits uh, conversational conversational elements far better. But that's just my humble opinion. Tenwin! What? Oh, for feck's sake. Tenwin's like, uh, Will, uh, will you play um, Flam for Flam for Flop for Flop today? Uh, I had pulled pork. It was delicious. <laughs> no, we're not doing a Flam for Flam stream. God, it's like every what every five minutes, like you know, I get it. There are a few big Maflam for Flam streamers on Twitch, and I, I understand that. But like, we can't we can't be chasing trends. That's not what we do here. Please work. Please work. Yay! There we go. Um, so Beardora says, I've read the Starship Titanic, and that book was weird. Vaguely remember the game, not sure. Okay. So there's a couple of people are pointing out. Uh, the Starship Titanic was somewhat written by Douglas Adams of the, Star of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But the story around that is fucking brilliant. Like, basically, Douglas Adams just didn't write the Starship Titanic for ages, and it had to be half-finished. When's the Operation Neptune playthrough? Operation Neptune? Mananimous! Okay, firstly, Mananimous. Feckin' what? Oh, you magnificent mother hobbit! That's... Yo! That is your two month in a row. That's feckin' cool. 
So, cheers to you. Cheers to you, yo. That's, that is super rad. Um, so, Operation Neptune. My brain has gone completely blank on that one. What's a feckin' Lord Loss! No, a flab, a flab, a flab, a flab, a flab. Uh, GC says, what does a game being overrated even mean? Ugh. It is, it is a terminology which seems to be specifically used by people who want to detract from a specific game. Don't ask. Oh, also... Color vision. This game has accessibility. So we can switch between... The different colors. Depending on your condition of colorblind. Uh, depending on which colors you can see easier. The impossible is black and white. And stylish. Um, yeah, GC, the term overrated, especially in video game circles, tends to only be referred... Yeah, used around by... Uh, tends to be thrown around by users, and it tends to be thrown around when a game is exceptionally popular or well-received, and they want to throw it forward as criticism. It doesn't seem to have any bearing on a game's quality mark. So you'll hear people say things like, well, I thought uh, Undertale was extremely overrated. I'm like, wait, thank you, wait. But yeah, Catros has a dapper ass robot. And um, so the great Oda Benign, always lovely to see you. Uh, thank you for filling the pint glass with salt. Our Lord Death will be pleased. Uh, and Catros, did I properly thank you for the 1500 bits earlier? Because I don't know if I just got into the, the weird ass um, Will talks about things. Or if I... Um, or if I got uh, distracted on a million other stuff. Uh, so jumping back in, uh, Mananimous was saying, uh, the learning company, late 80s, early 90s. So I think that's why I'm blanking on it. I don't think I ever played Operation Neptune, Mananimous, but I think I saw it. I can I can I can visualize the box art if that makes sense. Uh Jarlan is adding that I tell extremely overrated. My response, who the heck asked you? In some regards, there is a joy to experiencing things like Undertale with as little as others can uh, add to it. Oh my dear lord. Greenfire. This seems to be a catastrophe of my flab, 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 flab. Curses! <laughs> Dezu, uh, I don't know if I can pronounce your entire username. Uh, Dezanufacosium. It is lovely to make your acquaintance. I didn't realize the Are You Being Served fandom was going to be showing up for today. <laughs> Dezu, it's lovely to meet you, and I hope you're having a splendid day. I don't, I don't, I don't even, friends. I don't even. All right. So, without further ado, let us begin uh, begin the spectrum retreat. Those of you who have just joined us, so uh, Dezu and everybody. Um, this is the Spectrum Retreat. This was a solo project um, by an individual that ended up winning the BAFTA Young Game Designer Award. That It took them five years to complete, but they brought this project to market of their own fruition. Um, I think that with all the conversations we had yesterday about how you should make your first game, I feel like we talked a lot about the business of making games yesterday. And I don't want that to have put anyone off. That's today we are going to celebrate a game which was made by a person. Like, okay, you know what I mean. This was a solo project taken to market. This is an example of what you could do if you wanted to. And, you know, maybe you want to do something with more action combat. Maybe you want to do something that's 2D, not 3D. Maybe there's a game in your heart. Or maybe there is a story you want to tell. Maybe there is a story you don't want to show, but you want people to experience. You can do that. And this is an example of that. This is an example of that philosophy. I love games, and the more games that are made, the better. Okay, yes, most of them coming out on Steam now start with the word hentai. But, you know, for all that terrible deluge of shite, there are some great 
back in games. <laughs> Lord lost. Aliens make games. Wells confirmed it. Damn it! I am going to be in such trouble at the next Illuminati meeting. Like, so much trouble. Okay. Uh, Parishad says, I most certainly have a game in my heart. Uh, this is the stream for me. I mean, Pyroshade, you're doing live dev at the moment, aren't you? Uh, Tailwind's saying, have you seen the anime My Roommate is a Cat? Uh, I haven't started that. Um, I'm currently uh, just keeping up with um, uh, Promised Neverland and um, I got reincarnated as a slime. Uh, but that's a different story. Right. With, that, with enough faffomancy to the side, let us begin. Uh, also, hang on, sorry. Uh, Rosen, Catberry Gaming... Um, did I say hi to Cryostics? I hope I did. Um, anyone I didn't say hello to just came in. What, old friend, and welcome. As Rosen was saying, um, people share accessibility ideas pretty freely in my experience. That's way cool. Good. Let's start. Hello? Yes, yes, come on in. Dokies. Join back into chat. Drags apart saying, are you bad mouthing? <sighs> hentai crush, hentai minesweeper, hentai secrets, hentai neighbors, hentai girl, hentai girl Betty, hentai girl Linda, and hentai temple. Are those the are those just the ones that came out today? Ugh. Um, but on happier topics, Pyroshade says, I do indeed uh, live dev. Uh, Grimoire Arena is developed on Steam as well. I have a wild idea in the back of my head for games dev live on Twitch that could provide a major pillar for the games industry in the future. That's super cool. And Pyroshade, I know uh, as our, our streaming times have clashed, I haven't been able to, to throw raids at you or what have you, but Pyroshade, I hope you know if we can help, we shall. Like, I've got my press account now, so I can send out press releases for indie games. So if you need me, if you need my axe, you got it. Uh, my philosophy at the moment has been uh, I'm doing it at no cost for... Oh, well, that's quite squirrely. Do we want to do this with... Hang on. Let's see if doing this with pad will make it less... Less squirrely. I'm coming! There we go. Um, I First-person games, especially shooters, I do prefer mouse and keyboard, but I find for you lot, for showing you, uh, and especially with people I know who have, like, vertigo or motion sickness, I find it's a little easier if I do it with um, a pad. Uh, plus, I had to study how to do um, uh, gameplay demos. Ah. Oh, I can jump. Nice. It's always nice being able to jump in games. All right, okay, I'll, I'll get the door in a second. Oh, that's nice. Uh, when you can interact with something, there's the tiniest bit of rumble. Um, someone at the door! Dorchus is like, what? How old? At the door, it was Dorchus. So I'm saying my birthday is on the 19th of March. I'm hoping for a new desktop tower, but I doubt that will happen. Um, Catberry Gaming says, don't say come on in to any random stranger. Catberry, I'm subscribing to the uh, the Insanity Wolf philosophy. Unlock your doors, open all windows, invite all challenges. Get my hoodie. Ah, so trigger is that... Oh. Ah. Good morning. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologize for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. And while we iron out one or two technical difficulties, I hope you don't mind this somewhat personal touch. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. Breakfast! I'll let the host know you're on your way. Uh, and please, enjoy your stay. I think we can turn the sound up a little. And let me see if I can get um, subtitles. There we go. Oh, what does everybody want for breakfast? Uh, I've got um, I've got some chunks of bread, which I'm working on. Yes, yes, I quiet. Uh, 
ring, 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 ring. A tiny phone. Boop, 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 boop. Theodora is saying, Robot eggs equal Tamagotchi? Shaka wants some scrambled eggs, lots of bacon, waffles, pancake, French toast, whatever they have. Well, let's get down there. We'll see if they've got a, um, oh, what have they got a, uh, what have they got a buffet? Welcome to the Penrose Hotel. I'm sure that robot is not at all sinister. All right. Give me a hoodie. Oh, I hope they have a fruit buffet as well, Miyaki Sakura. That's one of the things I liked about, um, Oh. Okay. Uh, the message just popped up and said, you are expected downstairs. Good. I'm just going to assume that that is... Let's have a little walk around. Um... Pirate says, chunks of bread, is that Hawaiian sweet rolls? Yeah, it is. I'm afraid I'll be working on the elevator a little longer. And while our rooftop area is being refurbished, it is strictly off limits for your safety. More people's safety than your own depends on your fitness. You are expected. In the test, chum. I mean, downstairs. <laughs> That's pretty good. Also, I think the uh, reception restaurant library pool room pool. They've got a pool. Oh, we are going to the pool. Question: Can robots skinny dip? I mean, from a philosophical standpoint. So one of the things, that, one of the main mechanics in the Starship Titanic was all about getting upgrades, uh, getting your uh, room upgraded to the next level. Jaralyn says, if they're waterproof. Theodora says, ballroom. Actually, yeah, let's, we can check out the ballroom. That sounds cool. Um, Over nine says, you will be baked and there will be egg. <laughs> um, and also, was that, oh, dear Lord. Uh, I think that was the great odor benign that also refilled the uh, the pint glass there. The... <sighs> refilled the bit growler. God darn it. You guys are getting me in trouble. Ah, Vagabond! Welcome, friend. How are you doing? How are you doing? What? Oh, indeed. Katros was saying, I mean, robots probably don't have private, so it's no big deal. Maybe yours don't, Catros. Maybe yours don't. It's a Dan Smith game! Yay! Spectrum retreat. Dan wins! Flawless victory. Ray's saying, you need to think we're never going to get breakfast. <laughs> Gamma stuff says, no full damage! Yeah, we can't jump over railings. No full damage, but no, mant uh, no mantling. Okay. I'm going to see if I can do this proper. Let me just have a quick slug of tea. Unequaled marvels, astonishing entertainments, braving horrendous weather and the most atrocious of treks to be at the Penrose for one night, only a specific request of management offering magnificent conjurings, the great Splendisi, the man who knows, casting spells and reading minds, predicting fortunes, swallowing swords and fire, and that's not all, for his finale he will be encased in water and will free himself from his chains. We humbly urge you, take note of this. You will never forget the Olympian entertainment he provides in The Big Show. 
who I believe was a wrestler. Um, a grand night, uh, the grandest night of the season, the ballroom of the penthouse. Hey! Catros says, how does a robot go about swallowing swords? I assume with great difficulty. <laughs> It's just a robot just impaling itself in the face and then going, da da! And all the robots, all the other robots clap. <laughs> Shackle says the Big Show was indeed a wrestler. I am glad I misremember that. I don't know. I am happy wrestling exists. I don't know anything about it. Ooh, that's glowing. Scan log. Uh, employee 237. One. I've got my dream job. I didn't think it was possible, but here I am. Uh, I don't want to have to go through most of the process. Uh, I, I didn't even have to go through. Uh, I didn't even have to go through most of the process. Someone, someone serious way must really like my portfolio. I start tomorrow. I start tomorrow. Hopefully, I can make a good impression. This is Cameron Worrell, Spectrum Experience Designer. Morning. Hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you kindly. Unmoving robot mannequin. Is anyone getting like an I uh, from the this, the film? I don't want to say the film version. The film I Am Legend, with with all of the mannequins all set up. A very good morning. Oh, we can get some breakfast in a second. I hear breakfast is especially good this morning. Who did you hear it from? Now there's someone who knows how good our famous breakfasts are. <laughs> Sorry to report the weather has taken a turn for the worst, but don't let that spoil your appetite. Please, make yourself comfortable in the restaurant. So Desi was saying, the Big Show is still a wrestler. He's been working a long time. That's way cool. Uh, the only thing I really know about wrestling currently is that there is a pale, noodly English guy with ginger hair who uses an umbrella. And I'm like, great, I, I got a self-insert character. Give him a, an axe or a cricket bat and even more. Um, catch us with, go to the cafeteria already, player. Uh, J Post says, mimic check. Cap Steph screams mimic check. Will grabs a crowbar from nowhere and just starts wailing on the lobby. Oh God, we've got another protagonist, haven't we? God, they're the worst. Pushing everything off. Oh, check out. Oh. Okay. The little thing popped up and said, Will free you. I don't know if it was referring to me directly, because it had a capitalization in Will, but yo. And Tanari Well also screamed, Mimic Jack! Oh, Desu says, uh, is this game just a reboot of today's special? Today's fish is creme, uh, it's creme de la carte. A fish! Uh, Bramp says, Will eats food while his character starves to death without breakfast. I'm, a, I'm not always a benevolent overlord. My, the avatars of my, of my actions. There's this art deco, uh, the art deco style plus this recurring Good morning. icon. Your oh. reserved table is ready when you are, and please mind your step. Seems one of our guests left in something of a hurry. You sure you're going to be able to fit me in? I mean, look at how many people there are in here! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You, you, you are just doing your job. I want this table. Oh, tiny little scan cube. Employee two three seven entry seven. Three months in, progress is slow but steady. I could have anticipated how tricky designing for an emergent technology would be. The R and D team is adding something new every day now, and it's impossible to plan more than a week's work. Word is there's a lot of paranoia higher up that's higher up the spectrum chain about our competitors. They're obsessing over any marketable advances that can be made. As a designer, I have to find places for those. The others are going all over the place with their settings. I mean, why not go to the moon? I think something more familiar is better suited for me. 
uh, the experience shortlist for the next public testing is in around two months. I need to sit and nail something down. Yeah, Vagabond's like, I'm surprised you got a reservation. This place is packed. He's having wine for breakfast. Jesus. No, it's not even buck fast. I love, look, I'm gonna, I, I, I've gonna got a table. Can you get us like a, a two bottles of Buckfast and a Scotch egg? Nay, yeah, three bottles, two Scotch egg. I'm off. Sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I don't know where it comes from. Well, it actually comes from watching the Tam McLeish videos on Eurogamer, but uh, on um, uh, Video Gamer back in the, the golden days, but. Just go to the bar. I'm on holiday. Why not have beer for breakfast? The only thing that having beer early in the day makes me is sleepy. Alright, well, I guess the buffet's out. Wraith said, I knew that was coming the second Buckfast was mentioned. I'm sorry. Um, and Wraith, if I do ever say anything that crosses the line from funny to genuinely offensive, I am, I will apologise. Please feel free to let me know, alright? Because um, it, it's easy to fall into the pattern of, you know, taking the mick of varying uh, English uh, accents, dialects, and regions. Uh... Get to the boat says, uh, someone scammed my little brother for a knife that I bought him on CSGO. Do you happen to know if there's any way he isn't completely screwed and who I should contact to try and resolve this? Uh, you can contact Steam, but it, it really depends on how it was done. So you might be SOL, and sometimes the items are uh, sold out of the system faster than they can be resolved. But all I can say is um, open a open a support ticket open a support ticket uh, inform them the time of when you purchased it for your little brother things that went down as much information as you can give to prove that your little brother had it legit and that it, it wasn't part of a because what some people will do is uh, one of the scams used to be is that you basically sell off your item to uh, people acquire items uh, sell them to another account that they own usually this is done via bots that account then sells it via black market out of the system and um, then the account that traded it, sorry, you trade it to an account, that account then sells it. The first account then claims that it was scammed by the second account even though the individual owns both accounts. Get to the boat says the seven day uh, trade ban might save him steam respond. It's worth a shot, it's worth a shot. I don't have any contacts who work on that side Unfortunately, so there's nothing I can. Oh, ex Benedict. Oh, I tell you all, friendos, if you go to NZ, get ex Benedict and pretty much as much as you can. <gasps> this is a good breakfast. Alright, all right, I'll check my messages. Oh, cool. Good. Attempting. Attempting contact. Okay. That was a good breakfast. I know you all wanted to get something, but I ate it all, so I'm sure I am sure I'm sure if I ask them really nicely they can fit you all in. Alright. Can we go this way? Oh, I've got a call from Cooper. Hello? Hello? If you can hear this, hide your phone now. Now, hide your phone right now. Don't let the staff know you have this phone. My name's Cooper. I believe you're being held here against your will. I'm going to try to help you, but you must do everything I say. I'm going to send an update to your phone. This will let you receive calls from me automatically. 
So you can just focus on trying to act naturally. Sorry about... Oh, shit. Shit, the signal's being blocked. Uh, just... Oh, hold on, I can fix this. Get the boat says thanks will i'm in the help of reporting the process um the more information you can give them especially dates times and all of that certainly helps when it comes to getting through these scams and get to the boats making a real a lovely point which is uh you know when you think a teenager is smart he's on he, he's on track to do uh, oxford or cambridge and they prove they're just a clueless kid it's comforting in a strange way it is it is uh, there's a world smarts and book smarts a friend of mine used to call it it's it's kind of endearing. Like I hope your I hope your brother doesn't lose his knife. Um, I sold mine when I stopped playing CS:GO, but I got it from a crate, and it every time I stab someone, it would pop up with knife to see you. Oh, no, there's a wandering orchestral group. Should I go says. Would we be the ones deciding if we're being held against our will? Why does she get to decide our will? Who's... Who's will? <laughs> uh, Hindle more eloquently says, I'd like to say there's a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Okay, if you can hear me, make your way to the elevator. I'll start. Do, 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 Is this working? If you're getting this, go to the elevator. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I can mess with our, uh, our phone friend. I trust your meal was splendid. Do let me know if there's anything we can do to make you more comfortable. I want power armor. I said I want power ar power armor. Power... This uh, thing says we're connected. Get to the elevator, then I'll know you can hear me. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Uh, the man says, I want a dog. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. This game is very pushy. Fine. We can't get to the this pool. This thing says we're connected. Get to the elevator, then I'll know you can hear me. Fine. Bram says, I want the Stanley Parable. <laughs> get to the boat, says get to the elevator. Wait, no, that's the library. Where's the this elevator? This says we're connected. Get to the elevator, then I'll know you can hear me. Shut up. Right, so that's the restaurant. Hey, Marshal Ray, what old friend? Oh yeah, the sign that says... says we're connected. Uh, Get to the elevator, then I'll know you can hear me. I understand the design philosophy behind uh, reminders in the off chance that you've missed them. You want a way to tell players where they should be going when they need to be in specific places. It's just... We do this dance so often. Is this working? Good. If you're at the elevator, then the tracker and the phone is working, and with any luck, the elevator should be working again too. You never know, this might be easier than I thought. See if you can call the lift, and I'll see if I can get you out of here before anyone knows anything. So everyone in chat was going, hey, listen! And Dorchus was saying, stop exploring this world I've created for you and do what I tell you. Yeah. But that's, that's not a criticism against this game. That's just me being grumpy old guy who has played a lot of video games. That's it, you're nearly there. All you have to do is get to the roof. Give it a go. I'm sure. Go to the roof. I'm sure 
nothing oh, bad happened. Bollocks. That means I couldn't upload the credentials you need. You're gonna have to hack the system from within and... Okay, everything you see, everything you hear is gonna sound crazy, but well, hopefully not everything, but we have to put things right and that starts with you. Your mind, it's fragile and complicated, so we have to do this one step at a time. I have to let you remember at your own pace. I promise I'll do whatever it takes to get you out of here, I swear it. Also, Baron Sheep, have a great day now, at work, dude. Somewhere nearby, well, there should later. be a door that doesn't match the others. Your phone will let me know when you found it. I'll call you back. All right. One of these doors is not like the other. As we play, spot the hecking difference. Well, I mean, there's mine, which is open. That's a start. Find you, you. I'm sorry, I need to be a bit obtuse here, but it's it's crucial you remember at your own pace. Find a door that has something next to it that the other doors don't. Ah, cushions. Huh. weird architecture going on here. I feel like... One door on this level has something next to it on the wall that no other door has. Find it. Alright, so that way just leads us in a big-ass loop, which is very confusing. Looking for a type of panel with numbers. That's as specific as I can be, sorry. Uh, from the readings I'm seeing here, looks like you found it. Uh, through that door is an access point leading to an authentication challenge. It's, uh, it's hard to explain, but this is how our QA technicians could get out if anything went wrong, usually. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. The last code I have for this door was 1782. See if it works. 1782. Crap. That means all the access points have been reconfigured too. We're gonna have to do this manually. Okay. In case any of our early testers got locked in, keys, well, clues, were left to help them get into these access points. This whole place is about conformity. Everything's designed to provide a uniform experience. So what you have to do is find anything that stands out that l looks different, but not so much that the staff here would remove it. Okay. So let's go number hunting. Uh, so jumping back into chat. Um... Uh, look out for something, anything different that, that stands out, but that could be hidden in plain sight. Yeah, definitely want to brute force it. So that's that. Okay. Alright, I have an idea. It's probably going to be somewhere. I can't find the answer here. The documentation's no help. Um, if I'm remembering rightly, maybe it's something to do with the doors? Uh, something the other doors don't have. Caffeine says, wasn't the number uh, 114 off-coloured? 
It's not a bad shout. I just, I'll keep having a look because the the bit with the numbers is meant to be gold plated. So depending on the angle and the lighting. style Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologise for that. Please do not click uh, any of those rando images. Uh. Um, so to uh, to Bixi, um, if that was a, a tip or a help or a thing, um... oh crap in a bin bag. Oh, okay. Uh... Uh, if you did click on that one, I would say change your Twitch password now, run a virus scan, reboot your system. Uh, sorry, so they've added the new functionality... Uh, they've added the functionality in Twitch now that we can add moderation comments onto individuals. Uh, so we're just going to ban that user now. God darn it. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. I saw that pop up. Uh, um, bear with me all just a second. I'm just going to... I'm just going to tell uh, Nightbot to just feck and handle that. Because I can get Nightbot to uh, delete. I think Nightbot can handle that one. Uh, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Let's pop on some, some bit of the prof while I just handle that real quickly. And I'm not proud of... Not proud of what happened, but... Um... It wasn't my fault. It often isn't. And I so frequently get the blame. <laughs> yes, well. yes. It was a normal day, well, normal for me. I'd done the impossible by quarter to three. I'd put my feet up, I was pouring the tea. Felt a burning sensation all on my knee. And then I noticed that my cup was gone. So's my left shoe, something's wrong. Movement in the shadows, I listen in the dark. It can't be Jeffrey, he's off visiting an aunt. I run for the lab, equipment is missing, there's a tuft. A hazelnut crumb in the kitchen, I've had enough. Subtle has never been my style. Whoever's at my staff will regret it in a while. Night goggles, spare left shoe. A prof's got to do what a prof's got to do. Shout, I'm just going out. And then pretend to leave. Switch on invisibility, re enter. Okay, with that ease. should help everybody. Yes, uh, thank there's you all for waiting for me. There's a secret there. stash of nuts here to um, under. I'm so sorry. Shh, be down. I'm so sorry. Weird. How did this tough to fluff get stuck in my bed? So, Nightbot Shh. has now been weaponized. Squirrel. Nightbot Squirrel. now uh, stealth kill Squirrel. any links that are not posted by shelves. I don't mean this to sound squirrel, squirrel, 
I don't mean to sound There's arrogant my or one um, in my luggage, uh, hoity toity. You lot a third have filling a swag been bag exceptionally generous jewels, to keep in general to each other. other. That's not cool. Heaven Subscriber chat seems to be on go to default, Time which is selfish squirt of my knockout spray. Tied to tiny chairs, got them up the next day. Who sent you? Who are you? What have you got to say? It's going to be a problem. They stay silent. They won't talk neither. Squirrels can't talk. And neither do beavers. They're wearing... Alright. Okay. That should... Should be good. Three. Three. Okay. So, let us continue. Um, no, now is not the time to do the deleted link jokes. Um, right. Uh, so, uh, subscribers will be able to post links. That is not a problem. Um, I have set it so that at least... Uh, so that Nightbot should insta-murder... Um, and put on a uh, a five second timeout for anyone throwing up um, uh, links who is not a subscriber. Uh, what I was saying while the music was blaring was that. Oh, oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, Greenfire. Thank you for the hundred cheer. Saying splat. It's been snowing where I am, and you should have been hit by a flurry of snowballs. <laughs> BT, how are you doing? How are you doing, friendo? Sorry, I'm just dealing with some... Ah, uh, some rogue bastards. So, um... Yeah, if you are subbed, you'll be able to... You should be able to share links as regular. Um, for non-subs, it'll just kill them off the bat. Um, one thing that's really cool is they finally rolled out the moderation tools. So to Caffeine, to Lizzie, to Tal, uh, any of the mod peeps that are... Uh, kicking in chat you can now uh, look on someone's uh, name and add moderation elements so that's real cool uh, you can see if someone's been in trouble at all now you gotta be faster caffeine you gotta be faster yo um yeah so you can see a person's last uh, 900 messages uh, and you can see how many times they've been timed out or banned or otherwise. So, yeah. The deets are there, my friends. The deets are there. Uh, and BT said his mod tools are going to be useful as heck. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. <laughs> Chrono's like, am I a bad boy? Well... Chrono, according to uh, your Twitch profile, you are you are the, you are the goodest of good boys. Um, Jaroland sets up two-stage authentication on Twitch. That is always a good thing to do. Anything that's got your card details or allows you to spend money, please put two-stage authentication on. Um, right. George says, take a question. Can you add people to a whitelist for posting links? Like if someone is a regular on the stream but isn't able to subscribe? Um, yes, possibly. Um, what I might be able to do is, what I might be able to do is, if they are coming from a specific place, then yes. Or, if someone would like a link shared, they can contact uh, uh, Tal or Caffeine or Lizzie or whoever. Yeah, so there we go. Right. Thank you all for bearing with me on that one. I do apologise. And if, if you did get hit by that link, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. We're... We're usually a lot sharper. So there was this door. And this door has one discolored number, which is number one. Because now it's letting us... No discoloration. No discoloration. None there. None there. 
Because see, I love these kind of puzzles in games, and also love solving them with you lot. So, okay, we've got another one. Discolorated. Unless it is those two doors. So if someone could write down uh, either one twice or 14 and... and 12. Right, or we'll, we'll do the round and see if any other doors have the discoloration on. So there's the 14. The, the architecture in this seems mildly impossible. Mildly impossible. Like, I feel like I turn left or right repeatedly. Nirvana says, okay, I leave for tens of minutes. What's the story so far? Uh, we're trapped in something, possibly like a, uh, a VR experience. We know that much. Someone is contacting us over our weird little disc phone, and we're going from there. So I think it's either 1412 or 1214. Good shot. It was a good shot. Oh. We were being too clever. Who was it that says... Uh, who was it that was saying... Uh, that we should check the, uh, the do not disturb door that says 1313. Whoever said that, congratulations, you spotted it. Clues have survived the reset cycles. Hey, this. DJ! Ahead of you, another door will lead to the authentication challenge, which you have to complete on your own. I won't be able to reach you inside. The device you have, it's not just a phone, it's... Look, this is hard to explain quickly. Um, you'll be able to absorb and exchange certain colours. <laughs> I know how that must sound. Things should make sense when you're in there. Shush. Good luck. I need to say I'll be waiting. Down. Ladies, gentlemen, and individuals of all persuasions, it is my esteemed pleasure to introduce you to Hero to the People, Dan Jones. How you doing, dude? Uh, we are playing the Spectrum Retreat. We've only really just started uh, because Steam was being a butt, and then we had a, a problem with Shifty Links. But uh, we're, we're on it now. We're on it now. So, how are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Uh, this game, uh, so far I can best describe it as uh, Portal meets the Starship Titanic. Authentication challenge uh, 101. Color swap module installed. So we can't go through the that particular color. So we just... Take the, uh, the disc of red, and that allows us to go through. Yeah, piece of cake, right? And now we've got our kind of our our party puzzles. So, what's going down with yourself, DJ? Tell me, tell me tales of you, sir. Uh, as all we've really done is uh, uh, started this game and done battle with varying bots of varying descriptions. Okay. Aha! Right, so now it gets clever. So we want red there. So we take that. Take that rip from there, and jobs are good. Cryostick says Portal Plus the Titanic has a crash into an iceberg. The Starship Titanic. Okay.
So to Harmonious, Hero to the People, Dan Jones, anyone who has just popped up, it is lovely to make your acquaintance. Oh, dear Lord! We'll remake your acquaintance. What I meant to say is lovely to have you with us. Ah, uh, okay. Walk on platforms as well. Using the blocked access, we continue to move through. Okay. Now, I don't know about you lot, I fucking love these kinds of puzzles. Uh, I was really disappointed that uh, Mag Runner, the, the Dark Descent, wasn't better, but I loved what it tried to do, which was create. Uh, that was more of a physics based puzzle problem. Oh, a couple of, couple of brain melters. Vanderby said the substantial flaws. <laughs> Insubstantial flaws are bad. Okay. Earl says there's something about the music and aesthetic of this that kind of makes me want to play Syndicate, like the uh, the newer one. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm as as some of you may or may not know, I'm not always the most polite of gamers. There have been times when I have been incorrigible. Alright, so we've got to fish the other one across. So I'm just going to require some. Slice the pine that way. Alright. Um, so, sometimes I have been mischievous as a gamer. I did get very, very into the last uh, first-person shooter syndicate game, and not necessarily the not necessarily the single player. The single player was disappointing, to say the least. But the multiplayer was exceptional. It was kind of, I guess, the precursor to what would be Payday. And one of the things that was really cool about it is that your rank was based on your stock market value. So you, as a group of operatives, the more missions you did and the ways you completed them increased how valuable your company was. Which is, which is fine, which is fine. Thing is, we, we, were, in the, we were in the equivalent of the, of the NASDAQ, uh, the top 10. We were one of the top 10 
traded companies in the UK on Syndicate. Perhaps our company name wasn't the politest. Maybe we shouldn't have been the Royal Bank of Scotland. Maybe, maybe that's not okay. But we did play a lot of that game. It was actually really interesting that the multiplayer of that game utterly outshone the single player. Yet the single player was clearly more expensive to create. Alright, so what am I missing here? I can't go through this. That's just a standard force field. We need to bring the red across. We can't we can't grab it through a force field. So we're gonna grab that. Now, so if we grab this, we're gonna have a bad time. So in some methodology, we need to get that cube bright red. Question. I love these kinds of puzzles. Um, and what was really interesting is that uh, Syndicate was made by Starbreeze, if I remember correctly, and a lot of their precursor work is what would go into. I know, I don't know if it was Payday 2 or Payday the original. Like, I don't know if Payday was post uh, Syndicate Wars. Uh, sorry, Syndicate. Uh, now, I would say. The single player of uh, Syndicate, the first person shooter one, was utterly abysmal. What am I missing here? What am I missing? This is one of the other tricky parts about um, streaming with you lovely folks. I need you to not be right red. I can't get an angle on that slice. Sort of from there. There is something I'm Who was that that called? Whoever was the one that called it first. And there we go. Well done. Well done. Um, so, Crisis says, bonus points for the syndicate using Michael Wincott's voice in the campaign. Uh, Death from Darksiders 2. Uh, you know what? I'm sure his voice stuff was great, but the story, the plot, and the voice acting of the single player campaign of Syndicate was so bad. I really wanted to like it. Venus says, I feel, still feel you're a bit quiet versus the game. Really? All right, we can we can turn that stuff down. I can, I can lower that, it's fine. It's it's a rare day when uh, I feel like I am the quiet element in this story, but. And I do understand where that team was coming from because for all intents and purposes, they were creating what they believed to be, you know, the kind of game that people wanted, which was a first-person shooter experience. But if I'm being honest, they missed everything that made Syndicate really, really good, and that the multiplayer got it down pat. It's just... They busted it out at a time when there wasn't the same amount of... How about no? Um, when there wasn't the same amount of bravery in the first person shooter space. Because, I mean, that last syndicate effect, alright. No full damage! Um, that last syndicate dropped during that kind of, you know, the last, the, the halcyon days of the big publisher. Wow. You have one new message. Hi, guess he's been a Mr. Forgetful Pants and left his coat in your car. <laughs> after you. I know you're rushed off your feet, but I'm back to back with meetings, so if you could drop his coat off at school, that would be amazing. Love you. Bye. So Earl was saying, I do agree the new Syndicate single player was not good. If I cannot recall the campaign at all, the co stuff was fantastic. Um, the, the things that the... The things that the newer Syndicate did that uh, were... In form was mostly things around the. Okay. Oh, now it's a th now it's a challenge. Um, the things that the new syndicate did was it went for a linear kind of uh, set piece based experience when it came to how they were delivering that, and oh my. So we've done that side. Let's go to this side. Um, and they missed that one of the, the good elements of Syndicate was its freeform... 
uh, letting you take your team and handle missions how you wanted it to. There's one situation where, uh, was it you? You went to be sniping from a window and helping out a bunch of people. However, let's go check this out. Uh, however, because of shenanigans reasons, you have to jump across the gap to go help people, and then it's like, oh no, I didn't have my gun. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even put my gloves on! Sorry, Greenfire says, distractions bits. I'm sorry to cut you off, Will. But I declared a snowball fight in chat, and you've been hit like three times. I'm feeling mischievous. God, don't, I'm not even... I honestly, I feel that... Uh, I feel that... Snowball fights without gloves are actually a fight. Like, you've got to want to hit the other person with a snowball hard enough to get your hands into frozen snow. Get to the boat says, right, I'm back. Twitch password changed, two-stage authentication now enabled. Windows Defender and Malware both came with clean, so I think that's good. That's cool. Because um, one of the things that uh, Thor got hit with was basically people um, embedding malware into images. And he was saying it was doing the rounds beforehand. So... Um, yeah, so, and Thor, Thor has a real strong grounding in, uh, network security stuff, so. Alright, so we need to go red through the first one. We need to be able to dunk, okay, so we need to be able to dunk the middle one, so we'll pop that there. That should be enough for us. No, I messed up. So we do need red there, we don't need red there. Should be enough. Oh, we need to almost. For some reason, the sound effect, the soundtrack's actually reminding me of the uh, original Mummy film with Brendan Fraser. I don't know why. It just is. I'm really digging the music though. Um, yeah, so jumping back into, uh, that was something that Thor mentioned that he'd seen doing the rounds, and, yeah, I'm just, I do not want to see any of you get your accounts jacked or any problems like that one. Um, now, jumping back onto the previous one, oh yeah, Cryostick saying, speaking of the, uh, not understanding of what makes games great, it was another example of the era of Shadowrun. Remember that weird multi-FPS thing? I, now I don't know this for a fact, this is just theory crafting, dear cryostics, but my theory was that that uh, multiplayer title was something that Microsoft wanted to make. I think they needed a multiplayer class-based game for their lineup, and their decision was made, and the decision, I believe, was made, there you go, uh, to use the Shadowrun IP over it. I think that's why we got that particular title, because Microsoft owned or owns all of the Fasacorp stuff. Get the boat says, I thought you said Shadow Man. Oh, the Shadow Man games. Well, okay, the Shadow Man games are probably terrible now, but I remember them being great. Wraith said, so apparently GameStop Germany are just giving away copies of Fallout 76 when you Welcome buy back. a controller. Used. I even knew one. Here. Well done. I knew you'd be all right in there. Right now, everything's powered down until the next cycle. The only way to reset it is to return to your quarters, your, your room, and sleep. This place, this place is built around you. I can't say any more until you see it for yourself, but we will get you out of here, whatever it takes. Get some rest. We'll speak tomorrow. What if, what if you just let me do these puzzles and don't talk to me? Bram says, oh, Cooper, I forgot you existed. Uh, Earl says, they enabled 360 PS3 cross play and competitive multiplayer. Oh, I didn't realise. I didn't realise Shadowrun had PC versus console. I know you've got questions. I'm going to guide you to the answers, but for now... 
it's time to rest. You need to you need to stop interrupting me, game. Um, it's so weird because, um, like, Microsoft helped with the infrastructure on the GameCube, uh, GameCube on the Dreamcast, and the Dreamcasts are the quite... rest of the hotel's closed off for now. It's um, it's a bit hard to explain. Oh, Let's go just to your room, get some rest. This entire situation could have been improved with less voice acting. Remember kids, VO is not necessary. VO is a delicious topping on an addition. Sorry, that's just, that's not VO. Anyway, what I was trying to say when I was fecking being interrupted was um, Quake 3 was available on the Dreamcast and they allowed PC versus Dreamcast cross compatibility. Thing is, the Dreamcast didn't ship with dual analog sticks. It, it shipped with a D-pad and one analog. Not gonna do it. You can't make me, you can't make me. I don't wanna talk to you. I'm just gonna go on adventures. It can make me. Oh, we're still connected. That's a good thing. Yay! From here on, if we're gonna make any progress, it's important not to break any patterns, to not draw attention. Oh no, act natural. Act natural comes in and I'm just like skip it up, 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 uh, Earl says there's an achievement for playing across platforms, yeah, and they try to balance it by giving access to auto aim weapons and mods that are upgrade rounds off the first, but still. Uh, basically, Dreamcast players attempt to play against PC players on um, on Quake 3 was just a massacre. And while it could have been a killer app for the Dreamcast, it certainly wasn't. It was, if anything, it was the opposite. Ah, good morning. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologize for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. And while we iron out one or two technical difficulties, I hope you don't mind this somewhat personal touch. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. Uh, and please, enjoy your stay. I shall indeed. Um, what, was, what were we waffling on about? Oh, good point. Jaraland, the hoodie's gone. That's an excellent point. See if it's been moved somewhere. Oh. That's cute. Stuff we can play with now. So we marked off a day in the calendar. Let's see what else we can play with. I thought, okay, okay. Let's bunk off and let's just order room service. I've never, you know, I've never done that. I've never done that just like stay in a hotel and one. just skyrocket. Head down to the restaurant as before. We have to get this cycle started before we try to subvert it. Sorry, that was fully technical. Um, the hotel runs to a specific timetable based on fulfilling your basic physical needs. In the morning, you have to feed. At night, you have to rest. Until you do these things, the hotel sort of stops and waits until you complete these actions, even if they seem a bit, well, arbitrary. It's just how this place was built. Okay. Um, so, Miyaki Skira says, I feel like the game could do with more space between voice lines. The voice acting would be less obnoxious if you had enough time to discover things before they were slammed at you with hints. Right? Uh, and Jaralan, no more hoodie. No more hoodie. Oh, that reminds me, I still haven't made any progress on getting merch. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, Operation Soggy Lettuce, uh, at least on my part, at, the current amount of paperwork that I need to do for Operation Soggy Lettuce. You seem keen to use the elevator. I'm sorry to say you'll have to wait a little longer. Although, if you wish to visit the roof, that area is strictly off limits to your safety. Uh, so Operation Soggy Lettuce, I have done all the paperwork on that that I need to. And I'm still hunting and applying for... Huh. Damn, that's an ugly baby. 
Again, that's one ugly ass baby. Oh. The pitches. The pitches have all changed. Jackal says, it's a little mean, but it feels like someone played Overwatch and went, oh, that'd be great in my game, but didn't quite figure out how best to handle it. Ah. Hey, Final Phoenix, I almost didn't see you sneak in there. What, old friend, and welcome. Total needs a better photographer. Oh, uh, get to the boat, said, is there a hint timer in the options? No. Oh, excuse me. And sometimes I can understand as a game creator, there is a real fear that people won't do the thing. We are an incredibly, um, especially when it comes to narrative titles, we are an incredibly video game literate group. And it is easy for us to forget that this might be someone's very first game. Now the criticism that the voice lines are coming fast, thick and fast and not allowing us to explore is true. The game is trying to push us at a pace which does not fit its movement and doesn't fit its aesthetic. Having another way to guide us to where we need to be, that's fine too. And again, when it comes to discussing voice lines, I don't expect people to follow me on my opinion quest. I think that voice acting is a thing that can add to a game. But, you know, as we've seen, you can have incredibly emotional scenes you could deliver the same element with a kind of a uh, with a nonsense uh, computer generated <laughs> if if your vo is detracting from the experience then yeah my personal feels on this one is that Because of the cost of recording and creating these things, sometimes people feel they have to put them in, even if after they've been added, they don't fit. And so sometimes you've got to be ready to just cut stuff. If it's detrimental to the experience overall, you know, there can be a certain amount of sunk cost fallacy when it comes to creating this stuff. Anyway, let's, someone, someone take the subject away from me. Let's go for another one. Uh, Cryostix says, honestly, with his photos, I was half expecting a seven days to be written in blood on the walls. Ha, <laughs> Cryostix. Remember Citadel. Um, Shackle was adding... Oh yeah, that was the little mean. Uh, Bramp says probably also lacked place testing to determine hint pacing. Or Bramp, there's a thing with... Um, there's a thing with mainstream design philosophy whereby you get individuals in who are not necessarily part of your direct audience to be the ones who come in and play test, which can result in oversimplification. Now, I'm not saying that making it more accessible is bad. I'm just, I think that the method of, hey, listen, is a bad way of doing it. And this isn't criticism here. I'm enjoying this. Reflective's here. What, oh friend? How are you doing, Reflective? Phoenix is here, Reflective is here, Anon's here. What, oh friends? How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Oh, God, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Oh, and Caffeine says that's a bit slick. The whole, the hotel freezes until you do X covers a bit of the lack of model atoms. Oh, it does. And it gives it such a lovely feeling. Morning. Hope you enjoy your stay. I really shall. <laughs> Dorchester with hope. Welcome to the Hotel Unsettled. Oh, we hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> Reflectives. I'm tired, but I'm sexy, so they cancel it out. I hear breakfast is especially good this morning. <laughs> now there's someone who knows how good our famous breakfasts are. Sorry to report the weather has taken a turn for the worst, but don't let that spoil your appetite. Please, make yourself comfortable in the restaurant. I shall indeed. Oh, and Shackle sent something shiny in the luggage cart. Uh, oh, actually, I'll go have a look at it. I don't know if it's the same thing that we looked at earlier, but it appears to be like, like a little... Um, Sorry, I just wanted to do that for my own uh, my own amusement. It's like um, a little uh, diary of the people who created this experience. Not 
the creator of the game, but yeah. Scan log. Oh yeah, so this is the same one we saw earlier. But employee 237, entry one. I got my dream job. Didn't think it was possible, but here I am. I didn't even have to go through most of the process. Someone with serious way must really like my portfolio. I start for real tomorrow. Hopefully I can make some good impressions. Oh crap, you know what this is giving me some serious flashbacks of is uh, existence. A very good with morning. Law. Fast. The reserve table is ready when you are, and please mind your step. Seems that Mr. Crow left in something of a hurry. Mr. Crow? Did she say Mr. Crow last time, or did she say one of the other guests? Shackle says, Mr. Crow? Last name confirmed. Bram says didn't la didn't last name last time. Just checking. Bram's was in. There wasn't blood last time. Ah, last time was one of the other guests. All right. Well, I'm just gonna eat some more breakfast and drink some more coffee and share none of it. That's right. That's right. Uh, Hindle said crow or crow. Uh, definitely crow. This is Nurse Armstrong from St. Luke's School. Again, I have to tell you that poor little Robin has had a terrible fever since arriving this morning. It'd be best if someone could collect him. He should be at home. I hope everything is to your liking. Oh, you should get going. I don't know how long you'll have access to floor two. <laughs> That's if you have access to floor two, I am. Um... Oh, damn it. I have to go get to the elevator. Really all up in my grill there. Jaroland says, are we a deadbeat dad? I'm not. I'm an excellent father. What are you talking about? Bram says, nurse. It's... Nurse sounds like a uh, Cooper with a cold. <sighs> Close. Let's just say you're not the only one keeping up appearances. Also, Cooper hasn't referenced. Uh, Cooper hasn't referenced. There's something about the Penrose Hotel that makes you want to stay forever. Wouldn't you agree? That's ominous. Um, Cooper hasn't referenced the paintings or the changes. So either Cooper knows, doesn't care, or Cooper doesn't know. Anon says, uh, where do you find these games, Will? Oh, crud, because Anon, you didn't hear the story. So, um, uh, TLDR, me and Echo got a behind-closed-doors press demo last year of a game called uh, Akton Cthulhu Tactics, which we sadly weren't able to get the exclusive on because I broke my hand, and I couldn't do mouse and keyboard games. Um, I can't I stay on the line. Get to the elevator quickly. All right, all right. Shut up, Cooper. Uh, Hindle says, who else understands why this place is named the Pentros, uh, the Pendros? Uh, Hindle, if they haven't twigged it yet, uh, I, so I haven't said anything, but if they haven't twigged it yet, let, let's keep it for us, and we'll see if the game decides to reveal it. The more I have to ask, the more I'm risking. Elevator, go. Cooper, fuck off. Anyway, so we got a behind closed doors demo. Right, now for the moment of tactics. truth. Um, and in, the people who to... rep that also rep this game, and it was one of the things on their demo reel uh, in their little press room. And we asked about it, they told the story, and I was like, yeah, this is fucking cool. They also do a, uh, they also do a snooker game, yes. if that's into your, if that's good, a jam. Good. The credentials are surviving the daily reset, and so far, it seems you are too. I've still got a shot at pulling this off, getting you out of this bloody place. 
Uh, so Alan says, uh, there okay. There should be another access point up. Shut there. up, Cooper. Alan says, okay, cool. Looks like a chill game. It's, it's a... I've been describing it as Portal meets the Starship Titanic. It's got some surrealist elements and it's definitely going to... Yeah, I think it's definitely going to poke us in the feels a little. But the, the reason why, Anon, the reason why I want to play this is that yesterday during Sundered, we were talking a lot about people making their very first game. You know, making your first game, releasing on Steam, the, the business of being indie. And it's something you all know that I want to encourage. I know not all of us here will make a game, but any of us could. And if you want to, obviously you have my axe and I will help. This is a game that was started by a bloke named Dan Smith when he was 15. It took him five years to make and he took it to market. He won the uh, BAFTA Young Game Designer Award for this title. And uh, I think it was uh, Ripstone with the PR company that were representing his game. And from what I understand, he's done really well. Well, that's not working. Remember to look for anything that distinctly stands out. You're looking for another keypad. <sighs> yeah, Night Vale and Chair did not load properly, tell management. A few unloaded assets on this on this floor. Yeah, so Brown was like, anything that stands out. You mean like furniture that's phasing in and out of existence, you mean? Uh, so Adon says, I'm not clever enough to make my own game. I, what? Ooh, I am getting some strange readings here. Hold your phone out in front of you. That's weird. Your phone scans these clue assets, letting me see them. And if I can see them, that means they're on the system. But... This isn't like any of the hint keys that get left for QA. Oh, worry about that later, I guess. Um, if what you've scanned is legit, then somewhere in this godforsaken place, someone makes a note of the weather. Find them. I'll monitor your progress. Right, so the weather is not all he will take note of. The weather is not all he will take note of. There's the keypad. Eh, weather shot. So let's continue having a look around. Uh, what are we chatting about? So, Alan, like, jokes aside, um, like, what was the the quote I used earlier I stole wholeheartedly from uh, Dual Core, which is, what I lack in talent, I can make up for in work. You can, for lack of a better term, brute force a game. Use a pre-made engine look at pre-existing scripts, work out how they all fit together. The game that you have in your heart might not be the one that you can make first, but you can make a game. And there's never been a better time to do such a thing. Wait, did I just get spun around? I got spun around. Cool. Uh, and I think that's super look, cool. Whoever it is you need to find, there's no one up here. So, head for the lobby now, I guess. Oh, and Alan, thank you for typing that down. Uh, yeah, the guy, the concierge, is the one that seemed to be making notes of our existence. That's blurry and weird. Um, <laughs> did you try 051? <laughs> uh, I like how that zero, uh, 0451 is slowly becoming kind of the... Um, The Wilhelm scream of part. What's the other one? Uh, the other one is uh, Smash the State. Is it Smash the State? I think it's Smash the State. It's the first password in every Deus Ex game is, uh, I think, Smash the State. Uh, Bram says they re reference 0451 in Donut Country for a joke. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 
I guess it's the repeated urgency with her ushers towards the next objective. Even though this, I'm moving at the fastest pace I can go in this game. And there's a real kind of smooth movement to it. Hello there. You know I do believe the weather might actually be on the mend. Speaking of dry spells, I trust you'll be attending the big show this evening. Hold on, did he mention the weather? Let me work it out! Sorry, sorry. It, puzzle games... Puzzle games are a thing I enjoy. Like, I, I promise you, game. I promise you, game, I will ask when I need it. His office is by the ballroom. See what you can find. I swear to all that is holy. I do apologize. Uh, Anon says uh, all these textures and lighting do remind me a little bit of the Stanley Parable graphics, which is cool because I like that game. I I'm with you there. Um, it does have that visual kind of element. Oh, and Bal says time for me to punch out, uh, pass out for the night. I uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your stream. Bal, lovely to see you as always. Uh, Alpha says uh, no, he mentioned your face, which I very much like to punch. Maybe the modding community has a Disable Cooper mod we can download. Oh, a little bit of scan log. Okay, employee th uh, 237, entry 71. The beta for the Penrose is wrapping up. 47 testers in and they love it. Unrivaled luxury. I'm fascinated by the effect the manager AI has on the experience. His ability to monitor and adapt to the user is proving invaluable. The difference in the experience by the end for each user can be massive. I've removed further restrictions on his ability to modify the hotel itself, given him uh, override access to the other staff. This will be the most personal retreat that Spectrum offers. We go live in one week. Dumbass. I've seen no way that ends badly. Uh, shout out to Haber Hotel. I'm sorry, the pool is closed. <laughs> I'm not saying I approve of that kind of terrible, terrible humor, but and as a community manager, things like that haunt me. But for some reason, it still it still makes me laugh. Hello there. You're a bit early for the show, but the manager most certainly shares your enthusiasm. I hope we'll see you here later. Hey, doll, you uh, Hello. Come here often? I thought you were the manager for a moment there. The show starts later. No doubt he's mentioned it to you. He does so love a good illusion. <laughs> Who is that? Sounds like the hotel manager is quite a fan. Bram saying, um, no, no, so uh, Christy was saying, Cooper, I know what you should try and do. Hit Control Alt Delete. Uh, Tegarushi says, hi guys, food is done. Mind if I share a uh, link to the pictures? Should be fine. Should be fine. Have a look um, around. You Sounds might want to throw like my Discord though, so they don't disappear into the, uh, the ether of chat. There. I'm going to talk over you, Cooper. See how you like it. <sighs> so there's two rooms. Oh, there's a glowing cube behind the bar. Sod it! Sod Cooper! Sod Cooper! Sod this whole thing! I've decided that I am now going to work at the hotel. I am going to serve drinks. This is how I will play the Are rest of this game. there any other rooms you can see? Maybe something behind the stage? Jesus fucking Christ, Cooper. Alright, employee 237. I think I've got it. I'm making a hotel, I know. We can give people uh, presents anywhere, doing anything. And I'm making what sounds like a normal vacation thing is, I don't think the others realise how much this tech could enhance the normal. In the digital space, we don't have to settle for a great hotel. We can achieve perfection. Spotless rooms, perfect staff, perfect food, never-ending entertainment that runs like clockwork. The ultimate retreat. I've got a feeling there's something behind the scenes. 
See if you can get behind the stage. I wonder if Cooper and Central are related. Jarrell ends like, foreshadowing! Catros says, back on my iPad. Still making sure my system is clean. Uh, do we know why we're here yet? Um, we don't know why we're here, but we know we're in some kind of like ultimate VR experience. And from the creator logs, this uh, is called, the platform is called the Spectrum and we are in the Retreat. So the Spectrum Retreat, that's the name of the title. It's designed to be the perfect hotel and the manager's AI is working to kind of like uh, tweak and change the environment to suit the needs of the hotel guests. And so that is where we're at, yo. That is where we're at. Alex with old crud. This is five shadowing. I love you guys. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, digital space, sponsor in Pepsi. Uh, I'll leave the space exploration to the others. This will work. Honestly, I can actually see that being a thing. Like, you know, full immersive body VR. Don't get me wrong, I love the idea of doing some kind of like badass LARPery stuff, but, you know, to, to get away from it all in your own mind, but not including the psychotic um, manager and all that. The perfect hotel actually sounds pretty rad. Just thinking about it, I've never actually stayed in a hotel for my own, uh, for my own uh, relaxation. Like, I've stayed in hotels for work a lot, um, but yeah. Anon says the perfect manager. You smoking, Will? Uh, so Anon, I think the AI of this place is meant to do something. Uh, oh, extra kitchen. Numbers would just like to inform us all that Supernatural has been renewed for season 15. 1 5. I am very happy that we live in a world where that show has continued. I stopped watching six or seven seasons in, but I'm very happy that it, one, exists, and two, has a fan base that love it. I will say that first season is still my favourite, and that if I ever, ever got a studio and a budget, I would love to make a co op. So it would be a co-op research shooter based on the first season where you and a group of friends have to find out what monster is attacking what town and how best to beat it. But with using some amount of procedural generation in the monster's abilities and weaknesses so that you have to research it, you can't just like charge in. You gotta know what it's weak against and what it's gonna handle. Um, and the ways in which you do that research uh, allow for some just like hanging out and sort of hanging out and chilling. I really like that as an idea. Uh, I thought that the perfect world, I loved their whole thing where you had to do proper research to progress. And you could like look at guides and YouTube tutorials and stuff to skip things, but yeah. I I'm getting some bizarre readings in your immediate area that there must be something here. It's a copper. What the hell? This, this is completely against protocol, leaving this out in the open. Shut up, Cooper. So, uh, cycle destabilizes over time. Sustainability restored after decision. External stimuli suspended. Uh, suspected cause of shortened cycle duration. Maintain cycle stability. Prepare for cognitive recollection. Floor two access code for next cycles. 2137-8133-9234-5382. That's circled. And then 6761. Mr. Crow has returned. Just there, 5382, that's what I, we need. Get going quickly before someone sees you. Go elevator now. No. No. Employee 237, entry 41. Dear God, I don't believe it. Uh, the Penrose Hotel has been shortlisted for public testing. There are issues, plenty of them, but my gamble on perfecting the familiar might just have paid off. I've got meetings with executives through next week. I think this might be it. The broad strokes of the design are final and implemented. Dozens of simulated guests with fantastical backstories and wonderful character. Perhaps my proudest achievement is the library. Taking advantage of the, stimulate, uh, the simulated nature, I can preload it with every book ever written and contain it within a grand but limited space. 
I've also worked with some folks in R&D to develop a modified AI agent to act as the manager. He'll adapt to the user's every need, oh, with sorry. less limitations I'm, than other staff. I'm under a lot of pressure. But this isn't about me, this is about justice. About getting you out of here and... Oh, shit! Sorry, I... Yes, I'm not, I'm not sure the root cause. I've put a ticket in with IT. No, 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 I can manage. Thanks. That was, all right, that was pretty quaint. Uh, Cooper putting her hand over the, the mic to talk to someone in the office. Oh, green fire, that was actually, that's really cool. Hey, I didn't realize your room was on this floor. Um, that's really cool of you, Greenfire. Thank you kindly. Gatos like, I don't trust Cooper at all. Me neither. <laughs> Numbers is like, but why not? She's so trustworthy. Thank you. High five. <laughs> you have a robot hand, and now I have a broken hand. <laughs> Pools closed. Oh, for feck's sake, Hindle. <laughs> uh, at least the Will Breaking His Hand clip isn't now the most... But it hasn't become the most viewed clip. Alright, so what did we need to do? We need to go back up the elevator and punch in the code. Cool. Thank you kindly. I should also say... So taking a stop, taking a breath. When we played 1111 Memories Retold, there were large swaths of that game that I was incredibly critical of while we were playing it. And in the end, after kind of digesting the game, after talking with Camille, after jamming back and forth on the different concepts of it, I feel that I was overly harsh. Now, right now, right now, I'm being an asshole. I'm being an asshole. I am being like, Chuck Cooper, being all up in our grill. We don't know Cooper's motivations. We don't know what Cooper is going to do. Right now, we're just experiencing the early stages. And our frustration with Cooper might just be part of that. It's like... Uh, anyone here who hasn't played the original Bioshock? I was about to say something that would end up being... Uh... Oh, Ice Grid says, speaking of clips, the MechWarrior 4 clip has surpassed the Will Screaming at Reapers clip. Nice. I think Reddit found it. Um, what was I saying? Right, number says never played Bioshock. Damn it! All right, well, I was gonna reference an element from Bioshock, which, if you haven't had it spoiled for you, is still very good. But the point being is that sometimes being critical of a title piecemeal is doing a disservice to the experience. Like, absolutely take a game to task for the things it does ill, but sometimes... Sometimes annoying elements end up being part of something greater. Sometimes elements are thrown at you that are uncomfortable and weird because they are going to become something better. It's the setup. And if we are constantly critical of the small granular before we get to the, the payoff, then I am no better than... Uh, Mr. I played this game for 20 minutes and I'm now going to write a review with a, you know, a 65 Metacritic score. Oh, what's that? It actually ends up being one of the great games of our time. Oh, yeah, well, it wasn't great in the first 20 minutes, so... Not bitter. Not bitter. Right. I hope you realise soon what's at stake here for both of us. <gasps> You're going to actually 82. tell me the code. 82. Good luck. says maybe it's meant to be intentional except for the repeated voice lines or what if the repeated voice lines are and the uh, incessant nature of them is something that is intended oh it's a tiny table hello tiny table 
Uh, Ocean View Medical Practice. Dear Alex, this is to confirm that Robin was examined by us on the above date and may return to school or work January 9th. Uh, parent's name. Oh, actually, where was that? At uh, Ocean View, San Francisco. Oceanview.com. That must have been expensive. Sorry. That was a 50-50 chance. Uh, so Icon Fire says, so what is this game anyway? Are you like trapped in a matrix or something? Or something. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. It appears to be some kind of like... Uh... Interesting. It appears to be some form of VR experience. Wait, 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 so we don't actually need that one. Aha! Ha ha ha! Hi, my name's Will. I solve puzzles. That's what I do. Um, yeah, we don't know the specifics of it. Also, Trinity Cap, I do apologise I didn't say hello when you came in. What? Oh, and welcome. How are you doing? Um... So yeah, I guess I just wanted to backtrack on, and it is, my job as the host of this is, I, I take very seriously. Okay, yes, I yell at things and I'm increasingly stupid, but for me to bash on a game after only a couple of hours, unless it's particularly egregious, that's unfair. Cooper's voice lines are irritating, but I wonder would they be irritating if it wasn't interrupting me from talking to you lot? Like, that's the thing that I want to do, so... The feck are you, mate? Alright, so we got green. What the hell are we going to do with green? So that's where we were. <laughs> I caught fire one says, or something. Well, you could have been trapped in the Matrix, which is much like the Matrix, but it projects uh, the Matrix into meat space. Uh, or it's the Mises Matrix. Aha! Because green blocks access to white and. Here we go. Dorchus is like, what's that? Well, well, that's called green. Actually, uh, Dorchus, it's funny you should mention that, because um, actually, I've, I've actually been saving... Think about white as a colour, not as a kind of a, um, uh, not as a catch-all. Aha! What I said was one of those good old-fashioned puzzles. 
puzzles are fun. Uh, so Eddie Inferior says, Games Industry Survivor? Um, God. Well, so firstly, Eddie, hello and welcome. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. Um, I guess I should properly introduce myself. Um, my name is Will. I worked in the games industry for just shy of 10 years. Uh, Crowby can say that I've done 10 years, but I, I, I am apprehensive to describe myself currently as a games industry professional. Um, I, as I now stream full time, uh, I worked for the Creative Assembly, I worked for Sega, uh, Sega Europe, I worked for Lionhead for a little bit back in the day. That is- Oh, come on! Damn it. Um, uh, I even worked for uh, Dean Hall's uh, studio, Rocketworks. Uh, which was a lot of- uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, these days I live out in Seattle and I, thanks to the lovely numpties that you see in chat, I stream full time. I do this five days a week and every day we try and play something different or we try and focus on games that have done something interesting. We talk about both the artistic meaning of video games and we also talk about the real business challenges of making video games. That's what we do. So yeah. If you fancy sticking around, it is lovely to meet. It is lovely to meet you. Right, let's get this. This is gonna kick my ass. Uh, Anon says my local gaming company makes uh, Crackdown. Anon, wait, you're in Scotland. Way cool. It is still real time worlds that's making Crackdown, right? I'm not going completely do lally tap. That's super cool. Um, bloody hell, I actually got. Um, uh, I actually got. Uh, an initial offer way, 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 way back in the day uh, when they were still doing um, uh, APB. Uh, I didn't take it in the end because uh, it was a, an entry-level QA gig and I didn't have any disposable income that would allow me to move up to Scotland, but there we go. Um, so Eddie says that's excellent. If you're talking about games and three issues, uh, can I suggest a game? Well, I'll tell you what, throw it into chat. Um, I am not promising that I will give it a give it a jam. No. Low. Um, I am more than happy to, to hear your recommendation. Um, I can't promise that we'll cover it, and I can't promise we'll get into stuck into it. Um, but at very least, I am happy to chat about it. So Ray says, "Okay, so jump back in," because uh, there's a lot of one things. Trinity Cap says, "Will have we done Oxen Free yet? Uh, we've not done it yet, so you haven't missed it, uh, or as I'm calling it, the uh, the Interrupt a Lot Simulator." Um, so, Eddie is saying the game he recommended was Recursed. Let me have a look, because the name's not ringing a bell. But uh, we were chatting about this the other day, and... Uh, oh, I don't know Recursed. Uh, okay. Um, I don't... I'll do some research into this one, and I'll see where it goes from there. It looks intriguing. It looks intriguing. Um, so yes, you haven't missed Oxen Free. That's on the list. Great Blue Huron. What, oh friend? And Eddie is pointing out. Didn't get much coverage, but I think it's one of the best puzzles. Uh, I mean, so Eddie, we've talked about this uh, a fair wedge on the show that at the moment, like getting coverage for titles is so hard. What are you about? What are you about? All right, whenever we pass into the next room, we can pass to here. Interesting. Ah, so you need to be super green. The question, dear friend, is how? How do we get super green up there? I'm really enjoying these puzzles. And the thing is, the way these puzzles unfurl and you have to solve them segment by segment, I'm really... Really enjoying. So. Aha! Uh, oh, 
Oh, Beardora's heading to bed. Beardora, lovely to hang out with you. Good night. So, Teddy, if you want to pull up a chunk of whatever kind of seating arrangement you find yourself with, um, we are jamming on the Spectrum Retreat today. Now, this game is fascinating. So this was actually made by, it started by a, a 15 year old bloke called Dan Smith. And he developed it uh, over the course of five years. Managed to win a Young Game Designer Award from BAFTA. And took this game through to market, which is fecking rad. Oh, and you've given it a play. Oh, that's brilliant. Alright, so what was, uh, so what was Wraith saying? Uh, so Wraith was saying something about uh, Sumo Digital. Because I know... There was... Oh, yeah, so... Oh, at the race saying it's actually Sumo Digital that are on Crackdown now. They took over Dev for 3 a while back. Interesting. So, now I don't know any of this, but I have some theories. I have some theories. Uh, I think that the... Uh, oh, God. Terribly sorry, terribly sorry. Uh, I have a feeling that the tech that they used to create it caused an inordinate amount of problems. So this is a cute little problem. Um, they're using Microsoft Azure uh, cloud compute servers to try and simulate the real-time destruction elements. God. Oh, feck! Oh, now I'm lost. This seems slightly bad. Alan says, uh, so I guess you know uh, which city in Scotland that I'm in, uh, after knowing all that. I... Red we can bring with us. Now, do we need to bring red or green with? That's the question. Says, Congratulations, Will. You played yourself. I mean, maybe, I, maybe I didn't. Maybe I know what I'm doing. Uh, so sorry. Um, one of the elements that Crackdown Three was working on was using cloud compute technology to allow for like real-time destructive physics on like a city-wide scale. Problem is, cloud compute stuff is one stupidly expensive. Uh, see, we don't have enough. Look, too red. It's unlikely that we'd need to do red, red, green. Alternating is probably more, more likely. There we go. Oh, is that what we want to do? I don't know if you all have noticed. noticed but there's some crazy feckin physics going on so this is us the base of the tower you know what I was talking about earlier about how the impossible architecture all right let's just keep walking keep walking just gonna keep on walking oh and uh, we've just got a, a lovely little host by hey it's Fiona um, so Eddie I know exactly the term you mean but I always fail to pronounce it correctly so I don't like pronouncing it Effect off. Oh, how do I get out? I've done goofed. Start challenge. Thank you. Damn it! 
Yeah, for all the fecking accessibility nonsense we put up with earlier. For all the accessibility nonsense we put up with accessibility, with all the repeated... After I literally just went on a rant about not going on a rant. Very sorry, one and all. Very sorry. So, what is the stack we need? We need green and then red red. Um, so yeah, so the impossible geometry elements of this, it's one of the things I love about video games. It's something that video games can do that can create these wonderfully, oh yeah, these wonderfully unsettling experiences. So we need green, red, red, right? Okay. Let me get another look at it. So red's the first one. Uh, Eddie says, if you're interested in possible geometry things, you may wish to pay attention to the upfold Manifold Garden. Oh, I know about Manifold Garden. I also know it's been in development for fecking eternity. Cool, so we need red. So green's in the right place. What we don't need is anything there. Congratulations, Red. You're coming on an adventure. A Manifold Garden has been in development for longer than I think the games industry has existed. Uh, Manifold Garden is going to be a gorgeous, bizarre, impossible geometry setup, and it should be amazing when it finally comes out. Woohoo! I totally solved that puzzle all by myself. Wasn't looking at all your helps and chat. Uh, also, sorry, while I was waffling on there, uh, hey, it's Fiona gave us a little host. Uh, so, Fiona, if you're listening in any capacity, thank you kindly. Oh, Eddie's actually one of the beta testers on Manifold. That's way cool. Uh, do you know the, the gentleman behind it? Because he is cool people. He is exceptionally cool people. Hey! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and individuals of all persuasions, hey, it's Fiona, finds themselves kicking it, chilling and illing in chat. Uh, if you haven't seen Fiona's work, uh, I wholeheartedly recommend it. If you would consider throwing them a follow, that would be lovely. Uh, and also because uh, Fiona's uh, stream announcement today included a uh, gif from... Uh, included a gif from Vikings, which made me very happy. <laughs> Anon says, I'd throw a follow, but I don't think I can throw that far. Oh, very quaint, Anon. Very quaint. Interesting. Right, so here's one green for us. statement here. Fiona says, uh, I like Vikings, best show, need to catch up. Um, and Eddie says, as it turns out during testing, lots of people like the impossible spaces, so a number of such spaces increased throughout development. That's real cool. Uh, Alex says, uh, I missed it, did you catch the uh, question about colour blindness? Uh, I don't know who was asking about colour blindness, but um, one of the cool things about this is that uh, if we go into the options, we can choose the different color visions. So that's the standard, uh, red, green, blue. But we have those two words that I can't pronounce. We have that word that I can't pronounce. And then the joke is impossible uh, because it's different shades of gray. Um, That's red. That delicious red. <laughs> I 
Add on says, I'm always charming, Will. I'll give you, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's also now getting us used to the idea that not everything will be uh, a standard block. I mean, not that it's anything that we haven't discussed uh, both as friendos and as an industry, but, you know, with puzzle games, if each new puzzle is adding an additional element that then combines to this cacophony where all these elements are added, I always think it's great. Rather than trying to implement all the things you have to learn at the beginning and then slowly ramping up difficulty. Um, but jumping back into chat, so... Fiona was... Oh, Fiona was saying they like Vikings. Uh, I mean, we hang out. Well, we don't hang out enough, but... Um, Eddie was saying that their complaint so far is that uh, Manifold Gardens are too easy, but then again I play some serious puzzle games, so maybe it's just me. Possibly. Difficulty on puzzle games is very difficult to balance. Catras says, genuine non to question, how does this tie into the story? Like, uh, why did we go from uh, identical sterile clean hotel room to Tron by way of antechamber? Again, not trying to be hostile, just genuinely lost here. So I believe we're informed of... Uh, I believe we're informed of it that this is the QA testing areas. Um, that are kind of behind the scenes that are meant to work as, uh, as exit points. But we've not been given a clear reason as to why. Alright, so... We're doing the old... Uh, we've got loads and loads of greens and all we need to red. Uh, also, uh, Sean! How you doing, dude? What ho! Sean, how's your uh, how's your cacophony of GDC meetings coming? Has, has has the GDC of agony started for you? You know what? I don't think we actually need the green. I think it wants us to get rid of the green. Oh, we can annihilate a green. Oh, that is messed up. Uh, so Sean says, good. Uh, I made a ZX Spectrum joke. You did. Oh, run away, ZX. Give up and run away. It's worth it. Um... Sean says, I'm going to try and limit them this year. That's not a bad one. Sean, if you want to um, hang out... Well, actually, I can't remember, Sean, if you're uh, Seattle-based or not. If you want to hang out at GDC this year for the first time ever, I am at GDC just for, for myself. So... Uh, Sean says, I was in San Francisco, I moved back east with a company so they could work remote. Ah, fair dues. Um, but yeah, so Sean, if you wanna if you wanna hang out, uh, I don't have anything that uh, either of us need biz devery wise, but yo, I don't I this GDC I work for no one other than myself. So I get to hang out with you and do whatever, and I'm very much looking forward to it. So Katra says, right, it just feels like, I don't know, I wandered into a, a different game world, like, the tech in the hotel is like pre-Bioshock vibe, and it's a completely different design that threw me off. Sorry. Uh, Katra, you have nothing to apologise for. In fact, those questions are really valid. Um, the hotel itself, we now know, narratively, is a construction. We don't know if it's like a full-body AR, uh, sorry, full-body VR. We don't know if it's a, um, uh, like an in-our-brain type thing. We have contact with someone on the outside world who appears to be at a desk uh, pretending like they're not fecking with us. We've heard references to game design and QA and that this place has been designed to be the ultimate hotel. Um, these elements are the, the kind of the QA hidden sections and what they serve to this we don't know. Jumping back into chat, uh, Eddie's saying the problem with the infinite cubes they can destroy colours you need to progress. True, I'm never really a fan of having to restart but that's just my humble feels. 
Uh, Sean says, oh, have tank, what pass you rolled it? Sean, I got a press pass. Turns out there are not many content creators who go to GDC, so. Uh, so we got Infinite Red there. So we don't know how many Infinite Reds we're going to need. We can work on that. Alright, and that's where we need to put the green once we're done playing with Infinite Red. So red goes to there, red goes to there, so we need two. You need to be red, and you need to be, you also need to be red. Alright, so just need to go get that chunky monkey. Uh, Catros says, is QA testing uh, always this hardcore? Um, it, it's more hardcore on combat. Uh, it's more uh, hardcore on combat game where you're actually under fire, but yeah, this is this is pretty standard for QA. <laughs> and Sean's like, oh man, official press. Yeah, dude. Um, there aren't many content creators who go to GDC, especially not ones who are looking to actually cover, like, game dev, biz dev type stuff. So, yeah, 47 hooked me up. Uh, I might also have a cameraman with me, which would allow me to do some live coverage. Uh, so don't worry, I'm not going to stick a camera in your face. But that would be super cool. Nailed it! I love football. So yeah. Oh yeah, so these are called authentication challenges. As if to say that... Let's have a little look around first. So there's white we can throw to there. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, and to, uh, to May May Kitten, I say, What a would welcome! So this game looks bitch! Uh, this game is really interesting. Um, so, Mei Mei, uh, if we haven't met before, it'd be lovely to make your acquaintance. Um, this is called the Spectrum Retreat. And the reason why we're playing this today is not just because it's an interesting narrative game and interesting puzzle game, but also this was a solo project by a 15-year-old developer. Um, it, it didn't remain a solo project, I should say. Like, I have an idea. Let's put you there for now. Be green. Oh, right. Got an idea. Um, so this was made by a 15-year-old dev. Took him five years to finish. And yesterday we were playing a game called uh, The Sunted, which is very cool. Infinite green. Super green. Do we need two rounds of green here? Ah, oh, yes, May May. I had a feeling we'd met, saying, I remember you cried on H games. This game doesn't have H in it. Also, if I need to explain that one, it's not the H games you're thinking of. Anyway, TLDR May May. Um, this game is a great example that any one of us can make a project. And any one of us can make a project that we can take to market. And that's really powerful. So that's, that's the, you know, that's the tale that I'm trying to, to put forward with this. Because this game's heckin' cool, no? Ah, alright, so we're gonna need to chaperone some green across. That's cool. Alright, so we've got the green that we need for there. Green? Super green. So that one actually needs... So that actually needs to be red. Where's my red at? So I 
enough to get through. How many sneak one in the red room? People asking Mei what kind of H games? Like Half-Life, Heartbound, games beginning with the letter H. This joke has continued to amuse Mei Mei for hours on end. Ooh, this looks sci-fi. Anyway, so yeah, so Mei Mei, yesterday we were talking about Sundered and for some reason the conversation turned to the actual logistical challenges of game development. Stop that incessant clicking! Hey! Feckin... The man. Fucking thank you, friendo. Uh, the man just gifted a sub to Maymay. That's fucking cool of you. Thank you. More hospital bills. This game's going to be fun. Oh, wait, no. What's that other thing? Incredibly sad. Uh, Moose said also the Hex. The Hex didn't make me cry. The Hex unsettled me heavily, but there's a... There's a difference. Darn it. Van Morf's red! Um, so join back in. Uh, Geraldine says, so you're not trapped in VR. Our kid is dead or dying. Such a happy little game. Well, I didn't know. Huh. Running out of red. Bots in the box. There we go. There we go. All right, we got this storage boss. Your boss works half as hard as you do. Drives past you as a sports car. Class ball. Problematic. We definitely need one green. Oh, right, yes. In 
Vinegreen! Wait. Wait, hang on. Come with me now and a journey through time and space. To the land of the mighty boosh. Four decorative reds. Uh, May May Kitten says, well I understand this. My brain is like, please no. Uh, Maybe this is one of the few things these uh, these colour kind of situational puzzles are one of the few things my brain just works on. I can't tell any of you how I do this. It just works for me. It just seems to be how it is. My brain's like, alright, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, because that just makes sense. It was one of the things that kind of taught me uh, what's the best way to phrase it? Uh, oh, feck. Guess you feck that one off. It's me, Mother Hubbard. Uh, oh, an elder. Thank you kindly for the follow. I apologise I haven't been... Um... That goes there. That goes there. Oh, right. That goes there. This goes here. That goes there. We swap those. Welcome to the party. Pal. I'm afraid Mr. Takashi will not be joining us for the rest of his life. Oh! Um, so, once again, the man. Thank you for gifting a sub to Mei Mei. Uh, Mei Mei, it's lovely to it's lovely to see you again. I Who are colourful flaff flaff Hi Will and Chat. Sakrev, it's been like two hours since anyone has said for flaff flaff. Possibly the worst in joke I've ever come up with. You could have, we could have, it just. Here we are. Stop that incessant clicking. <laughs> and anon, uh, sorry, the man. Sorry, anon, never too late. Uh, the man, thank you kindly again. Gifting us up to, uh, to, to Eddie. That's fucking cool of you, yo, so thank you. Sorry, I get a little bit uh, in the zone when it comes to some of these puzzles. All right, so, infinite green. Oh, I think I get it. The red... We can't, we don't want to overwrite the red. So we need infinite green. <laughs> Yo! Talk how sing ultimate abridged major quotes to us, you intelligent Viking man. Gentlemen, I love Vor. I love it that you get up in the morning, and you get into your car to go to work, and your boss does not even work half as well as you do, half as strong as you do. It does not work even half as well as you do. Drives past your under sports car. Okay, I can't actually quote Helsing at the same time. Dear Chief Replacement, if you are wondering as to the frequency of these letters, it is merely to instill as much fear as I can. As if basting a turkey, which I will proceed to have sex with. Yes, that's right. I'm going to fuck the fear turkey. Yours sincerely, Crimson Fucker. Follow me on Twitter. How was that? Also, Catros, thank you kindly. Fucking 1500 bits again! Bloody hell, you need. Sorry. I am not going to finish the rest of that sentence because it sounds as if I am attempting to uh, cheekily bait people into. Yeah, I need to restart this. Uh, cheekily bait people into throwing bits. But that, yeah. Yeah, hello. Uh, Camille! Thank you, thank you for taking the conversation away from me. Camille, how are you doing, friendo? Says, oh, afternoon, chat and Viking. How are you guys? To Camille, I say, what? Home and welcome. Uh, we are playing the Spectrum Retreat, and it's bloody marvellous. <laughs> Eddie with a tiny bit, saying, have another bit. It's sincerely appreciated. Uh, so, Eddie, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I do this full time, and I am 100%... So that's red. I can't get another angle on anything else. 
So what am I missing here? I can't get through there. I have jump but no crouch. What am I missing? I'm, I'm missing something obvious. The infinite green means I can't get rid of the green that I have. Okay. Sorry, yeah, so Eddie, um, I stream full time now. Um, we started doing this last year in April and the channel went officially self-sustaining uh, in November. And thanks to the inordinately lovely people in chat, this is what I do. And so, well, throwing a teeny tiny bit is pretty hilarious. It's also, it, it does help. Uh, Shackle, why? I don't understand why that one held that one for moderation, but Shackle's asking, can you put the infinigreen back into green? Uh, no, um, I can't. Yes, numbers. Start. We start with white. So what we do is we overwrite the red. Yo, what the hell? Why is Infinigreen being auto modded? Uh, whichever of the mods handled that one, thank you kindly. Very strange. So I gotta restart the challenge again. Okay. Camille says I am an owie. Uh, the ouch has consumed me. Apparently my new PT is going to be rough. But I managed it, so here's progress. Well, that's freaking lovely. Um, um, feck, I had something that I was going to waffle on about there. I do apologise. But Camille, I'm, I'm sorry that PT is hurting like a bad word, but I'm... slipcake thing going on. Aha! So we've got four kind of like rotating oscillating cubes. We've got one green, so I guess we need one green, one right, one green, one red, one white. So we're going to do that. Uh, and now if we can find the entry point to the to the oscillation. And we can add those in, go from there. Um, Oh, so the angle is a weird one. Okay. Do love a challenge. Do love a challenge. Hmm. With an additional round of hmm. One of the things that I found is that even though I'm not necessarily... Oh, wow. Yeah, Cryo, uh, Cryostix is trying to, to guess why. Alright, so I do apologise one and all. It seems that today is going to be the day of um, of doing battle with uh, with moderation. And certainly not doing battle in moderation. Um, but, yeah. Hello? Mr. Matthews? This is... Yeah, I know who this is. It's Madison, right? Guess it's your turn to shout at me now. I am so, so sorry about Alex. I understand we're under so much pressure and we're both worried about our little boy. I don't know what else I can say. It's maxed out when you help get plans to cover. Please, there must be other options. We've taken every help we can. Look, despite what you might think, I'm not the monster here. You have my sympathy, really. Yes, uh, as Caffeine has said, okay, so Infinigreen as a term is tripping up uh, Twitch's auto mod. It is a hassle, but we can come up with, how about Evergreen? Um, the Eternal Emerald. Um, that one time I got reincarnated as a crap load of green. <laughs> uh, because if you, poke at the, if you poke at the Twitch moderation system and it gets you in trouble, there's little that we can do. Now, I don't know if Twitch's uh, in-house moderation stuff can override other... Oh, 
Okie dokie. Modern slam. Welcome to Japan. Yeah, so please, please don't, please don't poke the bots. Alright, Ketra was saying, what were the papers on the desk by the... Uh, they were more... Uh, so, it looks like the medical bills for a child ended up being incredibly expensive. And this was the guy uh, turning down the loan... Uh, turning down additional loan payments. Now, the question is, are we the guy that said no? Aha! Alright, so. Green, you up? And then we just need to feed red into there. So we didn't need to feed things in, we needed to feed things out. So there we go. Isocrid's like, what did I come back to? Uh, basically, uh, Isocrid, the term infinigreen trips uh, the Twitch auto mod systems. Yeah, Crystix, super green. That's how we're rolling. Are we green? Super green. Okay. And now we play some, some time puzzle stuff. Not time puzzle, but... So first up, we need red. Then we need green. Give us that red again. One more green, please. Ah, feck, missed it. White. And give me that. Give me that green. Super green. So there we go. Cooper's correct, we now need to go back to our room and sleep, which resets the fair the series of days. And numbers, yeah, that was a cool series. I'm really, really enjoying these puzzles. And Yeah. I I am slapping myself on the wrist. Hang on. I was saying, where's the where's the space over? I'm slapping myself on the wrist. Because um Oh the back of the hand. Uh I don't know what's going to happen plot-wise in this game, but to uh, to get angry at Cooper is kind of like getting angry at Fontaine in Bioshock One, without spoiling, without spoiling Fontaine's deal. I am. <laughs> You're doing really well. We're making good progress. Um, let's not speak to you tomorrow. Alex says, regular mods tell auto mod it's a fool enough times it adds an exception. We could add infinigreen as an exception, but the term that it's flagging is not one that I want to add an exception for, so yeah. <laughs> Very clever, Jaralan. Very clever. Super green is fine. Right. So we got super red and super green. And eventually we get super blue as well. I don't want to! Guess who? Oh, you're doing really well. Each access point you trigger is breaking down a kind of barrier is probably the easiest way to put it. Oh, my incoming. You notice we're always filling in the 20th. Morning. I hope you had a restful sleep. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. 
And please, enjoy your stay. Did he sound a bit... No, it must be my mind playing tricks. Best get to the restaurant. Look what's back! It's the hoodie! Now, things we know. I guess for those of you that have just joined us, if you'd been here from the beginning, you would know that the manager that we have just met there is able to change the layout. You keep going at this rate, so long as your mind's up to it. We'll have you out of here very soon. Still a few pieces of the puzzle missing on my end, but we'll get there, you and me. Um, what was I going to say? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, the manager is an AI program that has been given the ability to write and rewrite the, um, the hotel to suit the needs of its guests. And there are no other guests. There is Mr. Crow, and Mr. Crow has returned. We don't know much more than that. We know that every morning we're going to go for breakfast. You see that, right? Morning. Hope you enjoy your stay. Stay. Nope. How you doing? I hear breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast is especially good this morning. Morning. Remember Citadel. Now there is someone I'm glad to see. The weather has taken a most surprising turn. Nonetheless, do make yourself comfortable in the restaurant. He's saying different words. I'm gonna go for a spin in the. Uh, I'm gonna go for a spin in here because I can. Thank you. Also, the circle within circle motif that's everywhere is both brilliant and a really good unsettling. Morning. Good morning. Today's fish is creme la carte. Sorry, Greenfire says, please don't let this be another Pony Island. Game's not about ponies. Also, if you lovely, lovely individuals have not played Pony Island, you can finish it in like three or four hours. It's by the same guy who made the hex. It was he was his big breakaway hit was Pony Island, and the hex was his follow-up. If you haven't played it, play it. If you haven't heard of it, even better. Tell no one you're gonna play it, just do it in an afternoon. Please mind your step. Mind the seems that Mr. Crow left its left in something of a hurry. Good morning. Your reserved table is reserved table is ready when you are. It's where you must sit. It's where recurring, 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 and enjoy. Oh seat. no. Sit. Take your sit. I love seat. recurring. Sit. Take your sit. Vokro! Sit. Take your sit. See. Sit. Take your sit. Oh, cool. Sit. Take your sit. 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 Can I take this seat? The seat's not taken. Or adhering to the laws of physics. Vokro! Kestrel North saying today's special is destroy all humans! Just checking the kitchen to make sure it's not full of ab abominable monsters. We'll go from there. Something isn't right. Oh no shit, Cooper! Sorry. Again, I said I wasn't going to be mean to Cooper, and then I'm mean to Cooper. In his latest speech, Governor Crow made a surprising U-turn election promise to the healthcare system, calling for his resignation. The system is broken, can't be fixed. Believe me, rotten from the ground up. That's what the last did to us. So it has to you are go. being hunted very slowly. <laughs> Your Thank you, Caffeine. Can and cannot come. This is the land of the free choice. Freedom to choose. And today, you will be free to choose any health care policy you want. It'll save billions. You, your children, same as anyone. Critics have been quick to point out the costs of the new plans. The industry have been forced Can to you hear me? Hello? Are you... To curb oh. Population figures. oh, you're moving again. I lost you for a second there. Uh, look, I think we're running out of time. I need to get you out of here before someone figures out what I'm trying to achieve here. Get to the third floor, quick as you can. Um, so, Eddie, 
I'm happy to, to chat other video games, and if there's others you think are, are worth a the conversation, then certainly. I can't promise that... So, we have, we have a master list of games that we are working through. We are currently at 120... This will be the 122nd game that we've covered on this channel, and the list is currently at like 330, 330 plus. So, I, I make no promises. If there's games you want to talk about, then hells yeah. Um, Isocrid says, can we see the last list? No, because then I will have to, and nothing against you Isocrid or any of you lovely, lovely folks, because then I will have an eternity of people recommending games. Now you're thinking, Will, why wouldn't you want to hear people's games? So, early on when I started doing this, someone told me a game, and I was like, oh, that's not on the list. Uh, I, they, they recommended me a game, I said it wasn't on the list. I, they then proceeded to tell me about this game and why they felt I should cover it as a streaming game. I told them why it was a game that didn't work in terms of streaming and they were genuinely offended because that game was a game that they really loved. Did we really get this one? Oh yeah. Um, and I, they felt that my the fact they felt the fact that I didn't want to cover it was essentially a, a slight against it and I don't want to offend people <laughs> not in that regard because if a game is important to you it's important some games are excellent like exceptional pieces of brilliance that do not stream well you know what I have no idea how I would make Dwarf Fortress interesting for you lot but Dwarf Fortress is one of the great games in existence you know you could probably take up another language in the same time it would take you to learn how to play Hell, you could probably craft another language in that. Yo! Sit. Seat. Take your. Gap. Pre breakfast. Sit. Mind the spill. See -e 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 eat. Recurring. 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 Eddie, that's fucking cool. That's fucking cool of you. Thank you. Like, yo! Uh, Eddie just gifted uh, $10. That fucking cool. Eddie, so that's just gonna go on food and me not dying. I'm just, uh, I'm just sending a little message just to, to, to make sure that's okay. Um, Eddie, fucking thank you, yo. Uh, I know you've only kind of been chilling and dealing with us a little bit for today, but yeah. Um... And Eddie said, I just decided to donate for that joke. Are you, if you are sure, then fucking thank you, yo. Fucking thank you. So yeah, um, Eddie, if you want to recommend some more uh, puzzle games and things like that, I, I guess I was saying a very long-winded, very long roundabout way of saying, yes, I would love to hear your recommendations. I can't promise I'd cover them. And don't recommend me your favourite game because I might turn around and say no. And that isn't a necessarily a burn on the game. Oh yeah, I should go feckin' work in Joe's as well. Uh, Joshua says, curious, uh, do you know what you'll do after you exhaust that list? Because you will. Um, well, uh, we are currently at, yeah, we're currently 120 of 330. Uh, we're gaining games at a rate. So, just to, to put it into perspective, currently on Keymailer, bloody hell, this is just Keymailer alone. So, because we cover a lot of different games and we are becoming a known factor, so we've got uh, nine, we've been offered seven games. Two of the games we requested have been offered to us. Um, and that's not counting games from direct interactions with PR companies and things like that. Now, I go out of my way to pick interesting games and stuff like that. So it's not like we are just a sponsored straight up channel, but... So things like um, Y2K, the postmodern RPG, that was something that came to us via... Um, uh, oh, Stride PR. Now I know them, and as you all saw, even though Y2K wasn't a great game for everyone, I thought it was really interesting. As a game to stream for you all, it was feckin' phenomenal. I... I don't think we're going to reach the point where we run out of games. Also, my Steam library is like 1,700 games. Um, so, yeah. There are a lot of games that I might do a return to in the future. So, yeah. 
Um, if I get to the point where I've blitzed through the entirety of that Steam library, uh, that, um, that list of games, that means that we all, as a group, have kept the longship kicking and running for, for long enough to make it happen, yo. That's a badass thing, so yeah. No, he's not very chatty. Vorklu! Let's go check out the ballroom. Because now the door's open. Jarrell answered, remember, uh, the working Joes have eyes. These bots don't. Nope. Suddenly like these bots lodge better without the eyes. Thank you. Yeah, they start getting glowing red eyes. Then it's time to freak. Well, the ballroom seems fine. There's no people working here, but... Anyway, let's head up to the next floor and go from there. Lordless says, I know what you mean because Bastion is my favourite game. Uh, but with all the narrating, it would be a poor stream game. You'd never get a word in. Well, that's true. And also, the narration is very personal. And... Well, so it's one of the games we haven't streamed on here is This War of Mine. And I feel that doing that as a stream game would undermine a lot of the, the personal impact that thing has. I think it would become, we'd either start looking a lot at the mechanics of it, or we'd start looking a lot at the, it would get very silly, which I feel would undermine what it tries to do as a title. Um, now one that I haven't, one that I haven't streamed, that is on the list, because I have not yet had More games will be added to Z-List, don't tell him. Pike insert dad's army episode reference here. Asari Greenfire, also the keeper of the old English memes. More games will be added to the list. Don't tell him your name, Pike. Ah! Oh. All right. Okay. These barriers you're taking down, you might start to see some side effects, and more now as we get further into hacking the system for you. You might start to see traces of memory, and I promise you, it's perfectly normal, even if it seems anything but. Just, just stay focused. Whatever happens, don't let the truth stop you. Use it to keep yourself going. We're gonna make this right, what was done to you. Okay. You know the drill. Find something that just doesn't fit, that doesn't belong up here. Like you. What? Your phone's picking up something. It's sending out some kind of interference that's messing up my equipment. Scan it, but then keep your distance. That... That can't be right. The, the, the image you just scanned is one of the design documents for this place. It predates the hotel completely and shouldn't be inside of it at all. If I'm reading this right, your next code must be back at the restaurant. If there's anything else you can see in front of you now, any modification whatsoever, remember it. Because th there's nothing unusual on the version of the image that I can see, other than the fact it's inside the, the hotel. Okay. I'm just going to quickly do the quickly do the rounds up here. Um, so we're jumping back in. So Eddie says, so what exactly makes for a good stream game? Well, I try and uh, pick things that have an element of interest to them. Something that... Beckon, wait. You know what? You know what? I do not need my brain unraveled by this game. Um, no more impossible architecture, thank you. Um, I'm trying to think of... Rosen says, uh, she is stuttering too. Interesting. And Shackle says, Mr. Crow, Mr. Crow! In his seat. <laughs> Mr. Uh, the man says the impossible geometry is getting more obvious as well. It is. I wonder where this is going with this. Uh, we want to go... 
Let's all go to the lobby. Get ourselves some snacks. Everybody! What was I waffling on about? Ah, yes. What makes a good game to stream? Um, there are lots and lots of things that allow for exceptionally, exceptionally interesting streams, and different people can stream games in different ways. Now, as you've all noticed, I'm not the greatest when it comes to uh, top tier video gaming play. I've always been someone who plays a lot, a lot of different games as much as possible. You want to chat with us? No, you're just gonna be creepy. All right. Um, so anything that involves a uh, anything that involves emergent narrative, anything that involves uh, enough of a pace where the viewership can understand as much as the the person putting it forward, anything that inspires discussion, um, repetitive, um, repetitive rhythmic and titles that do not allow for Welcome cons back, back again. Brunch, brunch is excellent to see you again. I shall see to it. Coffee will be brought to you momentarily. Reserve table. Sit, sit. Coffee, caffeine, stim stimulant. Uh, just please stay on course. The barriers you're disabling, they're what keep you stuck here, blocking your mind from what's real and what isn't. Shout out to Caffeine! Focus, remember. You're here uh, to find the next code, so find it before it's too late. I caught fire once says, what if you're not a real person? What if you're another NPC in the hotel? And Cooper is another NPC in the hotel. What if we're all just in a simulation? <laughs> uh, so Sakura says, well, well, I would be a big challenge to play uh, all the games worth of streams. Oh, do you mean you have a, a, a very large uh, Steam library? Oh, so I really want some coffee now. Time is it? Now, what did you see on the painting? Uh, did it mark out a specific table, maybe? Heck on. Sorry, sorry. Again, I retract my sarcasm there, and I do apologise. That was unprofessional of me. And Shackle's like... Okay, okay, what if the sun, 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 the sun? Did the marking on the painting indicate a specific table? Oh, oh no, there we go. Hey, hey, focus. I haven't got time for you to get distracted. The code, it has to be in the restaurant. Piss off, Cooper. Looks like you found a receipt, but the asset that I'm seeing here is blank. If that's true. So. Oh, shit. Smoke salmon If that's eggs. true, make a mental note of whatever it is you can see and get the hell out of there before the whole simulation crashes. So, salmon eggs, club sandwich. Now let me fucking look at it! Jesus Christ! What was the number? Feck. Dorcha says uh, 31.59. Also, tuna! What? Oh, crap in a bit bag. Okay. Hey, tuna taco. We're unraveling our own mind. How are you? Okay, everybody. Here tonight's uh, Mental Maven Breakdown. I'm your host, Will. And today we're going to be unraveling our very consciousness in front of these robots. Have to hurry. If the people I work for see so, the error messages that are flagging here, this is all over. Get to the third floor access point. Anyway, Tuna, how are you doing, friendo? Also, thank you all for writing those numbers down. Note to self, crash Cooper's computer first thing is. High five! How are you doing, buddy? Don't stop. Get to the third floor now. You can't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm going to the ball. Eddie with hint, it takes a child to raise a village. Especially if they've got uh, teleca, was it telepyrokinetic powers? Hurry up, if this all crashes, then it's over. Get to the third floor. Look, your runtime errors are not my problem. 
Sakura says, uh, we on cyber drugs. Earl says, we're HAL 9000, it's shutting down the systems. Yeah, what if we are mentally the baddie, and this is someone trying to unleash us? Eddie says, hint. This is not a hint. It's like giving out fake, irrelevant hints in actual games. Um, Please, I know this is confusing, but you mustn't stop. The coach you saw, use it now. Five, nine. Thank you all. Cool. Hey, Richter! Says, you are the baddie. Wait, are we the baddies? There we go. Teleport module installed. To, uh, to edit, uh, edit, edit, edit I've never, I actually, I've been calling you Eddie since you showed up. I do apologize if I've not actually pronounced your username correctly. And again, if I didn't say it earlier properly, thank you all, like Eddie for the donations, Caffeine, Catros, everyone for the bits. And I believe the man has been the, uh, the house Carl Hunter today. Thank you all kindly. Um, so Richter, this game, this game is uh, the Spectrum Retreat, and we appear to be inside something. I'm not the luckiest friend, but we are in the process of unraveling our own mind, have you? Arden's saying the game sounds hurt on teleport. Watch out. Uh, do you mean that uh, the the sounds as they come through are very very loud for you lot? Because I can I can tweak that. I can tweak that. And oh, thank you for filling up the bits cup with the tiny tiny horns. Um, so Richard, the best way I describe this one is it's basically Portal meets the Starship Titanic. And Lord, the Lord of the Unsub just screams, "Hunt the Unsubbed!" House Carl is the only house I think that has its own deity. Uh, Casual says, I'm not sure the brain likes that teleporting effect. Well, let me... That should help. Looking after your future. Remember... More people's fitness than your own. More people. Ah, oh, no, kill the, kill the quote. More people's safety than your own may depend on your fitness. Interesting. So we've got to get a green token across to here. Oh, no, that was bad. Dragfart says, so what you're saying is that House Chaos needs a... <laughs> no! It's a Lord of the Growler smashing. Dear Lord. Go. 
toot toot, Mother Hubbards. Actually, no, not quite toot toot, Mother Hubbards. There we go. Here we come to wreck the day. So Joey's chat. Uh, Drags of Heart says, and. Drags of Heart, why? Drags of Heart, why? I'm not even reading those out. Uh, Sean People says, funsies. Uh, Jaron says, still haven't looked up what a growler is in the UK. Not going to either. That's for the best. I don't think you can even get. I don't think you can even have that discussion without someone using. Uh, referencing who Lorraine Kelly is. And that is not a conversation I want to have, though. King of Betrayal, furious crow flip flops on healthcare proposal. Uh, the King of Betrayal. Uh, Governor Crow is accused of social engineering as his new speak sparks fierce reactions. Amid scenes of anger and disbelief, Governor Crow admitted yesterday that his vision for another model of public US healthcare without uh, surprising echoes of the past, and in doing so faced accusations of betrayal and breaking pre election promises. The system is broken, he told uh, reporters in the SF late Tuesday. It can't be fixed. Believe me, if it could, I would work on it. Uh, that's what the last administration did to us. Uh, the angry rebuke Senator Adam Curtis, FL, was scathing. This is more than just the usual bowing and scraping to the insurance industry. What Crow is putting forward is quite literally social engineering. Uh, I know that sounds dramatic, but it's unquestionably true. This population control eugenics. Crow is actively trying to kill our, our country's poor, our most vulnerable. Poverty mustn't be a death sentence. When it comes to portraying American families, he is the king. Crow hit back in typical form. Um, irrational exchanges devout of any factual basis. Nonsense! Disgusting nonsense! It'll save billions for you and for your children. With no signs of backing down, Crow is likely to find himself the target of many more attacks in coming months. Oh! Catra says, right, I need to head to bed. Don't cry, okay? I... <laughs> I cannot promise that, friendo. I cannot promise that. Oh! Oh! Well, ain't that interesting? So the teleport module works. solid objects. That's interesting. Alright, give me that. No! Heck. It's alright. It's cool. Boom headshot. Boom headshot! Doing puzzles like boom headshot! I can dance all day! I can dance all day! I think this game is kind of topical, and we're probably going to end up. We're probably going to end up having some real, really real talk at the end of this, and yeah, I guess content warning is the wrong term, but. There is a very... Very real chance that this game is going to be... Heavy hitting. Oh, this is the... Uh, so Shackle says, so I've not caught a lot of the newspapers we read or the audio bit. What did Mr. Crow do with the local he healthcare system? So it seems that he scrapped a he scrapped uh, affordable healthcare in a very extreme manner. Um, 
and whatever it was he put in place was was very extreme. Cubes slow down as you aim at them. Uh, how best to. You all know my feels that I don't think that we should shy away from difficult topics. We're going to continue with this game. I. We'll wait until this game's delivered in its entirety. I think we're going to hit a point where we got to... To discuss the game, we're going to be discussing some real-world stuff. So when that time comes, if you want to tap out and bow out, I wholeheartedly understand. And I... This is going to be a feels day. This is going to be a feels day. We haven't, we haven't had a game that's really hit us in the feels for a while. And this is going to be one of them. This is going to be one of them. <sighs> but we don't need to get into that just this moment. We can continue with puzzles. back into chat let's have a look uh so eddie says yeah definitely a, a topic but it doesn't actually stray too far into said topic i have no idea but eddie will we'll see how this goes um one of the things that i'm very proud of is this chat is that we've we've talked on some pretty heavy topics before and while none of it is easy everyone has been cohesive and and compassionate and i i'm i am eternally thankful for that um, and then Cryostic says, Winter of Discontent warning. Good warning. And he says, I actually went camping in the snow once. However, the temporary shelter I bought was clearly a cheap knockoff. It was the winter of my discount tent. Get out! <laughs> and then please come on back. Uh, then he's like, hint, contrary to popular belief, Iron Maidens were not actually used for torture in the Middle Ages. Iron Maidens were actually first created in 1978 by Steve Harris. <laughs> Oh, I love those. Um, one of the things that I thought was really impressive with... Alright, so we need one colour of each. Uh, one thing that I thought was really impressive with... Um, okay. Infino. Okay. Alright, so there's one of each. Let's see if we can get these going. So... So we don't actually need blue until there. So we can go bleb. So we swap. We should swap red and green. That should get us through. Um, one of the things I loved about um, Spec Ops The Line. Oh, okay. So red's in the correct one. Need uh, white in that one. That should get us through. Uh, in Spec Ops: The Line, the uh, the tips and tutorial screen. And we do not need the blue. Okay. Well, at least we can't take the blue through with us. Um, as your character progresses, and as the Um, 
green there. The blue we don't need at all. The red we need in the last one. Alright, there we go. Okay, sorry, uh, as you're playing through Spec Ops The Line, the tips and menu screen stuff slowly unravels. So at the beginning, it gives you these incredibly contrite but archetypal um, tips messages on the loading screens being like, you know, press R to reload and you know, remember to check your health repeatedly. But by the end of it, it's just like incoherent madness and screaming. It's brilliant and at the same time terrifying. Eddie's adding in for another fun fact. The word disco ball is made of three circles. <laughs> Alright, so there's no there's no destroy cubes here. Try George just saying, fun fact, if Will were to read this comment, he would become uncharacteristically silent for 10 seconds. Well played. Well played. Okay, so we've got the uh, forever red, or forever ready, if you will. So our goal is to get the blue out of there. green in that one. So we need green, green, red, green? Green, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so red, green, red. Alright, I got you. I got you. We've got spare green for teleportation there, so we need... Wait, yeah, yeah. Second. Teleportation! Pun Spectre, how are you doing? Tell me, how are the puns of Scotland Yard? And I know that's not what your username was meant to be, but it still makes me laugh, so I can teleport now. How are you? Oh. Oh, Eddie, you are going to get along with everyone here just well. Eddie says, hint, the world's longest snake is the green anaconda. It is found in Venezuela, Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay. It's that long. <laughs> You're basically a splendiferously living equivocant of the, um, the facts cube. All right, so we've got a green thing to get through. to 
get across here. It's more green over there. Yeah, so that's the same uh, point there. don't need green for anything apart from getting through there. So let's let's see if height gives us anything we have to tell. Kind of place to stash this. Uh, so jumping back into chat, uh, Eddie is giving us some more splendiferous facts, saying making false instruments with intent uh, to be deceive is a crime. So don't make any lures. Nice. Uh, or unless I killed that joke entirely, in which case I'm very sorry. Uh, I call fire one says I'm flashing back to someone uh, telling ferret facts to a buddy in dead cells to distract them and block the screen. I think it was Aaron Feathers. I think you're right. And the artsy Poe did Poe facts, which was just as funny. Start this one. So this gets us through here. There's nothing in here that lets us dump it. The blue, oh, sorry. The blue we need. The green comes from here. So for all intents and purposes. Oh! Newt Newt, that's the sound of the police. Newt Newt, that's the sound of the beast. Teleportation! I don't know why you. I do not know why you lock it up with me sometimes. Will overguard. Chronic stupid. Hecking bad word. Ha ha! Oh. Thank you all. Guess you forgot you can teleport. Sorry about that. That took me a second there. Had to had to think about that. It might be uh, coffee o'clock very soon, my friends. Oh, we've only been going for four hours, you know, no big deal. No big deal. This game is lovely, though. Um, I mean, at some point, if it doesn't end up being too brutal visually to watch, we should do Antichamber, because if you've not seen Antichamber, it is something truly special. So on that side we need green, and on this side we need red. So let's steal the red and move it across, and go on an adventure. Wait. 
Oh, those are those are different entirely. The test results oh, wow. are negative. What does that mean? It means we still can't be sure what's wrong with Robin. And in his current condition, we're running out of options. What about, uh, you mentioned uh, an alternative. No, um, some sort of experimental treatments? I did, and if you recall, we explored that option, but can't proceed down that path. That type of treatment isn't covered on your plan. But can't you, what was it you said? You can escalate the case, I thought. I could. If any of Robin's tests came back positive, a case could be made. But with, without that, the odds of success are... I cannot redirect resources from other patients in your son's position whose tests are positive. Cannot or will not? I'm sorry. In this instance, they're one and the same. So you get to decide if our son... If my son lives or dies... It's not a decision I take lightly. And it's not final. We'll continue running tests and then... What tests? What other tests could there be? What are you waiting for? Oh. Don't walk away from me. Dr. Wright. Dr. Wright! Oh boy. Lovely to see a lot of love for Antichamber in chat. And... Uh, we're going to use the brevity of chat to offset that this this game's going to be feels. Geraldine saying, "Maybe we'll hold fire on the brevity." Which we need to take across. Okay. Let's This is real hard. This is real hard. This is really hard. We do not play these games because they are easy sometimes. Greens did we how many blues did we need? I think we needed I think we needed two blue.
can't play these things because they are easy. Green to get through here, and red to get through the other side. There is a, a logic to this game that is I'm very grateful for. I don't think you can slice the angle on that quite well enough. I'll give it a shot. Oh, and there's the blue. Yes, the blue is above. Quite get an angle on the elements here. Is there something that I'm missing on this slice? Oh. <sighs> yeah, it might be it might be time for a a caffeinated beverage break after this little section. George is saying, I'm going to go for a bit. I hope you're back before you finish. I hope so. Okay, there we go. I hope so. Um, I... Think this game is going to be. I do not think this game is going to be easy going, but I think it is going to be something. It, it's going to be a whole bunch of something. A whole bunch of something, right? So this is one of the red chunks from here. Green. We need, so we'll need one of the other greens brought over and one of the other reds. So green for the second, red for the last. Cool. Is there any other way to dunk these? I oh, don't going through this way. There is not. Oh. Uh, Eddie says that I think I'll take a shower after you've done the section section head to bed. Eddie, I apologise that the game has taken a very serious turn and having discussions about serious games is not something that we, we shy away from. It's not easy, but we do it. And we do these things not sometimes not because they are easy. But thank you for, you know, coming over, chilling and illing with us, sharing some fun dumb facts, like it's been super useful. Especially at this point, but we have needed said dumb facts. So obviously we need the red there, and we need to transport one of the greens across. How in the hell are we going to do that? Yes, we need green there. Grayskull. Wait, nope, nope. Thank you, Grayskull. Geraldine says uh, to Eddie, uh, not out when you go. House Valkyrie thanks you for stopping by. Oh yeah, so Eddie, I don't know if this was explained to you. Uh, our lovely bunch of Mother Hubbards have formed multiple houses in chat, of which there are four. Oh, there's our other green. 
super green. Uh, we have House Order and House Chaos, uh, who do battle over the contents of the bit cup. House Order seeks to fill the cup in a neat and lovely manner, as House Chaos seeks to smash and destroy. Um, then we have uh, House Carl. House Carl hunt the unsubbed. This is their sport. This is their pastime. For some reason, it makes them very, very happy. What have I missed? Might affect up. Oh, Shackle Draconis, House Order Pride Demonstration. Thank you kindly. Um, so, whereas House Carl, uh, they hunt the unsubbed. Ah, oh, tell me I haven't stuffed this up. Um, oh, I might have stuffed this up. Wait, 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 wait. Ugh. Yeah, I might affect this up. Damn it! Sorry, apologies for that one. Captain Steph says, What? Oh! Checking in again. Oh, lovely to see you, Steph. Lovely to see you. How do we do this bit again? Hi, my name's Will. I did these puzzles earlier on. And I am feckin' numpty. How are you? Aha, so that's how we manage that one. Alright, I got this, I got this. It's great, I'm smart enough to solve puzzles again that I had just solved only moments ago. Oh, of course. And the final house currently is House Valkyrie. House Valkyrie represents uh, the lovely lurkers and those who defend us from raids. They are a fearsome bunch. Absolutely not to be underestimated. Okay. So. We need one red up here. That's a given. And the other red we bring with. Unless. Haha! -ha! Got an idea. We start ferrying across the green bricks now before we put them into place. Look at me doing a smart. It's a kaleidoscope, isn't it? So we go like that. And we go, woo! And we swap that for that. And we go, woo! And we swap that for that. And we're like, yo, what up? And now we have two greens and a red, which gets us through here. I don't, I don't actually know how you lot hang out with me as much as you do, because it just... I'm just so incredibly intelligent. I absolutely, you know, didn't take me two tries to solve this. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Feck. We're going to need another green. Is there another green left over that way? How are we going to do this? Newt, newt, that is the sound of the police. Newt, newt, that's the sound of the beast. More of the story in 11. Oh. 
Eddie with uh, here's a hint: three food items, which any pair go well together, but not all three at once. Uh, are a shot of tequila, a shot of tequila, and a shot of tequila. Whew. Did I ever tell you peeps I played um, Shot Worms once? We played that with tequila, which is where you play Worms Armageddon, but every worm is worth a shot. It's not really a very healthy game. Oh. Why am I stupid? Oh, wait, no. Damn it. What do I... What am I... Charlene <clears throat> <clears throat> <sighs> says, It sounds like the game as well as the... Uh, I like the sound of this game as well as the cut of your jib, sir. Well, I found this game was entirely above reproach. And so I said to him. Last one needs to be green. Sequence is right, you need the third one green. Thought so. The problem is just I need an additional green to get me in. For all intents and purposes. Secretly Robin, what ho and welcome, how goes it? Kestrel starting a, a, a rousing cry of Newt Newt. I believe it's the sound of police. Uh, Ponspector says, Worms is definitely a blast. Okay, so shot worms. <laughs> shot worms. <laughs> a sorry, green fire. Thank you for the hundred bits! Saying worms is a classic game to play uh, with a side... Uh, with the side of an old Nokia brick. <laughs> Those bricks could not be defeated. Uh... Sorry, Greenfire. Thank you kindly for the bit, yo. Um, what have I missed here? Was there another green over there? And I've only brought over... Oh, there was. Newt, newt. Thank you! Uh, who was that that told me? Uh, Moose and Shackle. Thank you both kindly. Uh, what was I waffling on about? The eternal question. Uh, so shot worms. The game is simple. Worms Armageddon. You have four worms. You have four shots. Actually, no. We need that one clear. We need just an additional green. Oh. And then Oh crap in a handbag. <sighs> Just fecked it. Badly. Damn it. Because we need a red there. Get fucking damn it. And I don't think I have an angle that will get me a red and allow me to jump up there. See, the red that we dropped there needed to be there. <sighs> Fuck you, game! I... Okay, insults aside, I am enjoying this. Just, just so long as peeps are aware of that. Alright. So, we need a red on that sliding bar.
A up our green. A up green, eh? Alright. So we load all the necessary colours into the swirltrometer. And we'll follow these mother hubbards across. And at some point we'll have an erroneous green. Alright. So first things first. Travel up to here. And we go yo. And we pop that there. And then we travel back to here and we're like yo! And we grab this one and we're like yo! And then he got the pogo hammer and he was like yo! Whew. Oh. Uh, so then we want to take So we're going to use these two to ferry the greens. Because as long as we're down here, we can always pick up a red. Uh, so, Pond Spectre and everyone, uh, it's lovely to have you with. I apologise for not being my usual chatty catty communicative self. Actually, we need to dunk the others first. But I will be with you shortly. I mean, it's worth saying, with a lot of these puzzles, I do enjoy them. So, it was red, green, green. And then with a spare red that we can pick up. slice there. Oh, okay. So, we need a spare red here. Or there. Now, do we have another colour over here? We know we can store it there for safekeeping. And if we store it there, it doesn't uh, back us too hard. I think we need the additional green, if I remember correctly. Uh, Moose is saying, I think you can get the red from where you acquire the blue. Okay. Ah, so what we do is we can either put the red there. Yes, there we go. That gives us a lovely clear shot. Oh, no, hang on. We were almost there. Almost there. Whew. I do apologize for the people this. Um, the Aquas. The voice is rare, pretty good. But that's it. Okay. And then we swap to the white to get us through here. Aha! Blue, because we can get to that from the floor. Yeah, Fangle, I'm in the same place. The more I'm looking at this puzzle, the less sense it makes. So we need to get a red either to one of those two spots. <laughs> Eddie with hint. 
Puzzle games are all about luck. Oh, no, so we need to reconstruct this to allow us to go back through. So we need... What do we need? Green, red, white. What am I doing? So green first. We need that in hand. Green, red, green, white. That should do us. There we go. Oh, Christ in a bin bag. Yes! I am the smartest man to ever do a puzzle with his puzzle brain! I'm fecking out a coffee after this, I tell you! I am a champion of some description. Do, do, do. I'm totally smart and not a feckless idiot. That's, I'm pretty sure how that song goes. Okay. So, you lovely, lovely, lovely folks. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick treat. I'm going to take a quick tea break. That was what I was attempting to say to your lovely selves. And then we'll continue with this one. So, you lovely folks. We are at floor three. I don't know how many of these we have to go through. But, I mean, what, we've been jamming on this for about four hours. Uh, oh, and uh, Eddie's heading to bed, so uh, also, have a good night. Hey, thanks for stopping in randomly, and it was lovely to meet you. I hope we'll get to hang with you more often. And, like, if you know Manifold Garden, then you're going to get on with this. If you like Manifold Garden and terrible jokes, you're going to get on with this crew real well. Real well. Right. I said right. Uh, um... What are we doing? What are we doing, friends? I am going to uh, pop on some of the prof, and I will back with you all very shortly. So do not go anywhere. Uh, I know this hasn't been the most engaging of events. Busting through that puzzle was more than a mite tricky, but I want to keep going with this, if that's all right with you lot. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be some heavy feels on this one, so if you do need to tap out, then I do understand, all right? But you all should do the same. Go. Get yourself a cuppa. Pay attention to your nearest and dearest. Grab some funky some funky snacks. Not just snacks, but funky snacks, which are slightly different from regular snacks. Not a lot of people know that. All right. And I will be back with all of you lovely proud people. What happened? Just a sec, all right? Wait, where's me BLB needs tea? It's my fault. It often no, is. we fall for this one. There we go. Okie dokie. <laughs> Pun Spectre says, time for some funky snacks and tea. Yeah, you got it. You got it. All right, I'll be a couple minutes. So do not go anywhere. Day, Eddie? Well, Eddie? Eddie? For me. I'd done the impossible by do this, I'd put my feet up. I was pouring the tea. Felt a burning oh, sensation that. all on my knee. And then I noticed that my cup was gone. So's my left shoe. Something's wrong. Movement in the shadows, I listen in the dark. It can't be Jeffrey, he's off visiting an aunt. I run for the lab. Equipment is missing, there's a tuft. A hazelnut crumb in the kitchen, I've had enough. Subtle has never been my style. Whoever's at my staff will regret it in a while. Night goggles, spare left shoe. A prof's got to do what a prof's got to do. Shout, I'm just going out. And then pretend to leave. Switch on invisibility, re-enter with ease. Listen up, there's something near. There's a secret stash of nuts hidden under here. Shh, get down, there's something weird. How did this tuft of fluff get stuck in my beard? Shh, squirrel, squirrel. 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 
There's one in my bookshelf, one in my luggage, one in my underpant drawer, four in my cupboard, a third filling a swag bag with my family jewels. You squirrely bastard, that's not cool. Heaven help the squirrel that gets in my way. Time for a stealthy squirt of my knockout spray. Tied to tiny chairs, got them up the next day. Who sent you? Who are you? What have you got to say? They stay silent, they won't talk neither. Squirrels can't talk, and neither do beavers. They're wearing antennas, I rewire the sonnets. Ride the flying Susan to a nearby forest hideaway. I want to hide, but it's time to be brave. I climb inside a tree, I'm finding my way. Creep inside a mighty oak, a light goes on. A voice says, I've been expecting you, I'm Mr. Swan. Listen up, there's something near. There's a secret stash of nuts hidden under here. Shh, it down, there's something weird. How did this tuft of fluff get stuck in my beard? Shh. Squirrel, squirrel. Shh. Squirrel, squirrel. Shh. Squirrel, squirrel. Shh. Squirrel, squirrel. It's a bit beyond what anybody is expecting. An evil swan using squirrels as weapons sat in a swivel chair, stroking an egg. Stunned by what he said, then caught up in a net. You ate my brother for Sunday roast. Eight swan's eggs on your breakfast toast. Now you fell into my trap. But why squirrel thieves? Us swans have no hands, just wings and beaks. He dragged my neck to the dining room. Into a mighty oven, to a fiery doom. Thought I'd brought no weapon. Big mistake. In my pocket, crumbs, biscuits, cakes. And swans really love bready products. He gobbled and guzzled. He really loved it. We briefly tussled, but then he was gone. On strong wing muscles, never trust a swan. I don't think we should have a roast dinner, Jeffers. Not today, just to just, just have a salad. No, not a nut roast. That's the last thing I want to roast. Jesus. Trials are not function. Trials are not function. So sorry about this, sir. Warning. We set in for 1913, 1218, 2001, 2000, nothing, nothing, nothing. Time, time, time. We are a lovely time. Time, time, time. Go, 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 go. Mom, mom, mom. Got his tiss, tiss. Outside of time itself. A swirling mass of colors and lights, abstractions and new dimensions. Terrifying. Beautiful. Oh, look, there's a pub. The Inn at the End of Time. Well, I suppose it won't hurt to have a quick breather. Seen all sorts of things, but I'm sure a pub at the beginning of the end helped me floor. From out. 
outside it looks sort of Tudor But from another angle it could be from the future Can't work out if it's bricks or made out of computers But I can hear music inside How super I'm new to time travel and it is a bit lonely Thrown me all over, maybe someone can show me How to get home or how to get Jeffrey I step in, even I'm impressed See there's plenty of travellers all getting messy Let me get these, we're all getting ready The band's coming on, they look like they might rock Here where the travellers come on a night off It's the... In at the end of time, time for a pint, all welcome fine. All time travelers are friends of mine, everybody in at the end of the line. The in at the end of time, time for a pint, all welcome fine. All time travelers are friends of mine, everybody in at the end of the line. It's our pleasure to introduce a super group with new music for you. Romana on percussion, Morlock on a sousaphone, Jules Verne on flute, Isaac Newton looking right at home. Hitchhikers. have been guided here, Vikings and pirates sip finest beer, with Kang in competition in biking by the gallons, while live on the Okay, you lovely folks, I have returned. Time Got a fresh cuppa. And I won't eat them while I'm streaming with you lovely selves, but I also have an enormously large bag of packages. can and then dance like a loon. Which are delicious, even if they are the crunchiest of crunchy things. Oh, green fire. I think you might have slipped me a Mickey. Green fire, that is. Lovely of you showing some cats. I think we're going to need it. <laughs> Pindle's like, oh shit, Mill's back. Look busy. Hans like, quick, hide the cat pics. What are these pictures of cats doing here? No, I didn't authorize anything like this. What's your... Sorry. I don't know where I was going with that one. Um, so on the subject of hearing, one of the weird quirks that I've developed over the years is that working in office environments, what I'd have is these big chunky headphones and I'd have one ear on so I could jam out while I was working. And what it's resulted in is, I have no deafness in my left ear, but you know those pitch tests where you can hear high pitched sounds? My right ear can hear really high pitched stuff that my left can't, which whenever there's something like a really high pitched noise, it causes me to kind of like turn around, because I think it's coming from a, yeah. That's my, that's my will little quirk. All right, so hey, are you good? And more came pouring in. Time bandits joyriding a DeLorean cracked into a TARDIS. Zapod Beeble Brock shouts. Party's over. Someone called the Time Cops. Ah, <laughs> oh, time travel. How quaint. I find it's one of those elements that the less I think about it, the more I understand. Okie dokie, likeies. So we're going to be continuing with, uh, with the Spectrum Retreat. I have a feeling this game's going to be a punch in the fields. Or it's gonna be, it's gonna be summit. It's gonna be summit. So, yeah. As a, as a few people have tapped out, I entirely understand. Well, I'm gonna play this through to completion, and we'll see where this takes us. All right. So, yeah. I don't know if a content warning is necessary, but yo, this is this is gonna be a something. All right. Let's continue. I think that's stabilised the simulation for now. And well, I can tell by your vitals you're starting to remember what happened to Robin. I'm, I'm so, so sorry you had to go through that. What she did to you after. Nobody deserves that. And we will put this right as much as any of this can be put right. The dreamer says, I just got here and I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, solving puzzles and investigating whatever in the bloody hell reason we got put into this place in the first place. So, yo. Sometimes it sounds like there are things around me, you know? Rhymesabu says, I'm starting to read a much, much darker Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind situation here. I... Hang on, how did I go past my room? I do not think that would be remiss. I think 
some of the theories have been floated as that we might be crow or that there might be other stuff going down this I'm so sorry you sleep if only were that simple It's not like I get a choice. Ah, oh, you're awake. Look, I... I don't have the right to keep these private things from you. No one does, but... Your memories need to return gradually, otherwise... This hotel, this simulation that's keeping you prisoner... will collapse, and... you might lose your mind entirely. But I couldn't just leave you stranded in here. You didn't agree to this. You... Oh, hang on. What's the point we start getting, like, jump-scared into horrible situations? Morning. You look as though you had a restless night. Perhaps some food might help. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. Enjoy your stay. The cycle depends on your participation, otherwise it stops. You have to go to the restaurant. Oh, this tea is everything I wanted. All this, it'll make sense soon, I promise. Uh, Cryostix says I'm getting get even vibes at this point. So, Cryostix, I have tried to get a get even key to show you all. I know get even isn't the best game, but using the concept of constructing a game. Whatever you see, Whatever you hear, focus on getting out. The restaurant's just the trigger for the I cycle apologize. to play out. The elevator isn't feeling very well this morning. <laughs> Perhaps a result of the ongoing work on our rooftop area. Oh, I'm sorry, the elevator isn't feeling well. Oh, that makes a whole bunch of sense. Uh, so, Cryostix, I really do want to stream Get Even at some point, And I think it's, it, it's on the... Oh, good. Notice things aren't glitching out anymore. Um, yeah, I do want to stream Get Even because I think conceptually it's got some amazing ideas in. And I don't know if you all saw it, but Eurogamer did a video where they went to the the uh, the grid coordinates hidden inside the game. I hope everything is is to your satisfaction. Interesting. Please. We are at your service. We're here for you. Interesting. Let's go let's, let's spin around this again. <laughs> Casual's like, this is fine. Notice that, again, while there are some little changes like the crow leaflets and things like that, the simulation's not glitching this time. There are changes, certainly, but it's not freaking out. So yeah, at some point, Cryostix, we will do Get Even. I, just... I hope you are well. Uh, I wasn't able to get a copy from... Was it Square Enix that published it? Are, are you lost? Can I help you with anything? Yeah, notice they're not freaking out. Okie dokie. Good morning. Morning. Right, here we go. Morning. Mind the gap. Mind the spill. Mr. Crow, Crow is responsible. Sid. Sid. Please be seated. Sid. Pun Spectre says cap uh, picks are ready just in case. Uh, Ice Grid says who did not get your copy of what from? Uh, get even. I think it was meant to be. All right. Well. I can't tell you the reason why I was meant to get a copy of Get Even, but I didn't get a copy of it, which is why I haven't had a chance to stream it for you all. And if you're not aware of the concept, so Get Even, you play an MI6 operative, and there is someone being held hostage somewhere in London, and the secret to it is somewhere in your mind. 
So you basically have to explore your own memories of situations to find out what happens. And you do, like, there's some stealth sections, there's some gunplay sections. But because it's taking place within your memory, it allows it to do some really interesting stuff. Alright, so Crid says, oh, I heard coffee stain. I was wondering if you meant satisfactory. No, I haven't got a copy of satisfactory. I hope I'll get one. So, Mr. Crow, this is all your fault. I'm just going to quickly do skims round. Right. Pun Spectre, so as you can't lose. You think you're the only one in pain. We don't have anything now. Maybe we never had anything. It's our fault. We are to blame and no one else. We failed Robin. We're going to lose the house. We've already lost our son. Why are you doing this? We're going to lose everything if you don't come back. What don't you understand? You can't put this right. What, what are you doing? Alex, hold on. You, are you... Alex? Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought I'd lost you. I know the memories hurt. I know you probably want to forget, but... That's one last thing I need you to remember. I need you to know why you were put in here. Oh, come on. We've come this far. Get to floor four, um... We'll see what you're up against this time. I mean, uh, how many of you have seen the the Christmas special or one of the Christmas specials of Black Mirror? Because I'm getting flashbacks of that. You know the drill by now. Take the elevator to the fourth floor. He's observing us, but he's not. Hmm. Next stop, the fourth floor. Go on, take the lift and we'll see what's next. I don't trust. Oh God, she Cooper. Yeah, all the photos of like hospitals and otherwise, are, they're all stock photos. Except for that one. That's us. That's the hoodie. Floor four is where you're headed. Well, that's um, where you need to go. It'd be good if you could get along there. Say now. Tea is amazing. Alright, so there are five floors in the roof, so we're not quite there yet. We've got two more round, we've got this level, the next level, and then the roof. Oh, we're nearly there, Alex. We're gonna make this right. Dies. What's the valve rule? Follow the light. Oh, and Kestrel says, gonna put a little bed to bed. She says, that looks like a nice hotel. I rate it five out of five. Just to be clear, she can't hear anything. <laughs> well, Kestrel, once again, please give, please give the best from all the long shipped little bear. And yeah, one of these days we'll go back to playing a game that Kestrel can watch and listen to. Uh, sorry, that little bear can listen to. Uh, whatever Kestrel can watch and listen to, I am.
Well, at least this one glows. So where's it going to make us go this time? That's the question. Alright, wants us to go into here. No? Interesting. I'm sorry. I only just left the office. I won't believe the day I've had. I'm just... Sweet, sweetheart, for crying out loud, I said I'm sorry. I'm... At the station, Who is that? Uh, how is that? Oh, something's different. These memories of yours, I, I don't know how they're seeping out of the access points. Just find the next one. Or well, something else goes wrong. Sorry I'm late. It's a damn couple today. They're gonna lose their kid. You think you got problems? Put you... Just give it a... What the hell was that? Is someone else there? Hello? Oh, good! Uh, so, turn back to check. Uh, Sekiro says, uh, Hell no, if the elevator door is like that in real life, then I am using the stairs, right? You know what? Even if it's an elevator within my own mind construct, I'm taking the stairs. My intellect can handle me going up a few flights rather than taking the elevator. Alright, so that was looping back around. I don't know if you've ever, if any of you have tried doing that visualization stuff. It's meant to be pretty cool. I, I find it very, very taxing, but it's time to remember. Phone. You've reached Jake Matthews, Indigo Health Insurance. Please leave a message after the tone. Matthews. Matthews, if you're there, please pick up. Matthews, it's Alex. Too late. Matthews. Matthews. What? This can't be real. This. Oh, your readings are going crazy. Um, it's something nearby. It's. Another QA access keeper is making my displays go crazy. Uh, so one of them is a metro map and the other is... Whatever plans. you're looking at, it's throwing up error messages for me. Uh, see if there's anything else in the room. Metro, stock photo of a family. Uh, so what have we got? Uh, the reader's perspective. The Reader's Perspective, Chapter 1. Through the Double Circle. That's... That's a book from the library. The hotel has the library. Find it. I'll try and find the details about this book on the system. Stock photo pictures are creeping me out. Jaraland says the hotel has a library. It's dang cool. Yeah. Were you in earlier for the whole thing where it was saying how... Alright, I guess this isn't it. How uh, it was saying earlier that uh, the library is run by the AI construct. And so the construct can basically pull up any literature that you want. Jaron says, I've been here for the whole stream, but I did miss that. Ah, that's fair. It was a small little note, but it was an interesting one. Alright, so the library's downstairs. I see no way this ends badly. Damn it, I'm taking the mine stairs next time. Library! Library! <laughs> Secretly, Robin's like, Damn it, Will! The elevator isn't feeling well. You're right, you're right, I'm being mean. Turns out the elevator's just having an off day. In 
know what? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so the ballroom and the pool is down that way. We've never been to the pool! The dreamer says, upsy the elevator. God, this sounds like one of those haunting cartoons. Like Moozy, and I don't know if anyone else got that one. Um, it was a cartoon used to teach uh, French, which we had to watch loads of back in the day. It was weird as she. There, got it. Uh, the book is called The Reader's Perspective. Does that mean anything to you? Hi. If you are looking for something specific, perhaps I can help. The Reader's Perspective. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. Ah, uh, you know what, Pun Spectre, you're right. We need to lift that elevator spirits. We need to really rise it up. Allow it to, to feel better. I kind of wish I could uh, turn up the gamma in game, but. Here you will find perhaps the most silent space in the Penrose. I do love puzzle games for slug and tea and just clicking through them. Uh, I don't know if games like Mist and things like that would be fun for you all to watch. If you get confused, go back to the last one you tried and look again. I'll be damned. It was there all along. What? What was? Alex. Oh, Jesus! What are Fuck. you doing? It is exceedingly... <sighs> ...for our guests to be so... ...interested in the history of this retreat. Most irregular, you might say. Fuck you, dude! Sorry, forgive my hex. Uh, Hindle says, did people work out the, uh, the Penrose thing yet? Not yet. We don't have much longer. Between the guard programs and whatever is happening, hey! I don't think we can hide what we're doing anymore. Oh dear lord, we are under raid! Friendos! Defense ranks! We find ourselves under raid from friends, which we will stop with friend. I didn't think this through! Oh, bloody hell, Ted, I just got a scare! And now you lot are coming in! How are you all doing? Forgive my tea burps. Ladies and gentlemen and individuals of every possible persuasion, it is my esteemed pleasure to introduce you to Ted and to Ted's friends. As you will see, Ted, our raid defense is without fault. They are mighty indeed. <laughs> How are you doing, Ted? What has been going down with your most excellent self? Uh, Ted says, great. Uh, good, just had a great stream. Lovely. Lovely. Uh... Uh, EM1K says, hello, I am here, the one and only EM1K666. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Haig says, uh, oh, I came here because a cancer man told me to. Is it still, uh, is it still the rule in Ted's chat that you have to call him handsome when you start? Because that's amazing. Uh, and Fireblade would like us to belt out cookies by Ninja Sex Party at some point. If you want, certainly. To uh, As News Lord, thank you kindly for the follow. So, uh, firstly, so Ted, what were you uh, gaming on and your good self? What was going down in your stream? Uh, and I'm absolutely not stalling, so I can take a moment to catch my breath. Um, Sakrev says, okay, the other no creepy eyes do the jump scare robots thing even worse. Yeah. Oh, Ted says, uh, RimWorld uh, Twitch Stories was today. Nice. God, I haven't done... I know a lot of people that stream a lot of RimWorld, so I haven't gotten into it. Because I don't feel I have anything interesting to add to, but yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> Mr. Hag says, Will, he's gone mad with power! And we in chat are trying to stop him. 
I should have known. Ted was too strikingly handsome to be anything less than an evil dictator. So, okay, okay. Firstly, uh, and as News Lord, uh, the mighty News Lord has now followed and has arrived. Lovely to make your acquaintance. So, to those of you who have just joined, it is lovely to meet you. My name is Will. Uh, I was a games industry numpty for like nine and a half years. And these days, Fireblade, thank you for the follow. Uh, these days, I stream full time. That is what I do. Uh, thanks to the lovely people that uh, have thrown up the, the raid defense in chat. Uh, I am able to, yeah, do this five days a week for long. We stream a myriad of different games here, usually a different game every day. And we both look at the artistic, uh, the artistic intent in video games as a medium, as well as the real challenges of making video games as a business. We do a little bit of both. So, the things you need to know, we are playing the Spectrum Retreat today, which is basically a portal meets the Starship Titanic. We are quite far in. We're probably about at least two thirds in, maybe a little bit more. It's getting heckin' creepy. I think this game is excellent. Actually, and if you don't mind me dropping a... Uh, if you don't mind me dropping a humble link, just in case any of you decide to play this for yourself, the puzzle sections of it... Uh, there we go. That's only $12. Um, the puzzle segments of it are exceptional. Um, and while some of the narrative has been a little, uh, a little heavy-handed, overall it has been really good. Also, this was initially this was initially the solo project of a 15-year-old game dev. It took him five years to finish, and he actually won the uh, BAFTA Young Game Designers Award for this project back in 2016. And so one person started this game and brought it through to market. So, yo, this is this is. Very cool. And it's a lovely story as well. Um, and so this is what we're uh, going to be rolling on. If any of you want to bounce and avoid spoilers and pick up a copy yourself, and don't mind picking up one via the humble link, I'd be sincerely appreciative. Uh, I entirely understand. If you want to join us, we are just getting to the heckin' creepy. Like, about a minute before you guys rolled in with that raid, um, the, the concierge, the manager of this hotel, who apparently are one and the same, um, just scared the shit out of me as I was looking up the Penrose Hotel. Do forgive my ex. So right, we're going to be continuing from here. Um, I guess I should also warn you, this game's going to have some feels. I, well, okay, I, I don't know that for sure, but every every arrow indicates to... Oh boy! I'll explain as much as I can, but I will, I will give it the best. All right? So without further ado, let's continue. Get to the floor four access point quickly. He is creepy following us. He got us with a jump scare as we were looking up the details in the Penrose Hotel. I think we're gonna have a bad time. Hang on, there was something there. Uh, there's a weird quirk where if you're looking at something that you can interact with. There we go. Scan log, six of nine. Oh, so, okay, so jump back in. So, whoa, that looks interesting. Ted says, uh, is this more of a game where the gameplay serves as a vehicle for the story? Well, not so much. So, without spoiling too much, just in case people decide to bail out a chat and pick it up for themselves. There are puzzle segments, like with Portal, where you are... You are given a clear puzzle with each little area that you must work your way through. And it's kind of a colour swap. Hey! Ted, that's feckin' cool of you, dude! Ted, thank you. Yo! Uh, individuals of our lovely chat. Uh, Ted just subscribed, kicking out a, a Twitch Prime, yo! Cheers to you. Cheers to you, Ted. Yo, you've got to come to Next Sober, all right? Because we haven't hung out in ages. And for the next one, it's unlikely that I'm going to be doing any of the hosting stuff. So it means I'll actually have a chance to hang out with everybody and not stress. So that's going to be cool. Oh, sh and Ted says, super down. I have plans to be there. All right. But there will be excessive amounts of dorky selfies, just as long as you're aware. I'm trying to get back into the habit of taking more photos when I go out. Anyway, 
So, employee 237, entry 65. The investigation has finally reached my department. The scandal has legs. I'm not sure how wide reaching the issue is, but there's no malpractice on my end. There's a lot wrong with Spectrum. There always would be with a company that's grown that fast. I'm not sure how they expect us to personally monitor each user for safety and mental well-being. The reality is that the best we can offer is our sweeping algorithms to pick up outliers. The ability for an employee to observe and interact with users in an ongoing session should and will remain restricted. That said, the decision to allow unlimited session length in the beta was certainly pushing it. I guess we didn't grow so fast by playing it safe. Move fast, make mistakes. Well, you say move fast, make mistakes, but who do we know who rolls around at the speed of sound and who has places to go and has to follow his rainbow? That's a person who doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I did that. My feckin' robots can crap out of me there. <sighs> so yeah, I... And he's not at his desk. Um, I don't know if we've really talked about it on this show, but I do want to give another shout out to uh, to RimWorld if you haven't checked that out. RimWorld is one of those deliciously PC games. That is to say that it is a game that can only really exist on like digital distribution, like PC title. You are in charge of a colony in space. Go. It's a top-down kind of 2D-esque and it almost always results in everyone dying horrible deaths through ridiculous means. Ted says, what a wonderful game. I love it so much and will forever sing its praises. Uh, what if we just don't go in the elevator? What if we just don't? Darn it. Don't do this. Please. Please. Caroline's like, would you rather stay down there with the manager? I mean, if no is an option, then I'll go for that. No, oh, there we go. Please, Alex, we're so nearly there. You're so close to understanding how gravely you've been wronged. Stay focused. <laughs> Snooze Lord's like, yo. Voices in my head. Can you just not? 2120. Oh, so for this one, it's not going to tell me. It's 2021. Oh, no, it is going to spoil it. This is how we'll get you out there. All right. So now we're going to get into some of the puzzle segments. So we've got three, six, eight puzzles. All right. Okay. How many of you played the original Prey? Because it's about to get heckin' weird. <laughs> Those of you with vertigo or motion sickness may want to look away now, because this is going to get chunderific. Uh, but to those of you who just joined us, this is mostly based around colour matching. So you see our little disc. Our little disc is white at the moment. That will allow us to pass through white force fields or use white teleporters. If we pick up one of these cubes, it turns red. See, now we can use red teleporters. And we can... That's that. Try and work out where the ruddy hell we're going. Now that we've flipped the world, turn upside down, and if you'd like to take a minute and just sit right there, I will tell you how I became the prince of a small town called Bel Air. Uh, no, as we've now f uh, flipped the world upside down, some of the feck! 
Alright, I'll take it. Now we can pick up the blue and roll forward. Yeah, Gerald Ann's like, okay, okay, go to second screen now. This rotation is, uh, no bueno. Uh, so these are being called authentication challenges, but we're not entirely sure. Supposedly these were used for QA for access. We don't entirely know that right now. Alright, so we know that's going to do us a thing. Drop down like here. Dance over to here. But of course, we can't get up there, which is what we need to, to flip the world turn upside down. Except for, we can. So we can do this. Nope, wait, nope. Oh, yep, yeah, so we pop that back. Then, uh, much like these spurs which jingle jangle, Oi! Oi! Oi, dude! Woohoo! Nailed it! Uh, Sakurev says, oh, Are we going to karaoke night again? Uh, karaoke night was Monday. I actually haven't been to the geek karaoke in town recently because, uh, while I do enjoy it, uh, this is going to be complicated, isn't it? Uh, well, I do really enjoy the geek karaoke in Seattle. Monday night's kind of my Sunday, and uh, it's not always. Okay, okay. So we need blue. Where are we going to get some blue from? There you are, you cheeky chappy. All right, so just got to spot and wait. So yeah, so to those of you who just joined us from TedStream, so this is the this is the crux of the puzzle solving elements of this game. So we need green. Green's there. Ha! This is the greatest and best song in the world. Oi! Oi, you, come back here. It's like a tender! doing its rounds up there. Alright, so we jump down here and do this little cheeky dance. And then Blue, we're like, yo, what up? And Blue's like, yo, and we're like, yo, and then he got the pogo hammer and he was like, yo! So there's red. We don't need Blue again, so red, you get to hang out up there with the cool kids. Wait, bear with me just a second. Oh, uh, Sakurab's asking if, uh, due to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, we're doing karaoke night again. I mean, I mean, we're, we're all clearly aware that Will Smith's best album was Y2K, right? Oh, this is gonna be feels, isn't it? Oh, who's up for a brain? Some some brain melting puzzles. So blue we got. We need red for. Aside from getting back, so we need red for up there. Blue gets us through here. <laughs> Damn it! 
Dolch's Dolch's saying, Will looks too happy Will looks too happy that gravity of the situation hasn't hit him yet. Oh my god. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, piss in a bin! Ugh. So the idea was we have the green to there so we can swap them out above if we need them. I mean, as I was saying earlier, sometimes these puzzle games aren't the most indicative of uh, entertaining conversation. As it does result in me being very hyper-focused in what's going down. That being said, I'm thoroughly enjoying this, even if it does keep messing with my sense. It's like... Could you, could you not? Could you not? So we need red and green on here. Um, okay. So you're not very useful to us right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Of course he says, uh, has Will been startled in a while? No, just checking. Thank you! I'm trying to use my focus brain powers. Don't worry, everyone. I've got no idea. Now then, now then. Okay. There's nowhere in here for us to swap. Wait, wait. That wasn't a light. Oh, you heckin' bad word. You heckin' bad word. Newt, newt, mother of it. Newt, newt. Feck your non-standard geometry! The man says, Will Overlord, focus, impossible. See, that's what you all don't get. I'm already focused here. You merely adopted the focus. All right. Meanwhile, in the puzzle sphere, what the shit is this? So first one is green. So we need green there. Do we need to take red through? Is that what we're trying to do? Huh. Okay, but why though? Oh. It's time to feck with gravity, friends. I mean, gravity's really overrated. If your response to gravity isn't brick and a nah, brick and a nah, mm, can you really say, can you really say you even do, can you really say you even do gravity? Aha. 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 
Sakharov says, focus, cannot comprehend. Well, wow, this sounds a lot like someone who doesn't know how to slam dunk funk. Woo! Oh, you fucking bad words! Uh, it is... One of the things about this game is it is possible to get yourself into kind of loops in this regard. So what we need to do is make sure that that is clear. So you get in, loser. We got you driving. Okay. Dodger says, uh, gravity is only rated for uh, 9.8. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I would have rated it higher, but there we go. In some regards, I'd also argue that the the kind of the hyper-focus of the puzzle with an, a story elements that are based mostly around like emotional content is actually working really well. I wasn't expecting that. Get in the lift. There we go. <laughs> Harmonious says, thank you for the Judas Priest. You're always welcome. And Greenfire says, I'm happy watching this. I don't think I see myself playing this game. That's fair. All right. And this is one of those ones which is designed very much to trip us up. So. But I... Teleporter in white here. And we want to be going this way first. So we can get through this one. And then... Interesting. So I guess we just need to separate these around to allow for... Ah, now there is a lovely red bar. And back we go. So now, if our aim is true, I said if our aim is true. Really difficult. Nine. Oh, right. <sighs> Sorry, I was being a complete stupid. Because if I did... Because if I had succeeded there, what it would have resulted in... Is this... Dumbass. Huh. Well, that's problematic. Um, yes, uh, hello there. Uh, my name's Will. Uh, I am supposed to be in that elevator. And right now, I am not. Hmm. Dorcha says, me thinks you done goofed. Pun's like, back up a little. Hmm. Might have to restart this one. Okay. With these, although I will say with these like narrative driven puzzle games, I feel like as the, as the host of this very show, that it is partially my responsibility to It is partially my responsibility to show you a good game, if that makes a, a weird lick of sense. So we're here. 
We need the green to get up there. Aha! Yeah, you were all right. Chronically, some might say. And then we have to do the other side to clear this. Wait, hang on. Oh, no, we're good. And then we do that, and then we do this, and it's like, whoosh -am! Slam dunk! Woof! Watch the uh, the show, the sliders. It was sliders, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Pavarotti-looking guy, uh, generic white dude, traveling to alternate dimensions. I remember one uh, episode that was specifically based around like this combination assault course, high intensity, um, like uh, intellect challenge. Right side platform. Huh. So lots of pizza boxes and... Feck. Alright. Maddie and Alex, on behalf of everyone at the school, we offer our deepest condolences to you and your family. Robin was a pleasure to teach. A wonderful friend will be missed greatly by all the children and staff at the school. We are sorry for your loss and for any insensitivity we might have committed during this ordeal. Our thoughts are with you in this most difficult time, and please rest assured there's absolutely anything we can do to help. You need only ask. Oh! Thanks, Jake. George says, what's it with this game and birds? I just never knew. Alright, so that's gonna drop us like that. Is there an additional place we can stash this? No, I've done goofed, haven't I? Oh! Shackles like Rusty Lake, I tell you! Oh, that one's on the... Wait, if, you, if I'm thinking of the right game, that one's sadly definitely on the list. Oh, feck! Okay, so we've got two more challenges in this section. And this one is this one is perma blue. That one is red. We need to get over to that side. So we've got one way of flipping the gravity here. So there's something additional that I'm missing. Um, and to a sorry green fire and pun inspector, thank you. Your man's a stupid. Oh, sorry, for those of you who joined us, uh, those big blocks with the things uh, plugged in, uh, they are the um, uh, they are the forever blocks. Uh, they will change into their original colour regardless of where you're coming from. There we go. So we need... Whew, we need red first, so we need green, blue, green, red. Green, blue, green, red. Gotcha. Gotcha! Whoa! Green, blue, green, red. Green, blue, green, red. Cool. It's amazing how sometimes things make more sense when they're upside down. That's a chess thing, isn't it? That sometimes looking at the same concept from multiple... Uh, looking at the same from multiple locations. 
<sighs> Dear Alex, this letter confirms your virtual visit to the Penrose Hotel, May 17th, 2021. We have received your signed paperwork and approved your medical assessment. We have sent to you an induction pack containing everything you need to know about your stay, including the code of conduct and your unique safe word. We are sure you're going to have a truly unique time in Penrose, but if you have any second thoughts about your trip, that's cool. You have a 14 day cooling off period ending May 10th, 21, after which we would like, we will be unable to offer any refund. Please make sure, please make your way to Spectrum offices in downtown San Francisco on the date above with the clothing and medication uh, detailed in the induction pack. On behalf of everyone at the Spectrum, uh, may you have an awesome time at Penrose. So, yeah. I guess, I don't know if Alex signed up to be the testing individual or what. Don't worry, everybody. I've got a plan. Correction. I do not have a plan. I don't think I've got a way to... No. That, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, there's going to be an encore. <laughs> I do apologise, everyone. I do apologise. Uh, who is that heading to bed? Oh, the pun inspector says, Okay, fellow humans, I must depart, depart for sleep and tea. Hopefully in that order. Well, pun inspector, have yourself excellent sleeps. And thank you for bringing your, your very personal brand of humour to this operation. It was sincerely needed. Alright. So now we're just going to do this dance again. And we bring one block of Infinite Red across. And then we dump that over there. Then we go for a little, little jaunt around. And oh, thank you, Mr. Red Block. How are you? Casual says I'm back. What did I miss? So, after their son Robin passed away, uh, Alex, who may or may not be our character, uh, volunteered to be part of the Spectrum Retreat. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a thing. Alright. Woo! And... <laughs> Yay! Lord Lost, the 100 shit, thank you kindly, says, uh, I want to go to bed because it's 2.30 in the morning, but I want to watch the rest of this. So hurry up. I'm doing it! Good! Of course, now I'll probably get like the worst brain-breakingly difficult puzzle just because you need me to, to get a move on. Not because I want to drag this out. All right, so blue is what we need to progress. Wow, this is going to be a lot of things. All right. Green there. All right, so this is the mystical blue cube. Two mystical blue cubes. Alright, so one of these is basically going to be our swapsy blocks. Oh no, wait, that's what we need. Ah, so we need to 
We need to bring a, a clear block with us. Interesting. Alright. I think I've got a handle on this. I think I've got a handle on this. Uh, and Lord Loss, uh, even though it's probably agonising watching other people solve puzzles in this manner, like, thank you for sticking with. So, we need to kill one of these blues. So you, unfortunately, have to we have to be sacrificed for the cause. The central red is a misdirection. To this puzzle first. And what's the old thing? Nothing worth doing is ever easy, right, friends? Alright, so we can't flip the gravity just yet. But we will be able to later. We need to dunk something through there. We can't grab any of those. We can start mixing it up now. Oh! Additional round of hmm. This feels like a perpetual variation of the, you know, you have a fox, a chicken, a dog, and uh, a guy for whom the very concept of existence is made entirely of carbs and pasta, and you have to get them all across a river. And like, you know, the dog, uh, the dog will scare off the fox, which will drown. The fox will eat the chicken. And the guy with his whole, like, pasta concept thing is basically unhinged. That guy has problems. I'm not saying pastafarian, I'm saying pasta nefarian, if you will. <laughs> pasta nefarian, that's actually a really good title. Damn, how do we come up with this stuff? What if the blues here are a misdirection? So we need to get green through, right? Along with white. Yeah, the blue's a misdirection. The green is what we need to bring through. And then we bring this back across. I appreciate any game that's that's down for doing a, a proper misdirection like that. Now it's a party. So somehow I'm going to bring the red back. So that's our next little challenge. steps, possibly. Damn it! <sighs> Neat. So. That red gets us across there. There's a, so there's a blue... Wait, fake it, wait! Fake it, wait! 
We need one blue to leave. So far, we have not found any other like crazy misdirection blocks. So, if we go for uh, this. It's like, what am I missing here? Yo, who the hell are you? And the secret shall be revealed. Who the bloody hell are you? <sighs> Sometimes, friends, it's all a matter of perspective. So we need to leave with the... We need to leave with at least some green. The blue could be found elsewhere. So the initial blue is a misdirection. Alright, this is fun. Okay, I, I hope this is vaguely entertaining for you to watch. That is vaguely entertaining. And then we get on over there with the green, but then we flip the world a little. Like so. And we do a little bit of this. And we do a little bit of this. Oh, did you ever say the January episode of Darth Souls talked about uh, the quandary of puzzle games in an age where everyone's instinct is to look up the solution after five minutes? That's interesting. That's interesting because I wonder... I wonder if what we've seen is the end of puzzles in other types of games that might not necessarily be puzzle games in their pure form. testing us now. Alright, so. Whoopa! Whoopa! need it again. Alright, so now we got the red. Now, is that the red or the white? I can never remember that part. Yeah, no full damage for the win. Tell me I haven't just copped it right up. Yeah, I just copped it right up. God darn it. I might be able to... There we go. And now we can slice the potato. is this? The feck is this? The feck is you? Oh, crap in a bin. Oh, come on! Ah! <sighs> so I had to leave. Uh, I should have set it up. I know. Curses. I'm so sorry, everybody. I was real close to fixing it then. So, going back to the Dreamer's point, I don't know if... 
Uh, I don't know if we've seen. I don't know if we're seeing necessarily the the depth of puzzles in that regard. I think what we're seeing is kind of because uh, earlier on we were talking about um, uh, what was it? Uh, the secret world and the secret world's one of its big hooks was that um, you could solve problems in the world with real world research into myths, lore, legends, etc. Oh wait. Alright, let's see if I can get this one down again. Woohoo! Um, you didn't need... Oh. You did need to do the research to progress, right? But you could look it up on a guide. And so what a lot of people found is that they enjoyed playing The Secret World. And for some players, they rolled into kind of like the action and the combat of it. For others, they really enjoyed the, you know, research of the world and looking into things. And I really respect that. All right. So here, I need to take this with. So I don't think we were meant to shimmy this bit. I think I fecked up by getting past here in a way I wasn't meant to. Is there another place we can pick up a cube from or what? No. Alright, so red we store over here. Now, we're going to go back, get the green. Wait, no. Can we get past with just the red? Because the red... No, we can't. Yeah. So we need to go back and get green. Okay. Um, jumping back into chat. Uh, Dreamer says, It was interesting that they were talking about the joy of figuring something out uh, for yourself in the DS Zelda game. Was that the new one which was kind of the one part... Uh, uh, the one that was kind of one part uh, linked to the past, one part like flat wall walking setup. Uh, a link between worlds, that was it. It's funny because the lead character's name is Link. Well, the interesting thing I will say about these puzzles as well is that they are solvable through kind of consecutive face rolling. If you're prepared to roll your face against these puzzles a few times, then... Alright, so there's red. There's blue. Uh, Alright, well, to pick up blue... was that? Becky physics me. Woohoo! I'm the smartest and best guy in the world! <laughs> totally didn't just get through it by face rolling. Um, yo, so it turns out Alex might have been a little obsessed with jobbing this guy. Oh! Sorry, I do apologise because I was just face around that problem. I sorry, Greenfire saying it's getting close to 2.40am. I need to turn off the PC to cool it. Thanks for the stream. I'll see you later, peeps. Excuse the grey matter, Will. Greenfire, thank you for the cat pics. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for chilling and illing. It's, as always, a pleasure. Now, to continue this plot. I'll, I'll try not to dawdle too much longer. So now, head back to the lift. So basically, we signed up to be a part of this. And we seem to have been obsessing over murdering Mr. Crow. So there might be one more round of puzzles before we before we wrap on this. I mean, I don't know how entertaining it is for you lovely, lovely Wait, people. Wait, oh. Crow, Wright, and Matthews. Matthews, why is that name so familiar? Wait, Jake Matthews? 
No. That can't be right. Jake Matthews was killed. I think you mean Jake Matthews was killing it! Boof! Jake Matthews slays. Ryan says, did you sign up or did you get signed up? I don't know. I think things are going to get more sinister. Uh, I don't want to answer your call, but I don't have a choice. Oh. There's, um, there's only one more floor to go, and then you can leave. Wow, Cooper is being suspectly quiet. Hoodie's gone. Gone. You know how to kick off the cycle. He's not here. The dreamer. Truly everyone's greatest nightmare, being forced to answer the phone. Notice no one's talking to us anymore. Oh, good. Guess was like, where's our robot friend? I miss him. He don't miss us. Are uh, you gonna say anything? No, no, just robots, no talkie. Nothing. How about you, Hamsworth? How are you doing? I think this is all gonna get very dark, friendos. Robot says nothing. So this is going to get weird. I think we shoved someone in front of the train. Mystery surrounds subway death. Uh, a man died yesterday when he fell in front of a downtown subway train. Initial reports of the incident were confused, with rumours of a terror attack being to blame quickly dismissed by officials. There are also suggestions of a possible homicide, with some eyewitness reporting seeing a hooded figure uh, rush at the victim before he fell onto the tracks, but these have been unconfirmed. Uh, police at the scene were quick to allay fears. Captain John Stokes of the San Francisco Police Department told reporters we're still investigating the circumstances around his death. At this stage, we're ruling out, uh, we're ruling nothing out. It could be that he was simply a tragic accident, poss by possible heart attack, he added. Uh, our investigation is continuing, but in the meantime, our thoughts with the victim's Young family left behind. Fifth floor, go. Yeah, she's found out that uh, we we done a murder. Notice the uh, what art is on the walls is still that uh, is back to being the um, the Art Deco styling. Well, Cash was like, "What's the big deal? We do murders in video games all the time, right?" Oh no, uh, so in here it's the stock photos. Why did she put you in here, Alex? What was Maddie up to? Isocrit, that is an excellent theory, dear friend. I don't know where this is going to go from this point narratively, but I'm glad we're doing this together. Oh, wow, so we were proper obsessed and drinking a lot, apparently. San Bernardito Medical Center, second floor. Linda Hardware... A Lindale Hardware. Uh, 
right, 1334 is the only number I see on there that could work. But, oh yeah, so it's like Dr. Wright and Kitchen. It seems exceptionally dark. So that be it, oh, what's the number again? Uh, 1334. Yeah, did Maggie put us in here to stop us? Focus, Alex. Don't let your memories get in your way. Don't let the truth stop you. Use this, these memories that are rightfully yours to keep yourself going. We're gonna make this right. All of this. I'm calling on behalf of my, uh, of my partner. Yes, Alex is ready. We've read all the documentation. I, I have all the signed paperwork right here. Of course. What? No, no, you can't. I'm sorry Alex missed the first time slot. We won't miss the new one. Please, make sure everything is ready. The, the brochure, it, Alex will really enjoy the pool. Do you see now? Do you see what she did to you? You never agreed to this, to any of this. Hmm. The pool. Oh, who's in for a swim? Wow. Uh, so, this is someone absolutely faking our resident filed oh so whoever it was who said that we might have we might have been submitted interesting there's a forge on your foot right you are meow kitty sakura da 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 pool's open You know what? We're a pretty we're a pretty snappy bunch. The fact that we don't know definitively what's going to happen between us all, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with that. Anyway, I've been promised a pool since we got here. I did spend one judge's day in the pool. That was pretty good. Well, I didn't go in the pool. We spent it poolside. I just drank a lot. That was a good day. That's another story, friendos. That's another story. Pool's open! There's that hooded figure. Who is most likely us. Oh, do I want a towel? Or are we just are we just are we just jumping in? Are we just doing this? Bit of sauna. A rubber ducky. Oh, as long as it doesn't end up with any of that, um, uh, Ethan Carter. Alright, scan logs. So, employ 27, entry 1 and 4. I had to raise it. If John thinks he can force me out for trying to give his company a single moral fire we can think again, the Penrose has given me enough influence here to cause a riot if him and the rest of the board don't back down. There are clients in there that shouldn't be. It's not safe. I've got someone in support doing what she can. Uh, she'll get the system, she'll get into the system and run through things herself if she has to. She's capable enough. I just wish I could be of more help. Interesting. Alright. Okay, so we can't get in the actual pool. I think, well, for one, I think the service here is terrible. I think what we're going to do, yeah, here we go. I mean, you can all clearly see the puzzle, right? Uh, 
Jaraland says, I bet you're going to get another jump from the manager at some point. I would not take that bet. Oh! It was one up, one down, one up, right? Oh, and Arden say the switches are marked. Sorry, fat figured that one. No, no worries. No worries. Is that the correct combo? Sounds like they're doing something above you. So down, up, down. Down. Oh. Newt, newt. That's the sound of police. Newt, newt. That's the sound of the beast. Boosh! 1474. <laughs> Thank you, Sonic Green Fire. Got my kingdom for a run button sometimes. Yeah, I'm fucking. You can tell I'm holding my bloody breath, waiting for the manager to be like, Hey, what's up? You want some fucking mojitos? Because for some reason, that's how he sounds at this point now. He's become terrifying. 1474. Yeah, Shackle says at this point, the real question is, are we actually the murderer? Are we the wife? Are we the vic- Fuck you! You slender bastard! You all saw him there, right? That wasn't just me. Oh crap, the bin! Jin, sir? Or maybe a new heart? Or both! Damn it, Kathy. <laughs> Thank you, dude. One, four, seven. Nailed it! This is it. Arden said, also, that was log eight of nine. Did you miss any? Uh, they weren't shown to us in order. We know that there are... Oh. I can still hear you. I can hear everything. I um keep going. You're nearly there. So it looks like no puzzles at this point. Some puzzles. And now some breaking news. Oh my Following God. initial reports of a suspected terror attack, multiple sources are claiming the Out downtown subway incident through. is allegedly a homicide. Witnesses claim a person wearing a hooded jacket rushed at the victim who fell into the path of an incoming train. Police are at the scene. This was it. I, I remember. It. This is the night that Matthews died. What did you do, Alex? What did you do? Whoa! Whoa! Sorry. Alright, let's get up here. So we need red to get to the platform. So it seems that thing we were showing in the beginning was... Yeah.
Let's not do typical will. Let's have a look at the information we've got. Alright, so that's blue. We can't do anything else at blue. That's plane station. Can't do anything else at this plane station. That's green. And that's green as end of the line. So we know where to get red. Uh, yeah, Shackle, you were correct. That was red back there. I just wanted to... Because so far, most of the reasons we've had to repeat it is because I've not explored the area. Or there have been elements of the puzzle that I've missed until we've crashed into them. So here we can get red. If we go back to get red, and go from there. Oh. I forget I'm very, very floaty in this space. Alright, Meowkin Skura says, uh, clocking out for the night, surely. But I'll watch the VODs later. Okay, Meowkin Skura. Uh, it's, as always, lovely having you with. Uh, I know this hasn't been the most uh, bombastic of engaging games, but thank you all kindly for sticking with me on this adventure. Oh, wow. Each platform's going to be its own puzzle. This is not what I was expecting. So this, this might take us a little while, friendos. Back out, all right. So we've got three gates there. Blue down there. All right. And I guess we're bringing green out somehow. Somehow. Okay. Big old challenge now. Okay. Jump over that. Oh wait. Oh, come on, you just jumped over this. My giddy aunt, tell thee. Okay, so now we're over on this side. So that needs to be clear. Uh, so it's clear, red, clear, red. Uh, but we needed one more. Curses. It's so, alright, we can make this work. Stiff up a lip and all that. Uh, though I might need to. <laughs> I might need to nip to Lou again. Fucking me hoofing too much tea. The will special, you know. I hope silver away. Oi! around. Yeah, have one around the house. And who's heading to bed? Oh, uh, sorry, that was still just uh, Miyake Sakura. Okay.
I see it all. So I'm really clever like that. Okay. Alright, yep, so this is our exit. So we need to take another blue across. All right, you lovely folks. I'm just going to take a quick, quick break. Oh, actually, we're coming up on six hours. So actually, that makes me feel better. All right. Uh, I know this isn't the most bombastic of conversational games. And I know we absolutely haven't been uh, our chatty McChatty self. But I'm really enjoying this. And if it's all right with you lot, I'd really like to continue. Just wondering why I'm wiggling in my seat needing a pee. I'm like, feckin' hell, we've been six hours at this. Not too shabby, friends. Not too shabby. Right. Uh, so I'm going to inflict upon you the wonderfully dulcet tones of our wonderful chat hop. And I'll be back with you in just a second, okay? So Shack was saying, the hops of these pipes keep being just difficult enough that I was wondering if they're intentional or skips. Who knows? Uh, Robin's saying that feeling when you did a thing in a video game and you feel accomplished, even though you save scum like nobody's business. Oh. I mean, if it's a power given to you, right? If it's a power given to you. So, you lovely folks, I'm just going to quickly nip to the loo. And you know what? I might as well grab another cup of tea. Might as well, right? So I'll be back with you all in just a second. Born on the wrong side I, the track, I just want to get this done now. You know what I mean? I'm at the point where the story's got me hooked. A jewel of sorts, beats and rhymes, and then retorts Words spread in months, so fast that it seemed That everyone was at it, it rather took off And so it went, we all knew one of the five elements Then a shiny suit thought, wait a minute There just might be something in it Packed it, sold it, let it rot Blamed it for society's lot Now it's all hard to defend The whole thing's gone quite rhymed and bend So hip-hop was to blame after all, yes, it appears everything's entirely hip hop's fault. Hip hop decided to homogenize itself and base itself in violence and wealth. Hip hop decided to pick out its lowest traits and sell them to the public over everything that's great. Hip hop decided that misogyny and greed would be the sort of thing that America would need. Hip hop worshipped the cult of me. Hip hop chose to ignore Chuck D. Hip hop's a $40 billion industry, so now all the ghettos live in prosperity. Traded power for visibility, let hip hop become a new colony. These are the choices that hip hop made all by itself nobody tried to dissuade it hip hop decided to put money first yet cool her can't afford a nurse so hip hop was to blame after all i thought i'd say it as no one else has the goal yes it's all hip hop's fault you see and not the three companies who decide what you hear and see story to tell you. The tale of the West. The weird, weird West. Listen a spell. Let me explain. The stranger rode into town with no horse. No one knew what was stranger, his clothes or his walk. They supposed he was dangerous and he showed them a painting of an ape in a suit that had ladies fainting, but this was no bar of bar flies and snitches. These were men who pulled themselves up by their britches, and women as tough as they were pretty, and as pretty as they were tough, and they were pretty. And if this stranger had tried anything funny, they'd have punched out his lights and taken his money. But he went to the bar, and he grabbed him a drink. He downed it, demanded more, but before you could blink, the bar fell silent. Uneasy, quiet, the stranger regretted that drink once he tried it. A shot of moonshine and rattlesnake venom that belonged to Big Jake, who then drew his weapon. Take a look all around. Now you're in the wild, wild west, but there's something kind of strange. 
Stop! Wait a second, friend. Let's be gentlemen. Maybe even make amends. A nice game of cards. The loser buys the winner dinner. Big Jake, he just laughed. The cards is no beginner. All across the bar, relief on all the faces. But as he dealt, from the sleeve fell several aces, and Jake's face fell. Stood up, eyes narrow. The stranger did a dance like God a badly injured sparrow. Jake struck first. Stranger duck. Jake missed. I punched one of three brothers. So while the stranger hid, the brothers stood together. Baddest men you've ever seen. Jake's crew squared up. Evil, rude, and mean. Someone yelled out. Fight! Brothers came out swinging, bringing chaos to the bar. Dangerous men and women, bottles smashing, people flying, punches landing. And when it was all done, no one left standing. There's a bounty on Big Jake and all three brothers and the others. Whoever went to get these guys, I want to look him in the eyes. I'm about to deputize. The stranger had gone, best for everyone's sake. No one knows where he went or if he found his ape. Take a look all around. Now you're in the wild, wild west. But there's something kind of strange. Uncovered, there's a bounty on Big Jake and all three brothers and the others. Whoever went to get these guys, I want to look him in the eyes. I'm about to deputize. The stranger had gone, best for everyone's sake. No one knows where he went or if he found his ape. Take a look all around. Now you're in the wild, wild west. But there's something kind of strange. Yourselves. And I know, I know, you're all sick of me saying an inordinate number of things like, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry today has not been the most engaging game. I feel it has enraptured me with its puzzle solving, and in case you could not guess, like, I'm a very visual person, so these kinds of, like, visual spacial puzzles are like, yo, and who's that? Uh, it's, um, Benedict and Dean. 
Ben and D&D, if we have not met before, it is lovely to make your acquaintance. Like, oh, thank God, that T-Bot caught me right off guard. <laughs> ben and D&D, hello and welcome. My name's Will, I survived the games industry for like just shy of 10 years, and now I stream on Twitch all the time. And we play different games here, and we play artistic games and all sorts. Wow, my introductions are getting more and more incoherent. This is what this game has done to me. Today we are playing a Spectrum Retreat, and we are at the last segment. We are at the last segment of it, and whether or not this game is going to be a world... Uh, a life-changing, bombastic title, I still don't know. But what I will say is that this was started by one guy. One guy at the age of 15, and is now a commercial video game that people can buy. That is a wonderful story. And I like talking about this, I like talking about Red and Green, because it's often... Alright, I don't want to sound like an asshole here, but I'm gonna. A lot of the very vocal, especially game designers on Twitter, keep talking about these ways that they can, things can only be done a certain way. Heralding the achievements of these massive, bloated studios above all others. I think games like this are far more important to discuss, because we're getting further and further from AAA being the mainstream, and yet a lot of the discussion I'm still seeing, a lot of the dialogue is still focused around these big studios and big ideas. You, me, or anyone chilling and yelling in chat can make a game like this. We can do this. We can. And any one of these games can change the industry. And it's something that I want to celebrate. So, so blip. All right, all right. Without further ado, let me turn off my BRB needs tea and let's freaking do this. Uh... All right, we're back in. Uh, so this, uh, what are we working out? Oh, we have to go back over here, don't we? We need to go get uh, one more blue piece. Wait, what? Oh, I fucked up. Turns out I actually needed that bit there. LOL. Wait. Oh yes, because I can always take him back. Idiot. Oh, but there's only one blue piece here. Wait, wait! Well, now I'm feckin' confused. Which is more so than a regular flavoured amount of confused. Dustin Arias says, What ho! Up in the antechamber, friendos! It's not quite. No. That was easy. Why does that make me nervous? See you. Uh, and Kestrel also has to head to bed. Oh, well, Kestrel, I thank you again for just the general continued coolness. So. So we have to come around the other way to grab this. What am I missing here, friend? What am I missing? something to do with ninja flipping around like this. Alright. So Dustin and people who have just joined us, we are at 
possibly, possibly the final segment of this. Oh. Your mate Will's a stupid dude. Here we go. I don't know why you lot put up with me some days. Uh, we are at the final section of the, the Spectrum Retreat. Um, if you've missed this game up until this point, I'd still wholeheartedly recommend it. You're welcome to stay with us, obviously. We bring this bring this game to a close, but I will say that this has been a journey. This is Portal meets the Starship Titanic by way of eternal sunshine of a spotless mind. This is not this is not a simple game by any means. Alright. And there was one more. That gets us the green. And then I guess through whatever this puzzle is will get us the blue and then start getting us back in out of here. So yeah, this has got weird space and time feckery in the whole shebang, so. The words of Bruce Mother Hubbarding Willis. Welcome to the party, pal. Pleasure and an honour. Camille was saying thank you for streaming today. I haven't interacted with your stream in the background, but it's been relaxing and something to help calm my mind. I know you've been dealing with fecking, uh, meeting again this entire week. And as I said, I really, really wish I was able to, like, next day deliver you the I survived another meeting that could have been an email t-shirt, because I feel that's necessary. Um, but you are entirely welcome. This game's got a nice, a nice rhythm to it, and... The thing is, I know I know this isn't the most excitingly bombastic of games, but I'm at a point now where can't stop, won't stop. So that's where we got the blue. That's where we got the green from. Um, Red block in there. That should be enough to get us through. But I think that's a half and half. So we take our green back. With an additional round of hmm. If you need me, I'll be a genius. No, wait, no, affect it. God darn it. Solved it. Still a genius. 
<laughs> I don't know anyone, anyone can even watch me and not be intimidated by my brilliant. Oh, wait, no, I faked the puzzle. Faked it. Faked it. Woo! Very confusing. Oh! And, uh, M1K. I know you came in with, um... I know you came in with a raid earlier on today, so thank you kindly. Ow! Oh no, wait, we're good, we're good. sound is that's the sound of the police newt newt that's the sound of the beast more in the story at 11 so then we retrace our steps earlier by going Whoop -a -cha! and then we're like Whoop -a -cha. oh piss <laughs> Falls to the floor, dies immediately. All right, all right, Will. People are watching. Maybe spend less time doing the anime cool kid pose and more time solving the hecking puzzles. Uh, EM saying, uh, I'll have to uh, watch another time. Uh, being sick has made me more tired than I'd like. And have a good, have a good day night thing. Uh, EM, you know what? It's lovely to meet you, and I'm sorry you're sick, and I hope you get yourself a full heal. But yo. Uh, if you do get the chance to come on back, it would be lovely to hang out with you more, yo. Uh, I'm sorry for those of you that are kind of hanging on with sleep to, for me to desperately finish this feckin' puzzle. Alright. Alright, we got the blue! Alright, last segment, friends, last segment. Turns out this whole thing has just been an emotional advert for the London Underground system. At the end of it, it's just like reload your oyster card. And that's the. So we can't head the other way. <laughs> Me Mei says, God, this game must make, makes me want to punch a wall. I'm surprisingly zen with these kind of games, you know? And this is one of the ones we wouldn't have been able to get into before. All right. Done it. Whew. That was the only, that was the only room of this one. Now we have roof access. 
swear game. You made me jump while I'm slugging my tea. Alex. Mamey Kitten's asking, have you guys played uh, 140? The name doesn't ring a bell. Your wife, ex-wife, she... She was trying to protect you. But you weren't just a victim. You wanted to hurt people. Maybe you still do. the cycle to a close, don't we? Go to bed. Go to bed, Alex. Maybe you already have. is like, if I don't get enough sleep tonight, the world will end tomorrow, and the fate of the world hangs on you will. Solve the puzzle! I'm doing my best. Notice there's no call this morning. The door's already open. The hoodie's back. Oh, I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen in here. Oh, this is bad. Matthews. You blame them for your son's death. And Matthews is dead, right and crow. They were next. That's why she put you in here. Maddie found out what you were planning. And this... And this last person... It's you, isn't it? But these assets, the, the QA keys, the clues, the, the ones that have been modified from within the simulation and remained despite the cycle reset, so... Those were from you. You've done this before. You've gone this far before now, haven't you? But you've never left. You needed to forget, but you were compelled to free yourself time and time again. That's messed up. Sorry. Spectrum, Form 68D, User Evaluation Department, Retreats and Simulations. Simulation name, The Penrose. Username, Alex. Performance, five deaths, 15 retries. Distance walked, jumps, color transfers. Oh wow, this has been keeping track of me the whole time. Floor 1, 15 minutes. Floor 2, 46 minutes. Floor 3, 51 minutes. Floor 4, 40 minutes. And Floor 5, 21. Uh, I got points for appearance. Oh, no. Appearance and hygiene. Ugh. Stability. Eh. Behavior. Eh. Mood. Eh. Insight. Eh. Uh, additional comments. Behavior increasingly suspicious, particularly pronounced in the mornings. Seems to be experienced both visual and, order, uh, and oral hallucinations. Uh, very concerning and uh, most unusual. Bless him. He simply must shake himself from this malaise, malaise one way or another. I fear he may not. He may want to do something rash. Uh, FAO, uh, the manager. Do not, under any circumstances, let me leave the Penrose ever. I will try to leave. I know, but you can't. And uh, I know you can't physically stop me. But I beg you, do whatever you can. I may danger to myself and others. For the safety of everyone else's, keep me here, Alex. 
kind of observing himself in some regards. We were the ones that asked the manager to keep us in here, ad infinitum. Hmm. Guess we should go get some breakfast. You guys hungry? I'm hungry. You hungry? Alright, so we're not getting breakfast. God! I'm really craving eggs benedict now. Seriously, go to NZ. Any place you go for, order the... Yeah, eggs benedict. You will not be disappointed. Alright. In the words of Robson and Jerome, up on the roof. What will you do if you leave? Notice the colours got uh, the colours have all become warm and inviting again. Uh, so Hindle, are you still with us, or did you have to tap out, friend? Because uh, I I wonder if it's going to explain the importance of the name Penrose. Uh, Hindle, do you want to tell the lovely peeps? Good morning. It's good to see you well. And look, the weather really has picked up, hasn't it? As you'll likely recall, we've had this conversation several times before. This bespoke hotel experience has been built around you and your needs. You rejected the simulation when it was full of guests and entertainment. So we adapted to your needs. You were put in here to save the others. To it save is you. my duty and my privilege to ensure your needs are met. You suspect you are a murderer, and that if you leave, people will die, including you. And so you true? chose to remain for all these years. I thought you were just a grieving parent. I, I thought Maddie betrayed you, trapped you in here. I, I never knew. Every time you have discovered who you are, you've made the right decision. Together, we've kept the world you, safe from you and kept you safe from the world it's always a choice you, you can choose who you'll become you don't have no one has to die as ever all i need is your say so at your command we can go back inside you can do the right thing and forget all this pain alex what you saw that's not who you are that's not who you have to be that's who you were the choice is yours leave or stay. Thank you, Hindle. Uh, so, as I didn't want to take credit because Hindle was the first one spotted before me, but saying there's a famous drawing of the infinite staircase called the Penrose Steps. The idea was featured in Inception 2. So, the infinite looping that we're going, the infinite looping that we're going through, that's. I mean, that's built into the name of the very hotel itself. So... Let's have, a, let's have a think and a feel on what people are suggesting. Isocrid says, I vote let's GTFO. The Dreamer and Shackle uh, are also saying leave. Moose is saying leave. Uh, Shackle's also adding the wife set us up. Caffeine says the icon uh, as well. For what uh, does a circle within a circle do but roll on the same path forever? Uh, Rhymes Moose says, wait, wait, a second. The final choice of the game is leave or remain? This is exceptionally moderately British too soon Moose too soon Dragspot's like leave kill everyone wow Dragspot you've really been on a kill spree these last few weeks 
I mean... As Grid says, I mean, if you decide to go back, Cooper has already screwed up the hotel and the AI to help. That's true. Static says, I would try to leave. You wouldn't exactly get a choice, I'm guessing. George just says, uh, huh, uh, it inspired uh, MC Escher. Never knew that. Huh. See, we're all learning fun things today. Um, no one, no one has said stay. So I think for those of you that have stuck with me throughout today for six and a half hours of narrative puzzle solving, I, I am now to put the will of the people, as you well know. So. We never got to see the cabaret act. We never got to see the, the great magician. So let's head on out. Uh, Caffeine says, what's my feel on it? I feel it's time to leave. We're on an infinite loop and eventually, eventually the loop has to break. So why not let it break on our turn? Chaos theory will always disrupt perfect systems, right? Eventually an infinite loop will... Even an infinite loop will break down. Which does then doesn't make an infinite loop. I know what I mean. Alright. Penrose Hotel. I mean, all along... The manager was just doing what we asked. We asked the manager to keep us here. And as the manager is saying, it's our choice. Um, Cooper on the feckin' line's been all like... Like, honestly, we would have continued to do this loop unless Cooper had messed with. So, Dorchus does make an excellent point, which we never got to enjoy the pool. That's true. Maybe we should go... Uh, Stalic says, uh, you can never leave a Penrose staircase. Unless this choice is in itself part of the failsafe. You know, a kind of a um, architect a la the Matrix. That even us breaking out of the situ of the scenario and the simulation. <laughs> Lord Life's just like, leave so I can go to bed. Alright, alright. Let's do this. And to be fair, if we've been in here for years, that means that we're going to have pretty serious mu muscle atrophy. So we're not going to be murdering anyone anytime soon. Like, it's going to be a while before we're up and murdering. Uh, to be fair, H uh, um, Hindle, I didn't spot the Penrose Steps reference until you went, ah, so I've got nothing. Whee! I I've got, I can throw no stones, Hindle. Oh, what have I done? Sorry, Koopy can't unring that bell. Oh! Burning Penrose, uh, Spectrum Retreat Manager, Sinking Core System Rebooting. Oh, there was some, it went by too fast, but there were some log notes in that text that were scrolling by. Spectrum Retreat, again by Dan Smith. Oh. Oh. And props on Ripstone for picking this up, yo. Hey! Holly, that's my that's my contact over at Ripstone. Cheers to you, Holly, you lovely mother hubbard. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Lord Lost just screams, Oh, thanks, Vic, for that. I'm off the bed. See you tomorrow. Well, Watto. Watto, indeed. What are we playing tomorrow? I make the schedule and I forget the schedule. That's my spe That's my superpower cap. Uh, tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow we have a guest on. So if you want to talk um, uh, community management statistic badassery, Flourish is going to be with us whilst we play a game about not dying in the snow. So yeah, that seems topical. Um, so yeah, Lord Lost, I hope to see you tomorrow and have excellent sleeps. And for the rest of you, like, yo! Uh, so Static says, if it does not show you out the hotel, it just resets as you are asked to never let it leave. Quite possibly. Shackle says, I still don't think we really killed the insurance bloke. The audio leading up to the murder, the woman's voice was clearly yelling, get out the way! Uh, so, Static, Not the Long Dark, a game called Near Death, which uh, snuck onto my... Uh, actually, I don't think I can tell you how I got a copy of it, but I got a copy of it, so, boof. And this was a gift from someone that came in during a bunch of other things, which is very confusing. So, yo, that was a feckin' interesting game. Um, I'm not weeping wholeheartedly, and it was interesting to see this concept of kind of a of, of parent turned dark. And also the concept that it, uh, the implication that Mr. Crow was here, the the elements of the, per, of the person's psyche that were kind of bleeding over into the experience. I think it's really interesting. And as Sakura is pointing out, it is also interesting that it deletes the saves at the end. So, yeah. Yeah, that was an interesting little game. Hang on, let's get some. Let's get something a little bit more cheaper back on, shall we? Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, of course, it's a prof track about uh, public transport. On the line. Oh. All of your trains will be a mess for the foreseeable future, but don't worry, we have an escape route for you. The platform might collapse. So, what to take away from this? This is still a project of start by one person, and yes, that Ripstone did get involved, they did publish it, and it seems they did provide a lot of additional staff towards the end. This game was in development for five years, and... I mean, this isn't... Comparing it to other games is often unfair. It's not, like, one-shot. Like, I'm not bawling my eyes out at this point. And it was interesting that they used... The, the feels hit hit us quite hard midway through, and then it continued to deal with some of those elements after, and yeah, yeah. It touched on some very heavy topics and then bounced forward. So, I guess... Uh, trying to bring my thoughts together on this game, it was really good. Um, I wholeheartedly enjoyed all the puzzle challenges, and I found that the way it delivered the narrative was great. Um, it, it hit us too hard in the feels early on would be my, you know, my swilling wine in a glass critique about it. Like, well, yes, with the hints of bouquet and otherwise, it got quite heavy in the feels early on, but then left a rather misty feeling later. It was interesting um, I'm very glad it exists and I can also understand why it won young game designer because hot diggity but what did you all think I'd love to know your feels static saying so it deletes the save did it delete you and not let you go or are they trying to stay out uh, it seems as if it crashes and then the last thing is you hear a gasp which sounds like you're coming out of some kind of sim daughter says the puzzle seemed good and the story seemed good uh, were both were both made better by putting them together. They were. They were. Sakura says, uh, if it slowly hit the feels, it would have made the feels hit stronger. I mean, if that was its goal. I think its goal was to put us in a situation where we thought we were the, the good and kind father in a horrible situation, whereas really, we might be the baddies in this world. It kind of left it a, at least emotionally ambiguous. Uh, Rhymes and Moose says, uh, I think we can conclude from the gasping sound the end the character did in fact wake up. Yeah. Uh, Harmonia says, it's very pretty and the puzzles are good. I'm not a huge fan of how the, narr the narrative is 
I almost totally uh, segregated from the puzzles. I... It reminded me of games like uh, Battle Box Theatre and things like that, where the narrative is almost treated as your reward for progressing forward. Um, which does add an extra bit of pressure and an extra bit of emphasis onto the narrative, but makes it pretty good. Cause you know it's not right putting dirt on your work and that just isn't nice more than a bit tight six boil pipe no yeah it, their own, so that, they for a fight. that does make it challenging for them. That but box is their only forum. I'm not against it I'm not against it I mean bloody hell the games that I was making when I was 15 were like mashup fighting games and RPG making 95 titles so you know Dreamer says I always saw the cutscenes that way as a reward yeah I mean, back in the day, seeing the ending, see, getting in a little nugget of narrative of story of cutscene a huge reward, and it feels like it kind of harkened onto that. Um, I guess what we're saying here is that there are no grand faults. This wasn't the huge bombastic thing, and I was worried at the end of this that we were going to be dealing with an individual who was dealing with lost child, which is harsh. And attention and yeah. then there's some who play it like a game that they've never won every playground has its bullies yeah. there's always a villain for every goodie don't let them get to you Be with an addition around of yeah oh, sorry his, 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 no well giving that wonderful insightful commentary yeah yeah it was a, it's a video game yeah. or a rap called ah, yeah yeah we'll rumor or shut your <laughs> there's no need to prove to anyone we deserve our so does anyone have any additional thoughts and feels to add on this one? Do what you do, do something as well, uh, you. I mean, if any of you take anything away from this, it's that any of you can make a video game, and that that's cool. Um, I will try and keep um, uh, spatial puzzles to a minimum in terms of games I stream, because much like yesterday's combat system type stuff, I don't know if you all saw that my mind just became enraptured in it. As Sean said, it was an enjoyable run. I'm glad you enjoyed it, yo. Uh, the Dreamer says, A quiet game isn't bad. It's not. It's really not. And I had an incredibly enjoyable experience. I mean, with Faf, I'd say that game was six hours. That was six hours of puzzle solving and some heartfelt... It was a, it was a genuine and heartfelt game. In some regards, we're almost spoiled as a as a little group of peeps because you know we played some seriously emotionally shattering games, um, and I need to remind myself that oh, Static says how much does it cost? Let me get you the uh, let me get you the link for that. Um, as why is Aaron posting this? Funny folks, I'm so happy about that. Um, so Static, that is for you. Um, sorry, uh, our group is, we're, we're quite well versed in emotional, in games with massive emotional impact. And with a lot of these, much like horror games and scare games, games that go for an emotional intent, uh, that go for specific emotional inroads, there's an art and craft into them. Wait. Thank you. Uh, there's an art and craft that goes into them, and sometimes those beats can become very uh, easy to spot. Not tropey per se, but there were elements of this that I saw. Dorcher says, do you think the game would have been better without VO? A little bit. A little bit. Um, without Cooper, I think the game would have had a lot more... I think without Cooper, with Cooper removed entirely, I think it would have had a harder... It would have hit us much harder. Cooper didn't really give us time, a chance to think about how to feel about things. As we saw with Anamorphine... As we saw with Anamorphine, sometimes these titles need... These concepts need time to breathe. Does that make sense? Static says, was it worth uh, 2.16 an hour for entertainment? Well, I, I try not to do the hour equivocant. Um... Was this an experience that was worth? Was this an experience that was worth thirteen dollars? Yes. Um, and it's given. It's going to have give me a lot to think about. I also want to say that one of the things we learned from Anamorphine is that sometimes emotional games can hit you after. Like Anamorphine, I can't remember what we tried to play afterwards, but I started just kind of unraveling 
And then I had to sit in the bath for like two hours. And anamorphine, Jesus, Jiminy. That was... That was too real. I also... If you have... If you have kids, I think this might hit a lot harder. I know a lot of people said that when uh, The Last of Us dropped, there were some of my friends who are parents who just couldn't play it. It was too real. Like, that opening segment was just, like, you know, parents' worst nightmare turned turned real. Yeah. And for me, like, Animorphine, uh, the... Its representation of, you know, of relationships was too real. It was too real. And the entirety of Animorphine has, was it, one line of dialogue? Which is the last one. Oh god. They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. Damn! They're shooting. Um, so Shaggy says, I don't think I caught Animal Feet. What was that game? Something special. Um, oh, how best to describe Animal Feet? Uh, you are exploring an individual's memories of a series of events, uh, then and then partner. Yup. It gets pretty surreal. In fact, the entirety of that game is surreal. It's told from within the memories of what went down. And yeah, yeah. And morphine is very worth your time. Ah, oh, Hindle, bear with me. Ah, bear with me. Jesus, Jiminy, that hit like a freight train. And that one, I was still thinking about like after. So what to add on? What to add on the spectrum tree? They've got guns. They're coming. The robots are hunting. God, you're being hunted. You're being hunted. You're being hunted. Run for your life! Oh Christ! It's time. No, I, I, we need to seek shelter. Enjoyed it. I think that we hide here or leave later. I don't feel safe either. I think that the fact that you could get yourself into soft lock situations in certain puzzles was tricky, but once you learn that there are some times where you need to reset it over. Oh, Shackle says I missed there with me too. Uh, it means go and watch the bottom of that one. Something to help get yep. us home. Uh, Moose says uh, the vanishing of Ethan Carter had one hell of an impact. Bloody hell, yeah. That grass. one was like, toot, toot. Get it's out of the way, there's a freight train full of fields. Um, and if you've not played uh, the vanishing of Ethan Carter, that one. I should probably mention there's a deadline that's to get one us home that's... to our own dimension. We've got to keep running. Got the story guns, structure the is almost hunting. episodic God, within one title and in itself tells one overarching story. But, oh boy, that We've one's just. I hope guns, your feels don't mind getting punched hunting. in the feels, because feels. Yeah. What became of Edith Finch? Be like that. I do oh. understand. This uh, Sakharev says, uh, I like that, that when everything was breaking in the simulation was glitching in everywhere. Just because it's I did fault. like that. But it's clear, here we am. Um, here we are. Look, here's the town. The machine's nearly fixed. That was close. Get back down and pass me the spanner. And pass me I was the thinking about the point at which we started seeing God's the sake. glitching. Oh, pass me a biscuit. Um, I fixed it. This is the moment of truth. I, I no, like that they didn't go the horror route. I like you. that and there was only one jump scare in the whole fucking thing. Oh, I see you've been shot. That because it would have been oh, very track. easy well, for them to mess with this. Quick cover, but good luck. It's just the manager no was always looking after us. In fact, if anything, Cooper was Cooper was the one messing this whole thing up. Without Cooper's involvement, this would have been fine. Um, the manager was doing literally what they were told. The manager had been given this brief. Look after us. Do not let us leave. And they were doing exactly that throughout. <laughs> Zakarev saying, it's not used much in cyber games. Oh, Jesus. I walked into that one. Zakarev says, a different type of feels, but I'm reminded of our playthrough of One Shot. I don't think any game has ever mattered to all of us nearly so much. That's a good point. Um, one Shot was something special. I still don't know what my next tattoo is going to be, whether it's going to be a one-shot tattoo, a Rain World tattoo, or a Sudden Nautica tattoo. I mean, I'm going to get one of all three of those because, yeah, they are all very important, but yo. The Dreamer says, I didn't like one shot, but I didn't watch it. I tried to play it myself. Um, and one shot predates my participation on this channel. Well, that was a point. Hey! 
Zombie girl, how you doing? Hindle says a backpack tattoo? Maybe, maybe. I mean, I've told you all, the idea is going to be just to fill this arm with uh, as a sleeve of Longshipian type stuff. Um, to Dreamer, did you manage to finish One Shot? Because One Shot uses... One Shot's very clever in terms of how it lays out itself as a game. Uh, Sakharov says, are you going to get him a flap flap tattoo? No! Oh god, my flap flap's going to haunt me. Dying day. If you missed it yesterday, I was trying to come up with a faux anacronym for a game, and my brain just pulled my flam for flam out of my head, and now it's haunting me. So, Zombie Girl, how are you doing? Um, we're just having a post game chat about. Um, uh, uh, about the game that we were just jamming on. How have I forgotten his name already? The Spectrum Retreat! God. That's what you lot do to me. Brain bleeding out my ears. <laughs> Dragsmart says the growler of the Spider Clan tattoos went. Oh my god! Uh, Dreamer says, nope, got Heg 80 and never felt inspired to mess with it anymore. Um, much like. Uh, finishing it proper, especially after the Solus. Uh, is it the Solaris or the Solus? Uh, after the big update. Oh. That's actually where the concept of My Shoe came from. Um, uh, if you don't know, My Shoe is actually the mystical blade of the longsword. It's a glowing blue sword, uh, which has changed shapes into different designs, but uh, it's roughly based on one of the weapons from uh, Hellblade said it was sacrifice. Because I, I said if anything happened to Nico in one sh in one shot, I would take up, I would take my shoe and beat someone to death with it. And I have a sword called my shoe. Uh, I think I also have an offhand weapon. I can't decided, like an axe or something, which is the other shoe because we're waiting for it to drop. We're very clever like that. Uh, Zombie girl says, uh, should get your sub badge on your arm. Oh, oh, Zombie girl, do you mean? Uh, do you mean like that? Do you mean like that? Get my goat. Get my dander right up. Bloody told him. Uh, we had a day where the internet crapped out here, and I um, was trying to think of things to do with chat. So we went for a walk around uh, Georgetown down the road, and it resulted in me, after having a coffee and talking with everybody and showing everybody all the different bits of Georgetown, I was like, what kind of else can I do with the longship crew? I was like, let's get a tattoo. That was a good day. Static says, I have a friend with a uh, battle axe called Fluffy. Ah. Rosemary says, as I recall, the other shoe is a flail. Ah, Flails are dumb! Flails are great for people who have lots of upper body strength. Which I do not. Um, so, before I do any more waffle, let me say my thank yous to all of you. Uh, Daughter says, and like a proper streamer, you interviewed the artist. I did, and we got so lucky with the artist. Dude had a real knowledge of like the history of tattoos, and it turns out that one of the first named prolific female tattoo artists is a Seattleite, and is still working to this day, which is real cool. Um, so it was great having someone who had a real type of understanding. Hindle said, there are only two types of people that use a flail, a fanatic or a fool. Which are you? Uh, right. I want to say my thank yous before we bring this stream to a close. Um, and I do want to say an extra special thank you to everyone who's just chilled, ill, and lurked today. Because I know this wasn't the most uh, uh, super duper engaging, bombastic streams. But I had a wonderful time. And I'm glad I got to share it with you all. Um, there was a real chance this could have been one of those emotional breaker, special feels titles. So, yo. But, as we of the Longship crew salute you, I have a lot of people to thank. So firstly, uh, I'll say, uh, Edda Rafaya, Ed Rafaya, or Eddie as I call them, thank you for $10. That's just going to go on food, so thank you kindly. For Cheers, the lifeblood of this operation, the thing that keeps us going. I must thank Katros, Sakharov, Caffeine, Shackled, Connors, Lord Loss, Queasy Motor, Quasi Motor. Uh, the man, Asada Greenfire, the great Odo Benign, Sean Peoples, uh, Earl, Tanari Wow, and once again, Ed. Uh, your moderators today were Tal, Caffeine, and Lizzie. Uh, your, our new followers, brand new friendos, one and all, we have EM1K66, uh, Mr. Hag, uh, the dopest 
Fireblade, uh, Snoon Lord, and Ed. Our new subs and those who are gifted subs with an with an anonymous, May May Kitten, Ed, and Ted's friends. And uh, Cappy says, why do the credits not like Carl? I don't know. I think it just pulls the moderators who are live at that time. Because Cappy, sometimes we've gone through the whole day and then we've done it at the end. And even though you've been in for like 80% of the stream, it's like, nah, nah, it's just Nightbot. You're blind, baby. Nightbot You're blind, just hard carried this. Oh, yeah, because you're watching that garbage. So, yeah. Don't really know what to add, lovely friends. Um, that was an excellent game. And I know I've said this like eight gajillion million times, but if you take one thing away from that, please take away... If you take one thing away from all of this, take away that anyone can make a video game. And that... It's only time stopping you make the game that you want to. It's not age or ability. What I lack in talent, I can make it up and work, right? You can, you can make a bastard game. And if you do, I hope one day to be able to, to stream it in its entirety, friendos. Um, Daughters of Quasimoto. It's Quasimoto, but it's misspelled. So, Zombie Girl, I'm sorry you came in at the end. But as always, it is lovely to see you. Um, so now, because we're calling it... Well, because we're calling it only after a casual seven hours of streaming uh, at eight, uh, I am spoiled for lovely people to send you. So not telling you who, would you all prefer Chess or Dead by Daylight? Oh, and Zombie Girl, thank you kindly, yo. Decisions, decisions. Hindle says, I prefer bed. I mean, Hindle, I'll take 30 people to you. <laughs> If we can fit 30 people in your bed for bomb ass naps, like I'm down. Like I'm down, but that might be an incredibly awkward raid. Oh, Rhymes and Moose, at least let me pretend! Oh, alright, we should. Oh, we should crash into Ryan. Oh, we can go crash into Thor. Dream is saying chess. Uh, Harmonia says, you know what, okay, I, if you haven't met Aaron Hawaii, I'd love to introduce you, because, like, Aaron, so Aaron Hawaii is a chess streamer, he is an excellent bloke, and he's been a supporter of this channel for a while, he's actually one of the reasons I got to go to TwitchCon last year, because he kicked off the donation drive where you all were, like, fecking legends, um, Aaron's real special skill is that he's super good at explaining the top tier elements of chess in a way that doesn't make you feel like you're back in left out and I really like that oh Sarah just jumped in and said just wanted to say hi and see how you're all doing we just finished up Sarah I'm very sorry I'm very sorry we're just about to go raid uh, an excellent friendo of mine uh, one Aaron Hawaii who is a cool, cool kid, uh, and is currently uh, kicking it on some cool chess stuff. Uh, and as someone who's absolutely fecking useless at chess, I love hanging out with him, because he makes me feel like I'm smarter than I really am. And he's a lovely bloke. So, if you're down, I'd love to introduce you. All that's left to do is say once again, thank you all for a splendiferous day. This has been awesome. This has been awesome. Thank you, friendos. Thank you. Right. You all know the drill. Scream Viking Raid at the top of your lungs when you get in there. And just spam friendos until it stops being funny. You all ready? You ready to do this? Let's roll!